morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening and welcome. Good morning and welcome. My name's Carol. I'm with you for five hours with the lovely Jem Hawks. Good morning. I tell you what, we haven't worked. We haven't worked with each other for months and months and months and months and months, and then it's twice in the last week. I know. It's like the number nine bus. It is like the number nine. Where did the number nine bus go? Uh, Hammersmith. There we go. I think you Could heard be wrong. it here first. <laughs> she actually knew that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it Stourbridge? Okay. Is it Stourbridge? Okay, Stourbridge. I was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Did you have a nice weekend? I can't actually remember. I think so. Were you busy making jewellery? I was, yes. <laughs> You've been making a lot of jewellery. You don't do things by halves, do you, Gem? When you have the luxury and the privilege to work with genuine gemstones of this quality, it would be rude oh, not to, don't you think? She's good. <laughs> she's good. She's good. The jewellery from uh, Gem, uh, well, from both of uh, Gem's kits that she's had today, the, the jewellery uh, is absolutely gorgeous. Have a look at the suite that she's made from the first kit. This is absolutely beautiful. Tell you what, the quality of the fluorite is exceptional. And then the champagne gold wire, it, it, it's a match made in heaven, isn't it? And it's stunning quality wire as well. Good. Really beautiful to work with. And I'm not going to spill too many of the beans, but it's it's, <clears throat> it's a really good gauges as well. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. This kit's coming up in nine o'clock. Look, look at that beautiful vine. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Today's deal of the day. Oh, my word. This is not going to be around for long. This is today's deal of the day. Have a look at this. Stunning! Tanzanite coming up at 11 a.m. this morning. It's going to be absolutely superb. Um, at a price point that you never. I'm going to. I'm going to give you a hint. Under 20. <gasps> going to be amazing it's absolutely sensational this stunning strand of tanzanite is going to be yours at 11 a.m this morning Woo -woo! we've also got these coming up at half past eight now i've never seen these um scott and i just fancied the way that these sounded this morning um the way that they look is absolutely beautiful these are these are the most beautiful mirrored stardust silver beads they are absolutely beautiful these glorious sterling silver uh, beads coming up at half past eight this morning it's your early bird special i've never even seen have you ever seen these before i haven't i was just eyeing them up on the monitor they are really really different They're, really beautiful they absolutely are i think you you're a fan of the mirrored uh of the mirror beads that we've done or if you're a fan of the stardust beads which i know thousands of you are then you're going to absolutely love these they're coming up at half past eight a limited quantity though it's gonna be amazing we've got uh Team Wolf on cameras. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yourself? Very, very, very good, thank you. You bought in some pano chocolates for everyone. I've already eaten mine. The good start to the day. Yeah. Some yeah. Tea, there yeah. we go. Oh, look, there they are. Pastries. There they are. We've got, uh, we've got uh, Director Ollie with his lovely long arms. Where are they? There they are, <laughs> lovely direct I mean, We've got Scott so fun on Facebook. He's Joe. Oh, 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 Wow! I was expecting a running man as well. Can you do the running man? Can anyone here do the running man? I, I certainly can't do the running man. Go on, have a go at the running man. Go on, Scott Stone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Amazing! And we've got um, a lovely Becky who's with us on floor. There she is down the aisle, Sin. Hi, Becky. Right. Okay. So we're going to uh, we're going to kick off with some amazingness this morning. Oh, leaves! Not wanting to, not wanting to leaf this one out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, do you know something? Do you know something? You, uh, you might think, you might think that these aren't leaves, but you'd be barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous multicolour copper plated leaf pendants. These are made from actual leaves, Gem Hawks. Did you know that? I did, and that is for me what makes them so, so very attractive. I yes. love that. They are absolutely beautiful. You can see every single. Um, every, you, you, you can see the network of veins running through each one of these leaves. They are absolutely beautiful. They've got a wonderful bit of um, kind of malleability as well, which make them really just even more organic and even more beautifully, um, even more um, um, uh, kind of uh, beautifully usable. I've seen these used in so many different ways. We've, um, we've run something here at Joy Maker called uh, the Wall of Fame, which we draw every Wednesday. Um, and it's basically your chance to send in photos of jewelry that you've made from Joy Maker items. Um, I've, I've, I've read out in the past, it must be hundreds, if not thousands of entries, uh, which feature these incredible uh, leaf pendants. They, people do so many different things with these, um, uh, Gem, from making pendants out of these, earrings. Um, they are unbelievably versatile aren't they they are they're also beautiful in home decor ideas as oh, well definitely you have a, a swag on the end of your curtains to hold the curtains back perfect just something dripping down there maybe three on either side i think they're absolutely glorious oh wonderful imagine making something like a wind chime using these or using these outside maybe because of course they are leaf pendants you know using these not just in not just in jewelry but as as, as jim quarry says home decor garden decor absolutely gorgeous now and get involved with Jewelry Maker in two different ways, either by giving us a call on our free phone number or getting involved on our website on jewelrymaker.com. They are beautiful. There are hardly any of these available. Every single time they come to air, they just sell out. Your deal today for, all, for this gorgeous six pack here, beautiful assortment of your glorious leaf pendants. We're gonna take the price all the way down for you today. Every single one of you is gonna get these six leaf pendants for £19.95. Absolutely amazing. And do you know what? In the past, in single opportunities, over a thousand have been allocated. You know, these are just so unbelievably popular. They're just gorgeous. Anybody who you know who may be getting uh, married, maybe outside uh, an outside um, wedding ceremony, maybe a woodland wedding, these are absolutely perfect. They're just gorgeous. Maybe to um, incorporate maybe into wedding invitations or, or you know they're, they're, they've just got the most wonderful sense of occasion to them haven't they they're really really pretty um we've got a fifo review for this one uh these are uh, they are so real they are beautiful aren't they just they are absolutely gorgeous but they are real uh, you're getting um you're you're getting something here which is beautifully organic i love the fact you can see all of that network there it's such a clever um setting isn't it it really is and you can add into it as well because you have the tiny tiny apertures uh, to work with yeah. so if you wanted to take that further you can but you can also oh, put them idea. all in one piece fan them out and then uh, as you've already said they are malleable mm. curl your ends up as a fascinator oh perfect something that nobody else is going to have yes absolutely gorgeous less than 10 chances available there well done i've still got people coming through to get these now um <coughs> check your baskets out as quickly as you can especially for these low quantity items they're absolutely beautiful aren't they well done michael could you pass me my tablet please it's just sitting on the side there. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Team Wolf. Lovely. They're going to go to Susan. I've got Neris. I've got Janet. Sarah, collector in Hertfordshire. Mary, Sue Ann, Alison, collector in Essex. Linda. Um, I've got the last uh, few chances, last four chances available in the building there. Well done. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Aren't they beautiful? Ooh. Do you know what? You're quite right, Scott Stone Farnham on Facebook. Scott Stone Farnham on Facebook saying they would go lovely um, with a chain. Just literally on a chain. It's like we planned it. I've got a chain. It's amazing. It's amazing. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. <gasps> a 30-inch Figaro chain with... 
clasp on the back. Oh, ready-made necklace gem. We never get to do these necklaces. We never get to do 30-inch necklaces like this. I love my 30-inch necklace. Um, I always wear my pendant inside, um, close to my heart. Yeah. It's quite special to me. Oh. Um, but also, obviously, you can wear that on the outside and with something like the leaves, because they're quite dramatic, it's really lovely to have that long chain yes. sort of dropping down. But equally, if you want to wear something that's close to your heart, then it's, yes. it's the ideal length as well. Isn't it? Just and it, and it allows you, it allows you to... Make those longer length pieces. I don't know. I don't know why we don't do more of these. I mean, arguably because maybe they cost us more to make. I've got. I've got absolutely no idea. But we need to do more chains like this, which are 20, uh, 30 inches in length. This is your 30 inch Figaro chain. So what the Figaro chain is going to give you um, is quite simply three smaller twisted links and then an elongated link and that kind of combination that 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 sequence um carries on and on throughout the chain it's a really lovely detail you're going to get there i love gems um um, um uh, the way the way that you wear that chain I've, I've i've seen you wear that chain i think pretty much every single time yeah. I've, i work with you and it's lovely because sometimes you want to wear a pendant which may be other people aren't necessarily going to see you know maybe it's got an, an, a, a certain symbology for you but something which yes you want to hold close to your heart and I think that's a lovely a lovely way of doing it particularly with the chain of this length because it's going to sit around about there kind of directly on your breastbone which is absolutely perfect um, now there is um, wow there's 5.2 grams of sterling silver in this chain this is a serious gram weight isn't it it really is i mean if, if wow. you break that down into two diminutive 15 inch chains then that is a whole heck load of silver yes. to have for that length isn't it just, so I mean, that's an amazing quantity isn't it just that gram weight is really 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 impressive um we haven't skimped on the um, on the silver weight at all throughout the chain. Have a look at the um, have a look at the uh, clasp as well. It's a lovely lobster claw clasp, but nice and easy to use, nice and easy to open and close. These are already flying out the door with multi bit. There's loads of people coming through to get these. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Um, right. So Jen Hawks, guest designer, is on Talkback. She was signalling to Scott Sloan. Find him on Facebook. What's the What's the price? How much? So they told, so Scott told Jem. I don't even want to know how much you paid for your chain, Jem. Mm. I don't, I mean, I don't know anywhere where you can get a 30 inch chain with over five grams of sterling silver in for 12.95. That is utterly ridiculous. No, that's, it's crazy. I don't know how it happens. Uh, obviously, I'm really delighted that it does happen. I mean, there are obviously people, we're all different sizes and of shapes. We are. And it's wonderful to have that opportunity to have something that's going to fit absolutely everybody. Absolutely. Well, um, are you, are you, uh, are you, uh, are you, uh, did you ask the price because you are looking to buy some of these yourself? Could happen. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's, chains like this are few and far between, unfortunately. Why do you think we don't do 30 inch chains more often? What, what do you think the reason is, Jem? Because I can't, I, 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 we need to do more of them, don't we? I think possibly the sheer quantity of silver that's involved. I mean, it's an expensive commodity to obtain. Absolutely. It's an expensive commodity to refine and yes. turn into, and it is beautifully machined. So <laughs> I think that's your answer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely right. Twelve ninety five is your price point today. I've got low, more multi bidders and not multi bidders actually, which is absolutely incredible. Well done. And um, we did start off with a really, really decent quantity of these. Um, um, however, over half the quantity has already been allocated. Um, by the way, this has never been bought to air before. It's, it, it's a totally brand new product. Well done to every single one of you uh, who's coming through to get this. It's got, uh, Lorraine's got two, Parveen's got two, Collector in Buckinghamshire's got two, Collector in Nottinghamshire's got two, um, I've got Wendy's got two, Susan, you've got two, Angela's got, I mean, there's a lot, there are multi-bidders on multi-bidders. There's so many people coming through to get this. Check your baskets out. It's 12.95. This is going to sell out live on today's show. Well done. Absolutely amazing. Glorious glorious 95 stunning silver Figaro chain. Well done, everyone. Please check your baskets out. I've got about 
Half a dozen of you with these in baskets, please check out. Right, Lorraine's just multi bought. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, we spotted this earlier on. <sighs> Director Ollie, as your daughter Shaylee would say, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. And as my three year old daughter Hattie would say, I can't remember the last time <laughs> we bought. <gasps> mummy, mummy, I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a word. Uh, I can't remember the last time we bought Morganite with this kind of colour to air. I mean, this is your kind of. <sighs> This isn't kind of your rose quartz kind of candy floss pink. There's something else to this. There's another, there's another level to this. There's another element to this. Is it kind of like a kunzite element? Is it, it, it there's, there's more of a texture. There's more of a, I don't know. There is definitely a secondary note to this, whether it's a slight kind of blue edge to it. Let's have a little look actually. Let's get a bit closer. Let's get up, up close and personal with a strand of morganite. It's a purple for me, Gem, which for Morganite is unusual, but you can tell a mile off, it's not rose quartz. It's definitely not that. It's, it's got, yeah, like a cloud formation kind of texture to it, and there's definite secondary notes in there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Yeah. I love this quality of the Morganite. Me I'm too. Not a pink person, but I do love Morganite. I do love the Kunzite, but what intrigues me with this strand is the internal mm. characteristics that you're seeing yeah it's, it's not something you get with every single gem on the planet and I think with that colorway it's beautiful I think as well if this was a rose quartz and um, the texture you would see would be a lot more angular it would be a lot more fibrous whereas this is more cloudy do you know what I mean it's got more of a cotton wool kind of texture on the inside of the gem it's absolutely Stunning, isn't it? It's South African morganite, uh, which is actually a source, of, um, a deposit of morganite, which really was only discovered a few years ago. It's, it's proven to be very, very, very popular indeed. As you can see, there's hardly any of these available. I've already got people coming through to get these, already got people putting these in baskets. Get out of your baskets. You need to start checking out. I've got less than 20 chances available. 80 carats of morganite for £14.95 and I have to say Morganite is actually you know, responsible for being some of the most considered um, items that I've ever bought to air either on Jewelry Maker or on um, either um, uh, or, or um, uh, when I used to work for Gems TV, you know, other shopping channels. Um, some of the highest end items of jewellery I've ever bought to you have been Morganite pieces over the last decade and this has absolutely got that gorgeous colour. Yeah, it's essentially bead quality, um, but as, as Gem quite rightly says, it's that, it's that inner characteristic which makes this strand so beautiful and of course coupled with the colour. Well done collectors in Gloucestershire, in Surrey, in Yorkshire, in Louisiana, in Buckinghamshire, well done. I've got lots and lots of people coming through to get these um, still. Check your baskets out. I've only got, what, 14 chances remaining in the building. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got four or five of you speaking to the phone lines as well. Well done to Marie as well. I've got you coming through now. That's absolutely fantastic. Now, with everything you get from Joy Maker, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. You're also only paying 2 pounds P&P per order, which is absolutely amazing. I'll let you into a story uh, in a couple of seconds, which has really kind of roughed me up the wrong way. Um, <laughs> it's not that good a story, but you know, it's a story nevertheless. Okay, I'll tell you now. So my husband, and I have, I have said this on air, um, sent me a photo and a link of what he wanted for Christmas. Very odd um, uh, present, but I can understand kind of, because he thinks he's a bit of a James Bond, I think, my husband. Oh, he actually loves Sean Connery. Um, and... Um, he asked for some driving gloves, string back driving gloves. And I said, darling, my grandpa used to own those. He goes, yeah, Carol, I really want them. So I've got him this pair of string back driving gloves. Obviously, you know, he's, he's a guy. I didn't know what size to get him. And I thought, right, I'm gonna get him, uh, I'm gonna get him a medium. I'm gonna get him a medium. Um, and, and so the medium came and you try them on, no, they're too big. Right, okay, well, we'll send them back and then we'll get the small. So I had to pay postage and packaging back. Then the poor company had to pay P&P &P back. You know, they, had to, they then had to pay to send them out again. Um, the difference between the small and the medium was just, un, un, 
it was it was, it was unbelievable it was like they were made for a toddler <laughs> so he couldn't even fit his hand in the glove so then i had to send the small pair back and I've had to kind of, I mean, I'm so embarrassed about it. I've actually included a stamped address envelope for the company to send me the medium pair back because I was so embarrassed. I just felt awful. I felt awful. You know, terrible for my, a bit of a half-wit of a husband, really, who was just like, <laughs> no, they're not tight enough. No, they need to feel like this, Carol. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to have the medium pair sent back to us. So, yeah. It's not the most interesting story, uh, but I've spent a lot more than 2 95 on P and P over the last few weeks alone, it's utterly ridiculous. I'm on first name terms with the lady in the returns department. Let's put it like that. Unbelievable. Rosemary, well done. Jenny, Karen, Laura. I've got lots of people still coming through for these. I've got four chances remaining. They're beautiful, aren't they? I always get really embarrassed when I have to take things back more than once. Yeah, it is a bit like, oh dear. I that's know. That's totally down to me. <laughs> you feel like a bit of a dunce, don't you? It's just a bit kind of like, oh. Anyway, once, twice, three times a lady. That's what Lionel said. Have you ever seen Lionel Richie live? I haven't. Is it an experience, love? I've never met anybody who sweats so much. Um, <laughs> I saw him, I think it was June. Oh my word. My, my husband literally had to tear me down from the scene because I was just literally, I was just like, <gasps> Yeah, that was his last song. Was it da Dancing on the Ceiling or was it All Night Long? It was one of the two. It was amazing. He was brilliant. But he makes a really weird noise. That he, I've, I've never heard him do before. He goes, ow, yeah. all the time. <laughs> ow. Is this Eartha Kitt channeling, maybe? <laughs> 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 but it's absolutely, that's absolutely right. Um, but yes, but he's very kind of, ow, she's a brick. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. House. <laughs> He was brilliant. He had a few costume changes because he was becoming very sweaty. And he, and he carried a bit like a meatloaf. You know how meatloaf used to carry around kind of um, a handkerchief and a towel and kind of like a bat out of hell. And yeah, you had to keep on doing that. Anyway, <laughs> should we move on? I think it's the uh, pano chocolat. Sorry. Tip me over the edge. She all hopped up on Baker's chocolate now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You did say, Scott, where are we going? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh? Oh. Is it a good kind of O? Of course! Um, a pair of 925 sterling silver earring, hang on. It, come here, earring wires, all 925 sterling silver. You can just tell, can't you? Even without searching for the 925 stamp on these, you can just tell they're sterling silver. The shininess, the smoothness of the finding. Absolutely gorgeous. But that's not what I'm excited about here. I love these two beautiful drops of stunning labradorite faceted pairs, double sided, and, and two of these. Oh my goodness gracious me. Whoa. Beautiful, aren't they just gorgeous? All sterling silver bezel set. You are going to be getting the most glorious bezel set labradorite um, uh, elongated ovals. Perhaps with these to go on top and then perhaps for them to be put onto a pair of earrings. The most amazing bezel set connector collection here. They are absolutely wonderful. We've thought about everything with these connectors. Let me show you here on this pair drop how one of the jump rings goes front to back and the other one is side to side. Well, that suggests to me that that arguably could be the top of the earring just there. And then, of course, you've got your beautiful 
elongated oval to go on the bottom. They are absolutely beautiful. You don't have to do that. You can make this into whatever you like. You know, they don't have to be earrings. They could be, um, it could be the centerpiece to a bracelet. You could have these gorgeous elongated ovals as a, as a pendant or maybe even um, um, a charm on a bracelet. You know, there's nothing to stop you doing that at all. But my goodness gracious me, what a pair of earrings these are going to make. <gasps> they are beautiful, Gem. Beautiful quality Labradorite. Isn't well. it just? Absolutely gorgeous. This is the Labradorite from Madagascar, which we've been sourcing for, what, four or five months? And the quality of Labradorite that we've had has always been very, very good. Um, but in the last kind of three, four months, it's literally just gone through the roof. And it's because we've been able to source Labradorite from uh, Madagascar, which is really some of the world's finest Labradorite you will ever, you will ever be able to find it anywhere. Now, um, it, I, I think it's probably one of the reasons why this incredible Genuine Gemstone is voted Gem of the Year. Uh, it's been voted gem of the year five out of the six years we've ever voted um, for um, um, uh, 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 for anything. You know, for our New Year's uh, for our New Year's award system on Jewelry Maker. Absolutely amazing. Twenty three opportunities available. Um, how much would you pay for a pair of Labradorite sterling silver earrings using these um, um, gorgeous connectors, Gem? If I was going to use every single piece in the kit, mm. I would probably look to be paying 35 to 55 pounds, dependent yeah. on, on where you were selling or buying. Okay, I was thinking 50. I was thinking 40 to... They're under 20 pounds. They're under 20 pounds. Wow. 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 That is utterly brilliant. That is utterly, utterly fantastic. And let me just explain something to you as well, because I think it's, it, it's, it's really important that you know this. This is one of the questions that I'm always asked by my friends whenever they kind of tune in. I say, yeah, tune in tomorrow morning. Um, and, uh, and, and they'll call me or they'll text me and say, um, oh, Carol, you were so awful or, or, or whatever. <laughs> but, but one of the questions that they always ask is, is it real stuff that you're selling? Is it, is, is it real silver? Is it... Is it is it real genuine gemstones? Or they just assume that it isn't, but it's not real. It's all fakes, it's all kind of imitation. It's all, what, costume jewelry, yeah, yeah? No, genuine gemstones, precious metal. Um, this is the same sterling silver that you could get um, on the high street. This is the same 95 sterling silver that you get anywhere in the world. And of course, these are genuine gemstones. These, in fact, are natural labradorite uh, faceted ovals you're going to be getting here. It's all genuine gemstone quality. It's all precious metal quality in this particular, um, in this particular instance. Absolutely, 100%. Yes, yes, yes. Now, those kind of price points that you see um, on the high street, they're absolutely amazing. But you've got to think about what a lot of these shops have. They've got huge overheads because they've got to pay rates, they've got to pay wages, they've got they've got all sorts of overheads. Uh, they've got much much larger overheads. Well, I'm kind of I'm kind of making generalisations here. You will find that certain stores will have much bigger general um, um, uh, much bigger kind of overheads than we will have here. We go direct to source. We've got a very small buying team. We try and do everything in house. We've got our own gemstone setters, our own silversmiths. We've got our own lapidaries. Okay, so we try and do everything in house. We drive that cost down. We cut out all the middlemen, essentially. Um, when you have um, when you have something which you've bought on the high street, arguably they've got to take a lot of kind of overheads into consideration, which is generally speaking why you'll expect those higher price points. Having said that, these price points aren't proper prices; they're kind of nudging kind of trade or wholesale prices. You know, they are as low as I've ever seen anywhere. Seven chances available. Whether you make these into a single pair of earrings or whether you use them in 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 one, two, three, four different pieces of jewelry, you know, it it, it really is entirely entirely up to you but the fact of the matter is that is amazing isn't it 19 pounds 95 amazing even if you sold um sorry say that again per component yeah do you know what that's a really good way of putting it director ollie he says these connectors here these pendants say say that they're five pounds say that that one's five pounds as well and say that these two are five pounds each as well that means you get the shepherd's hooks absolutely free of charge yeah, that is amazing. And if you sold that for five pounds, yeah, of course that's gonna sell. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Can you imagine if we had an opportunity where we had a thousand of these pendants for five pounds each? Of course it's gonna sell. Of course it's gonna sell out. 
Absolutely amazing. Well done. Five opportunities remaining now. Now, there's only one other thing I can think of to add to this to really seal the deal. It's the early bird special. The most incredible 95 sterling silver stardust mirrored beads. They're absolutely incredible. The price point is ridiculous. Do not go anywhere. Now, I am having a really good look at these, and I have to say, I, I, I love this design. What I'm going to do, I'm going to feed some of these onto a piece of wire, because I think that make it, might make it easier for Michael to get a nice close shot. Would that make it easier for you, Michael? Yes, thank you so much for your consideration. That's all right, Michael. It's all about making your life easier. Okay. Teamwork does make the dream work. You're absolutely right. There's no, there's no I in team. Can you keep your hands still as well, please? Can I keep my hands still? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not take it too far, yeah. Michael. All right. Gee whiz. What do you want me to do? Come on, Michael! <laughs> Come on, Michael. <laughs> take the shot. Take the shot. Here it is. Wow. Finish him! Aren't they gorgeous? That was Karate Kid. Um. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Gem Hawks, amazing guest designer. Come on, look at these. Come on. Up. Because there's so much. Ooh. I think it's only when you see them either very, very close. Oh, look. It, look, it gives the appearance of a gem set quality, doesn't it? They are absolutely glorious. There's really so much detail in there, yeah. which is difficult to appreciate until you get them in your sticky little paws. So do that. They oh. are gorgeous. You know how you've got them stranded on semantic bronze wire there? Yeah. I mean, I, I love mixing metals anyway. Mm. But even if you had three on a choker, turn a piece of wire like that into a choker, that's going to look really, really striking. Absolutely. And you're not doing much, really. No, no, <laughs> no, absolutely. You, you are dead right, Gem. Um, now, I genuinely... And do you know what my husband said to me the other day? And I'm going to share something with you. I said to my husband, um, we were sitting, uh, having a glass of wine on the sofa. Talking about driving gloves. No, we are talking about driving gloves. And I said to him, I'm not going to get emotional, but I said to him, do you know what, Lovey? I said, I love my job. I love my team. And, um, <clears throat> and um, he said, do you know what? That's such a rare thing. That's such a rare thing for somebody to love their job and love their team so much and I genuinely genuinely do um, and I know we have a real laugh on here but I'm asking you right now you have to trust me in what we're going to do for you right here because this is gonna blow your socks off now these are 925 sterling silver stardust mirrored speckled beads I as much as I love the team here, ignore the photo. The photo doesn't show you what these are. Because there are so many angles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good one. That's like, look at them. Look at my face. Isn't it there? Nah, yeah, look at it. I mean, it literally, not the best shot, is it? Um, but um, you've got these, um, you've got these, um, <laughs> You've got these gorgeous 95 Sony Silver Bees, which were the best one in the world. They've got lots and lots of different angles on them, lots of different facets on them. You need to get these home. You need to hold them in your hand. You need to see, I mean, Michael's doing his, d doing his, doing his best here to kind of, uh, to make these, um, uh, uh, to kind of show you exactly what's going on here. They look, they look gem set. They look gem set. That it, it, it's a 95 sterling silver bead with flat faces on it with a gorgeous, gorgeous stardust quality on it. 
and they're four pounds 95. Wow! And that is for 10. That's for 10. I've got loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get these. And also, I think it's important to note as well, the wire that these are fed onto. What is this? If this feels like a one mil gauge wire. It, it's either going to be a 0.8 or a one. It looks really good. Yeah. It's a really thick wire. These are really going to shine. They're absolutely gorgeous. I've got loads of people coming through to get these. I don't think I'm making it clear, sorry. There are 10 of these. I'm going to feed all 10 on. Feed them on. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> to the wire. Feed them on to the wire. Feed them on boring TV. <laughs> Watching some woman sing out of tune. So here we go. One last one. I'm expecting some kind of a cheer or something. Oh, no. No! There we go. Ten of them. There they are. What? How can you do a price like that? Thank you, Liz. I like the fact that it's in capitals A because it shows your frustration, and B because it means I can read it. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. We do prices because we can. Just because we can. But one of the reasons is we've got Scott Stone Farnham on Facebook sitting in the uh, producing chair today. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Ho, 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 ho doing some good moves, <laughs> doing his robotic moves. Well done, everyone. Uh, but seriously, when we're making um, uh, items like this, we can literally, um, um, if we're making kind of hundreds, if not thousands of them, because we are making them, as in jewellery maker is uh, making them, we're not kind of outsourcing it, we're not kind of buying them from somebody else, we are making them, it means that we can drive that cost down. And at jewellery maker, you know, we... We do make thousands of these. We're not going to make, um, um, you know, just a couple of hundred or even, or even 50 or 60. We're making more like a thousand, which means we can make them much more cost effectively, which is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Look at all this. Look at all these people. I've got millions of you, loads of multi-bidders, just literally multi-bidders coming out of my ears. Well done. I've got 35 of these sitting in baskets. Get them out of your baskets. Get them out of your baskets. I don't like the idea of putting things in baskets and kind of waiting till the end of the hour to see what, see what tickles your fancy. At the end of the day, these are 4 95 Absolutely, go for it. Get them. They are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well done. They are amazing, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Uh, less than five pounds for 10 of these gorgeous, gorgeous space beads. Well done, beautiful. Don't look at the photo. Look away from the photo. Don't look at the photo. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Don't look, don't look directly into the photo. <laughs> don't look at the photo! Look at me, look at me, you're all right, you're all right. Happy place, happy place. Look at the beads, look at the beads. Don't look at the photo, look at the beads. Don't look at the photo. Look at the beads and three, two, one, pick up the phone. Three, two, one, click by now. <laughs> no, but seriously, the photo, uh, it's just a bit, it's a bit rubbish, really. You need to get, I don't, they like blobs. Lovely, lovely kind of silvery grey blobs. Don't look at that. Look at these. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous. That, I think that photograph is testament to just how busy our team is at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Amazing though. Well done, everyone. Less than 100 chances available. You're doing absolutely brilliantly. Well done. But honestly, I don't know the rest of the team feel like this. Coming to work here, it doesn't feel like coming into work. I feel like a bit of a fraud sometimes. Best job ever. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apart from the job that was advertised for the marine, well, marine biologist, which is just a bit of a joke. Where you literally, you move to an island in the French Polynesian Islands, you stay there for a year and you count fish. And um, everything, is, everything is paid for, expenses paid. Um, I think you can take someone with you as well. Um, and you literally are there for a year. Everything is paid for. You live in this beautiful kind of eco apartment. Nobody else on the island, just you and a load of fish. And apparently you can take someone else with you. And that's, and, and isn't it like 250 grand a year? I think people got paid for doing that. Do you know what? The only other job that I've ever fancied quite as much as that was... Chocolate the, tester. No, oh, no. Bed the tester. Witch of Wookie Hole. What? Other cave systems are available, obviously, but you get... It's about £30,000, £35,000 a year, and you get to scare small children. Uh, Gem Hawks, do you, know what, do you know what I have written on my CV? What? 
Do you know what one of my... T- you're not going to believe me. <laughs> Do you know what one of my previous jobs was? And I put it on my CV so people always ask me about it. I was head dungeon keeper of uh, London Dungeons. Oh, that's outstanding. I had a set of keys like this and I used to either get dressed up as a Jack the Ripper lady of the night, a pirate or a, uh, a general uh, ghoul and I used to, this is terrible, this is before I had kids obviously, I used to go up to children and say, you're the only one who can see me. <laughs> and then go on. <laughs> And I used to have to run the Judgment Day boat ride. Keep your arms and legs inside the boat, try not to fall out and uh, do all, you know, cockney, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And I used to have to, the worst thing that ever happened to me though was, we used to have to put plague boils on, which are basically bits of, um, it was bits of just rubber, I think, that we used to stick to our faces. And um, we used to put, paint our teeth black to make it look like we had no teeth and kind of maybe have one. And um, and, um, I had taken my makeup off. I went to meet my boyfriend who I was living with at the time, he was horrible, um, uh, in, uh, in Greenwich. And, uh, and I got to the train station, I ordered my ticket and the lady behind the desk was like, and kind of gave me my ticket. And then I got on the train and, um, and, and I went to meet him at the pub. I said, oh, and it's so good to see I've had a terrible day. And he said, Karen, I think you need to go to the loo. And I was like, what? I think you need to go to the loo and look at your face. So I went to the loo. My face was fine. I went like that. I'd left all the black on my teeth. <laughs> it was dreadful. So I was walking around with literally just one tooth like this. Anyway, yeah, head dungeon keeper of London Dungeon. Superb. <laughs> but yes, which, which of Wookie Hole? Sounds good. Sounds good. What do, they, what do you have to do as the witch of Wookiee Hole? I imagine there's a little bit of custodianship, making sure that nobody's going to slip on slippy bits, but also just basically leaping out and scaring parties of school kids. What could be better? I ah! can't... Yes! <laughs> oh, yes! How fantastic! Send us a text! What's been your <laughs> weirdest job? We will try... Th- we will absolutely research them, so no fibbing. Uh, yes. Keep it clean. It's a family show. Here's our text number 60777. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Your name, where you're from. What's your weirdest job to date? Michael, have you had any weird jobs? I've had one. I've had, I've You've had one weird job? It's not very nice. Oh no, were you like a fish scaler or something? Or a... It's kind of close. I had to, t- I had to test um, slabs of pig skin for stubble. <laughs> no! For the scratch. <laughs> no, you didn't! Yeah. Michael had to, guys, are you listening to this? Michael had to test slabs of pig skin for stubble when they used to make pork scratchings. <laughs> Did you have to shave it if it was stubbly? No, he was put it in the different box to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was only 16. Is that a job? <laughs> yeah, because um, if you kind of um, deep fry, I love, air, I l- don't like it. I love pork scratchings. Yeah. D- dip don't. them in beer. Yeah. Scott, what's your weirdest job to date? When he was young, he worked in like a gardening resource place where they buy stuff. Right. Scott said, find him on Facebook. Used to have to check garden tiles and slabs for bobbles. If they had a bobble, they had to go in the reject pile. Gee whiz. No, what would have been worse is if you'd had to check for slugs and snails. That would have been horrid. (laughs) No. No. Yes. Imagine the coffee breaks in there. <gasps> How's your day? Yes, all right, no bubbles. Well, I had a bubble at 9.15. It was uh, it was larger than your ordinary one. The other day, uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> Ollie, have you had any weird jobs? Director Ollie. <laughs> Directing this crazy woman on television and... Uh, powder coating in a factory. For motorbike parts? That sounds alright actually, that doesn't sound like a weird job. Oh, it wasn't alright. No. 
Okay. I did apply for a job as a coffee tester once, but there was a form to fill in. Like we had to test about 25 or 30 different cups of coffee, and it was all rank. And I think I didn't get the job because I was really honest. I was like, ditch water smells like <laughs> not nice, <laughs> mud. Didn't get the job. <gasps> oh, man. Well, those uh, spacer beans have almost sold out. Well done, everyone. That's absolutely awesome. Fantastic. Perido, 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 perido. We're into chanting things at the minute in my house. Um, when, um, when, when John comes home, it's da da, cha cha cha, da da. And he comes and doing this kind of dance. <laughs> Have we gone on to driving gloves yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just oh, how, the things that we do and I laugh about, and everyone's kind of like, <laughs> weird family. <laughs> weird family. <laughs> Oh, and is it bad that when my 19, 19 month old drinks water, because she drinks gallons of water, whenever she drinks water, we go chug, 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 chug. Like some kind of frat party. Chug, 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 chug. That's not bad, that's too bad. I love it. Oh, it's love her. <laughs> Perido, is this going to go perilo? You betcha, you betcha. Graduated, uh, graduated rondelles, beautiful, beautiful, unfaceted, highly polished um, peridot, absolutely gorgeous, spring greens, I think it was um, uh, Gem the other day, we were talking about the arrival of spring, yesterday, yesterday afternoon felt positively spring-like and it just filled my heart full of, ah, joy, and it was just, it was just so exciting. Um, it literally is just around the corner, everyone. Just stick with it. It's literally around the corner. Springtime! <laughs> um, I cannot think of a better gemstone to herald the arrival of spring more so than Peridot. It's an absolute beauty. Um, Peridot from China is consistently like this. It's fresh, it's zingy, it's got the most beautiful uh, yellow secondary notes as well, which is just so lovely. Lovely to see it unfaceted. Isn't it, Gem? It's exactly what I was thinking. It's mm. so pretty because it's like little dew drops catching sunlight oh. on that fresh growth. Oh. And they do glow like this. Yes. Yes, they absolutely do. What, what kind of colours do you think Peridot go? I mean, it, it will go with absolutely any colour, won't it, really? It's going to look beautiful with the Morganite. Oh, that is going to look good. It's also amazing when you pop it with a deeper green, uh, such as a Russian diopside. A Russian diopside. Or if you pop it with a malachite, it looks really enhancing and beautiful. Gorgeous. My favourite combination has to be amethyst or a purple fluorite. Definitely. Now, we've got purple fluorite coming up in the first kit today. Have a look at this. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Look at that. Look at that love that combination isn't that beautiful isn't that just gorgeous i also think it's going to work particularly well with today's deal of the day as well which of course is stunning tanzanite look at that isn't that gorgeous really 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 beautiful the great thing about peridot because it is this gorgeous fresh zingy green color because it is a naturally um uh, genu uh, uh, sorry naturally colored genuine gemstone so it's not dyed it's not it's not diffused it is absolutely 100 percent natural because it's present in nature it means it's going to go with all of those beautiful floral tones if you think about kind of the one thing that flowers have in common it's a, generally speaking they almost all have green stems and they almost all have green leaves 14.95 should be your price not today forget it I wonder what it's going to look like with the gorgeous um beads that we've just done oh hang on that's not the beads that's the Oh, look at that, 9.95. Do you know what, when you can, oh yeah, look at that. That's gorgeous and perfect size-wise with the strand as well. Do you know what, isn't it just, isn't it just like an imagine, imagine, imagine a beautiful, uh, just a single stranded bracelet of your peridot, maybe with three or with five or whatever kind of a symbolic number is for you, a uh, number of these beads placed in the center of that. And it's gonna be a wonderful kind of stackable uh, bracelet should you want to do that. You're right, Gem, those beads are just right for this strand, aren't they, size-wise and shape-wise, actually. 
Yeah, and because you've got two quite different dimensions, you've got the glow and the shine yeah. of the peridot, and then you've got the sparkle and the points of light of the bead. It's really beautiful together. Gorgeous. And for 9 95 it's always worth trying a genuine gemstone like this out. It's one of those gemstones as well, I think, that if you wanted to make maybe a bridal a bridal um, uh, suite, um, you wanted to use maybe kind of the very traditional kind of ivories and the whites, but you wanted to inject a little bit of colour. This is a great colour to go for, of course, because if you think about most brides hold um, uh, flower bouquets and so do bridesmaids as well, it's going to tie in beautifully with all of that, particularly for those spring weddings as well. Really, really gorgeous quality. Nine ninety-five, an amazing gemstone, and also the birthstone of August as well. Looks great actually with the other birthstone of August uh, with black spinel. It looks fantastic because again, you've got that opposite end, haven't you? It absolutely is, and it, it can look quite grown up when you pop the black spinel in there as well. Yeah, it's obviously a really cheerful gemstone anyway, but you can change it with what you put with it. Another combination is pearls. Oh yes, absolutely. Beautiful with pearls, definitely. Guest designer Fleur, here she is. I used to put the bubbles in spirit levels. I don't, <laughs> I, d I don't need to say more. Did you really, Fleur? <laughs> you don't put bubbles in things. You just don't put water in. You just don't fill it up full of water. I think that I think Fleur, guest designer Fleur Hastings, is uh, fibbing to us. It's like, isn't it, when they ask? apprentices to um to go and get a heaped a heaped tablespoon of water get a long wait go or and get me some air handed screwdriver or a left-handed screwdriver <laughs> that's a good one gee whiz i think guest designer fleur's having us on there no Take i totally believe it because you would have to assemble that that particular part of a spirit level you don't put bubbles in, do you? You can't put, how do you put a bubble in something? I'm you sure it's, it's the component. It's actually called a bubble. You can buy a replacement bubble if you burst it or crack it. No! It's true. I believe everything Fleur tells me anyway, and I hope you're feeling better, I, chicken. I know, she's been poor, isn't she, bless her? Yeah, Fleur, uh, maybe in her feverish state, she <laughs> thought <laughs> that she once worked. <laughs> <laughs> I had this dream about spirit levels. <laughs> I must text jewellery maker. Sheila says, uh, I worked in a fish and chip restaurant. Mmm. I always uh, had plenty of space around me on the bus home. I wonder why, oh. But I love fish, I love fish and chips. I would, I would worry that if I worked in a fish and chip shop, I'd eat it all. I think it's about two weeks when you start at the chip shop. Two weeks, you're gorging because the smell gets to you. And after that, you're like, yeah, okay, whatever. Do you think? My husband worked when he was a teenager in a chippy and he said after two weeks, he was sick of the sight of it. <laughs> well, I know that at um, the certain chocolate place, uh, they allow you to eat as much chocolate as you like. And yet by within a month or so, everyone's sick of the, <laughs> sick of the taste of it. No, not Willy Wonkers. What, the Oompa Loompas? Don't know. The old one or the new one? Are we fans of the old one or the new one? The Gene Wilder one? Yeah. Definitely the old one, isn't it? I love Gene Wilder. He was amazing, wasn't it? I can't believe he passed did away, didn't he? Oh. Yeah, I know. Stir crazy. Have you ever seen that movie? Best film ever. <laughs> With Richard Pryor. <laughs> oh, my word. It's such a funny movie. I love it. And see no evil, hear no evil. Yes, That's absolutely. Immense. Some really good movies yeah. there. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm going to watch some of those this weekend, I think. Right, so uh, silver flower bead caps. Oh, my word. Absolutely beautiful. These almost look like um, kind of... I don't, I don't know. They're like kind of almost like little bird cages. They're just beautiful. Almost like little lampshades, aren't they? The way that they're, the way that they're made. Aren't they gorgeous? They're all 925 sterling silver. Now, of course... Uh, your bead caps can go kind of as, as they're kind of traditionally used on the top of a bead. So if you've got a lovely round bead, maybe a round pearl or, a, or the beautiful morganite, it would look fantastic with the morganite that we've just bought to you over the last few minutes. Um, 
you literally just put your be um, threading material, which is right here, through the hole of the bead cap and you have it sitting on top and it looks absolutely gorgeous. You can have them sitting underneath the bead as well, like a little basket that the gemstones sitting in and they look absolutely wonderful. But as individual elements on their own, they're really beautifully made and they're actually really useful, aren't they, Gem? They are absolutely gorgeous. I like them in bracelets. So, mm. if, for instance, some of the slider bracelets that we have had, yeah. one of those either side of a single quite large gemstone, so it doesn't encase them, but it it adds a little, I don't know, like a quotation mark. Here's the beautiful gemstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Lovely. But also, I was just thinking, if you were to put that in the centre of a quite a large round cabochon and wire wrap out from it, that would be a really different effect. It looked like a shield. Yeah, wouldn't it? Different. Just. Loads of different ways you can use them. And I suppose because you've got these kind of open, open points, these kind of it's, it's kind of like a filigree work, I suppose, going around the bead. It gives you those points from which to do that, doesn't it? Definitely. Oh, good stuff, everyone! Absolutely fantastic. You're going to be getting five of these sterling silver bead caps in this pack. All five for £6.95. Absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really pretty, aren't they? They've got a lovely, delicate kind of look to them. Although, really, honestly, um, to, kind of, uh, to kind of hold them, they are very, very substantial indeed. They're not kind of flimsy at all. I wonder, though, um, because of their shape, it's a lovely kind of dome shape. I wonder if there was a way of flattening these. I don't know if you would necessarily want to do that. You might be able to. Um, not entirely sure. I'd have to sort of have a bit of a play. Yeah. But because it is that genuine solid sterling silver, you do have the option to transform many of the items that we have available. Absolutely. You could put a very tiny bead in the centre of these. We've actually got some three mil lapis coming up on today's show and having one in the centre of your bead there might be nice. Maybe um, on the bottom of a bracelet and there might even be a little bit of movement inside the bead, almost like a rattle. And that would be, uh, and that would be a lovely addition to a piece, wouldn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. I've got people coming through to get these. A really, really gorgeous quality. Five of your gorgeous bead caps here for just £6.95. There's a load of selling silver in these and I do have multi bidders coming through, which I'm really, really pleased to see as well might be nice to make these into little pieces to kind of have um, birthstones inside of so the way that I just had one on top of the other there you could literally have birthstones inside each one of these couldn't you that might be a nice way of kind of making very personal very kind of bespoke uh, jewelry it's entirely up to you kind of how you want to use these but they do have really really awesome uses loads and loads of different uses I love Gem's idea about putting one of these in the middle of a cabochon and kind of wiring from it using it almost as a centerpiece as a center point uh, to wire from which is absolutely great well done we've got a few texts coming through as well uh, from people with uh, uh, unusual jobs. We kind of got into unusual job uh, topic. Um, so yeah, text us this morning. What's your unusual job? Have you had any weird unusual jobs? Let us know. Uh, I used to bait lines for a fishing boat in Suffolk, says Linda. Ooh. Did you go out on the boat? Nothing like being out on the open sea, is there? Oh, I get sick on a rowboat. I think I I'm the worst saying that. sailor ever. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Linda seemed to enjoy Well, there you go. Awesome. Send us your text. Weird jobs. Weird and unusual jobs. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. Don't go anywhere. When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. The booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewellery making journey today. There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I think when I look back on it, 
I think I was brought up as a beader, not a jewellery maker, a beader, because, you know, we always had my granny's button box and lace box and, you know, um, you could go through her beads and put them all together, string them, you know. Jewellery maker is quality, and if you want the quality, that's who you've got to go to. I like your presenters and the certain ones. Yeah, and it's a shame it's so far because I'd like to do loads more courses. But yeah, I, I will always be buying from Jewellery Maker. I am that sort of person with energy who likes to jump from medium to medium. Um, depending on what day of the week it is, depending on what I feel like. I find I work differently if I'm sitting in my workroom at the table than I do when I'm sitting with a tray in front of the television. Um, but yeah, no, I would say to, to new people coming in, if you are looking at genuine gemstones, it's got to be jewellery maker. I would say look at um, the bundles, because I think you do some really good bundles. And press the button quick and buy them. You know, don't wait to think about it, because I think that's one of the big things, is if you wait, it's gone. You can always order, and what I usually do is I'll order, and I'll have other things in the back of my mind that I can add to that order to get your postage money's worth. Yeah. Um, and if I don't like it, I can send it back. But I think that is the way to buy. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Don't you know you're going too fast? Now did you how do you know it won't last? Did you know I can't just see you slow it down in the side cause you know that they're going stop right now. Thank you very much. Oh <laughs> This is one of the reasons I love coming to work. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> ah. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. <laughs> what is the weirdest place you've ever worked? Dot, 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 Jewelry Maker. <laughs> hey, uh, where dreams are made. Oh, my word, Gem Hawks, look at this jewelry. You just, you immerse yourself, don't you? Yeah, sometimes it just takes a keyword or a thought or a phrase, and I, I can't actually remember what the kit was called now, but this is where the kit name took me. There you go, it was that there. Spring mm. flowers. How, where, where, how do you come up with ideas like this, Gem? Because it's absolutely, it is, it, it is magic that, you've, that, that you seem to create here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love what you do. Oh, bless your heart. You're such a superstar. Thank you. Um, a lot of it comes from natural inspirations. Mm. Sometimes I just wake up and think, I've got to make that. And I keep a notepad most places. I, I'm hopeless at 
sketching things out, but I often write down ideas for combinations and shapes and things. Yeah. Um, you should see my drawings. They really are quite, quite hilarious. Which was the first piece that you made, Gem? Uh, the headpiece nearest to us. This one? Yeah. I love, I love how you've separated out the really blue fluorites um, right here. And then you've gone for the really um, uh, deep, well, you've got some deep dark purples in here, but you've also got some gorgeous greens going through them as well. This, the fluorite in this kit is absolutely exceptional, isn't it's it? It's astounding. Really, really beautiful. I've not seen anything that I felt quite so quickly in love with yes. as, as this fluorite strand. These are kind uh, of a pair of them actually. These are your colours, aren't they? Totally. They really are. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This strand of purple banded fluorite here is absolutely mesmerising. You've got everything from your deep dark, almost like a Zambian amethyst kind of tone, going through to your lavenders. Um, I think maybe the colour. I mean, the colours are very, very striking. They're very, very strong. I think the fact that the fluorites are also big as well really helps the strand, doesn't it? Because these are really, really large, faceted um, rondelles you're going to be getting here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? It's such a lovely combination with the soft gold as well. Yes. Really beautiful wire to work with. Now, the other strand of fluorite that we've got here, oh. again, mm -hmm. It's absolutely mesmerising. The swimming pool tones going through this strand. I'll just move the purple one out of the way just so we don't get confused. Um, the swimming pool tones, the blues, the greens are absolutely gorgeous. That's a real kind of peppermint blue, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen a strand of fluorite which is so which has got so many blues coming out of it. I've seen lots of fluorites before with purples and greens in it, um, although not the kind of intensity of purple that we're going to be getting here today. But there are definite greens, but there are absolutely amazing blues, like proper sky blues, aren't there, Jam? Uh, it's absolutely a glorious strand, and there really is something on there that's going to please everybody. Yes. I found on my multi-toned strand um, there were at least two or three pieces which were genuinely bicoloured. Oh. And it had that perfect meeting of the deep purples mm. with that greens coming into the blue, mm. and it just melts together so perfectly. I think when you've when you've got a kit like this with fluorite of this kind of level, you have to understand this is, you know, there's fluorite and then there's fluorite. And this is absolutely the latter. This is, you know, gem quality fluorite. Don't forget, fluorite is a reasonably difficult gem to facet. It's a difficult gemstone to drill. It's a difficult gemstone to mine because it's a reasonably soft, genuine gemstone. Once it's faceted, once it's drilled, once it's on a temporary strand like you can see in front of you there, it's an absolute dream to use. It really genuinely is. But to get it to this stage, there are probably hundreds of carats of fluorite that didn't make the grade for these inc two incredible strands. So you've got two of the best quality strands of fluorite I've ever seen in my life right here. Absolutely amazing. Then you've got your champagne white. Now I know that Gem, you were not only excited by the quality of the fluorite in this kit, but by the gauges of wire as well, because you really... <gasps> I know. It's my dream kit wire-wise. Absolutely spot on. Mm -hmm. ha okay. 10 metres of 0.4 millimetre gauge, champagne gold, silver plated, um, um, uh, copper wire. 10 metres of 0.8 millimetre gauge. And then, where on earth did we get this? 10 metres <laughs> of champagne gold wire, one and a half mil gauge. Champagne gold coloured silver plated copper wire. Wow. Now, I, I, can kind of, I can kind of figure out why these three gauges of wire are like your ideals and why it's your dream kit wire work wise. Why don't you tell us and, and the viewers, why don't you kind of explain why this is like your ideal? You can do a lot of structural work with your one mil gauge, mm. but when you get the heavier, the 1.5 mil, mm. you really can make something that doesn't need very much to back it up. The headpiece nearest to us, the yeah. band is made from the heavy gauge. Um, and it, it just went into shape and it stayed there. It's Look absolutely it. fantastic. And the curve you can get just by warming the wire through your hand. Wonderful. Running it across a thumb or a finger. And it, it just generates this beautiful sheen, beautiful shape. Absolutely spot on. You can just go with, I don't know, 10 or 12 inches and create a bangle 
straight away, no dramas, and you know that once it's in position, it's going to stay in that form, stay in that shape. Look at this beautiful wire work on the back of this necklace. If we have any time, Gem, I think it might be nice to see actually how you've done this, because this is made with the uh, one and a half mil gauge wire. Look at how, how Gem has merely curved the the one and a half mil gauge wire around into this into this into this hook shape it's a smooth continuous movement it's a smooth continuous shape look at how this beautiful wire work gently curves over at one point it crosses over the other um, um, um uh, the other part of the one and a half mil gauge wire this bit here is purely decoration now there are hardly any gauges of wire that you can actually do that with even if it was if it was one mil gauge, you'd be wrapping it around the one mil gauge wire to kind of anchor it into secure it. But because it's one and a half mil gauge wire, this isn't doubled over. This kind of hook part isn't doubled over. It's just one piece of wire. It gives it fluidity. It gives it a simple, it, the, the design becomes very simple, but so strong. And there's a confidence about a design like that, which I think is just wonderful. Definitely, absolutely. And if you have any notes left over, uh, it's ideal to make little chokers as well. Uh, we quite often, as vendors, we want to provide something that somebody can wear a pendant on to take away. Yes. If you've got a couple of bits of this left over, oh. it's only going to take you about 20 inches or so to make a collar very similar to the basis of that. Fantastic, yes. Um, very inexpensive when you think about it. Oh, look at the ring. Is yeah. that made with the one and a half mil gauge? It is, yeah. How much wire did you use to make that ring? Oh, gosh, not very much. It was an off-cut, and I thought, well, I'm going to do something with that because I'm... Very thrifty. And, did, and from all this wire, <laughs> did you have any wire left over or did you use all of it? Uh, no, I, I burnt my way all the way through this kit, I'm afraid. Normally I would have a little bit left over. I was going to say, because there's a lot here that you've used, especially the one and a half mil gauge wire in it. shows you how much you can make, doesn't it? You can make so, so much wow. with it. Wow. It's, it's a lot of fun. Beautiful gauges. It really does prove and show to you. I mean, let's look at that ring again. What can be achieved by using a really thick gauge of wire? Arguably, it's going to leave you this spool of 10 metres of this one and a half mil gauge wire is going to leave you enough to maybe have a little bit of a, a practice with. But wow, that is that is a piece of jewellery that you could literally wear every single day. And I wouldn't be worried about kind of it getting bent out of shape because it's just so, oh, I do make a lot of rings with leftover pieces of wire and I wouldn't mm. dream of doing that particular design with a one mil without sticking it face down, hammering it and hoping for the best. Yeah. With this, you know that once it's in position, you can even go shopping and carry bags and things. Now, um, Suzanne in Hertfordshire says, love fluorite, love gems designs and I love you guys. That's a lot of love. Aww, I love you too, back. Suzanne. Thank you. She's quite right. The fluorite is literally, it is, it is electric. It's so beautiful. It's so juicy. It's so vibrant with the soft gold wire though. Wow. With that gorgeous soft shampoo champagne gold wire. Jan in Gloucestershire says, wow, Jem, such uh, enchanting makes bridal festival or just to be magical. Oh, how wonderful. Love to all. Fab kit JM, champagne wire, gorgeous. Love Jam from the Shire. Do you know what? You're absolutely right. I think bridal, yes. Festival, yes. If you just want to feel like a woodland fairy, I think absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's goosebumps. Beautiful kit. Now, you don't know how much this kit's going to go to. Nope. This is obscene. The price point this kit should be. Now, I don't know about you, I would pay that. I actually would, and, and you know sometimes when you think, oh yeah, that, that, that's a great deal, but I know where I work and I know that it's gonna be amazing. I actually would be really happy with that. Because that would make it <laughs> £15 for each strand of floor, right? And then the wire for £4.75. Not today. £19.95. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's under £20. Oh, my goodness gracious me. I've got loads of people coming through. Goodness gracious me. Well done. Under £20 for these two strands of fluorite makes these two strands of fluorite what a tenner each and the wire is for free. And don't forget it's 10 metres of 0 0.4, 10 metres of 0 0.8, but 10 metres, come on, of the one and a half mil gauge wire. All in this gorgeous champagne gold quality as well, which is just wonderful. And I think with the level of fluorite being as it is, you can be 
um, you can be as specific as you like with it. You can be very specific, just like Gemma has been here, separating those qualities of fluorite out. You can alternate them, or you can just mix them in and just have them all just, just, just kind of nestling in together. Whichever way you use these, there's no wrong way to use these fluorides. I love that piece on the end, that pendant on the end's beautiful, Gem. I don't even know what it is. It, it started out as a leaf, and then it grew a tail, and then I thought it might be a scorpion. It looks like a scorpion. It wasn't, it wasn't a scorpion, it was a leaf with a vine coming off it, and I, I like it. I think it's a scorpion. <laughs> I don't know. Or a kind of like a paisley feather. It, it, do you know what? I was thinking of paisley a little mm. bit as well when I drew that tail shape round. Oh, it's it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, well done, under £20, amazing. Good. Tea with no sugar and just milk, please, and a water, please. I was trying to signal... Could I have a black coffee, please? Thank you so much. You star, no sugar, thank you. And a <laughs> bottle, of, uh, bottle of wine behind the arm. Can I just show you very quickly the colour graduation of the fluorites? Yes. I'll just put them here just to show some of the different tones. Do you want me to flip that round for this one or are you happy with it there? No, that's fine. So you've got this beautiful pale green moving through to a warmer green and then you've got some of the bi colours and then a pale purple, a deep purple and deepest purple. Ooh. Really is beautiful and you can do so much with that. I mean if you were to fill in a great big leaf mm. and have it graduating all the way along the different colours, I think that would be really pretty. Absolutely. <laughs> Lovely idea. Very Mark Smith. Yes, he's brilliant with his <laughs> colours and <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Gorgeous. Right. Um, you're going to show us some vine work, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to show you how to create a vine um, which you can use anywhere. I mean, the vine goes around the edge of the whatever it is on the end. Mm. Uh, the vine works scorpion. on the bangle. Mm. Scorpion, th yeah, that thing. <laughs> um, and all I've done there is put the vine work so that the leaves come off the vine very close together. Oh, yeah. Whereas on the headpiece closest to us, they're mm. slightly further apart. Uh, and you oh, can just beautiful. alternate sizes. We'll look at the shape of the little leaves that come off the vine as well. And Perfect. It's quite a simple technique, very addictive. And also you can sit when you're watching the telly with a length of your 0.8 mil gauge is the mm. one we're going to use. And you can just create yards of the stuff to use at a later date. And what's so nice about the, this particular design uh, gem, I think, is that you can, there's so much you can add to these as well. It gives you so, much, so many points to kind of anchor other things onto, doesn't it? It does indeed. On the bangle uh, between the ring oh, and yes. the earrings, I've put uh, some of the more purple toned fluorites into mm. position on some of those. Gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can put wire in to sort of weave across and create uh, a compacted, almost sheet-like design. You can put your smaller gems inside. Just go to town, make it your own. And there's not a single piece of jewellery here, even the ring without the gemstones, and there's not a single piece of jewellery here that I would consider paying, or, or consider selling for less than £20. But the entire kit is less than £20. I mean, it's utterly ridiculous, isn't it? If I had to think about the total value, if I were to sell this at a reasonably mid-range fare, yeah. I'd be looking at between two and three hundred pounds. Definitely, that's exactly what I was thinking. Absolutely. Um, so from the outlay of 19.95, it's it's not much. And that's less than two pounds fifty a piece. Yeah, which even the simple ring without a gemstone w would be more than than that anyway. Absolutely, so. one hundred percent. Gorgeous, let's get going. The longer length that you begin working with, obviously the longer length of vine you're going to get, mm. you can, because what you will do with your vine work will vary, if you want a continuous piece, obviously start with as much as you can manage. If you've got toddlers or cats or dogs or people running around and you've not got much space, then just make shorter lengths and you can sort of add them together a bit later. Okay. But I'm going to start with a relatively short piece so I don't poke Carol in the face because we wouldn't want Thank that you. to happen. <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm just using my uh, flush cutters, my jewellery maker flush cutters, just to bring a length of the 0.8 mil gauge. And I would always leave a tail of at least two to three inches on one end. And this is so that I can decide what I want to do with that later. I might need that to wrap into a design. I might want to create a clasp out of it and make the vine work an actual necklace by itself. 
So the first thing that I would do is just condition the wire slightly. It's beautiful quality wire. You don't have to put it through a straightener as it comes off the reel. It's absolutely gorgeous. But all I'm going to do is just run it between my finger and thumb just to put a little bit of warmth and flexibility into it. And then I know that when I put this into position, it's going to stay where I want it to. So as I say, we've given ourselves a little bit of a tail to work with later. I'm using my bent nose pliers. You can use any flat facing pliers. I wouldn't use round nose pliers at this stage. And just start off with a bend, approximately right angle. And then this is where you're going to set the size of your leaf. So I've just used my thumb to generate this uh, dimension here. I'm just going to flip that over and put a bend on the tip of the leaf and bring that back round. Lovely. Then again, using the warmth of thumb and finger, I'm drawing the wire back round underneath. Now I've got a fairly symmetrical leaf at the moment, but that's just in size. So I'm just going to grip onto both sides of the leaf here and do a single wrap all the way around and then another half wrap so that the wire comes up and continues away. We've got our little tail here, yeah. we've done a leaf, and we're yeah. going to continue I on. I see, right. So that in and of itself is really very, very simple. Now, what I like to do is just get in there with the tip of the flat pliers, give that a bit of a squeeze, just to mm. make that nice and neat. Gorgeous. And I would then again just run my fingers over just this section of wire. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques as we go along mm. so you can vary what you want to do. Yeah, okay. First thing I'll show you how to do is to customise one of the leaves uh, by itself. So if I just draw this out of the way. My favourite things to do is just go in to the tip of the leaf and pull the pliers oh, in to lovely. generate a little... You could stay with the one side. Yeah. I quite like to have one on both sides. And then create a little bit of a, a curve by drawing that up. And you've instantly got quite a quirky little leaf. Yeah, gorgeous. Which you can then also pop a little bend in the middle. You see, I'm just literally bending that over the top of my finger now. Oh, I'm nice. Overhead. And from a very, very simple shape that we made, which looked a bit like a lemon a minute ago, that's a bit more uh, as you would find a leaf in nature Absolutely, with structure yes. and with texture. Mm. So one of my favourite ways to make a vine work is to have alternating alternating sides. So I'm just going to use the warmth of my finger to curve this continuation so that it goes around the leaf itself. Yeah. And what I want to do now is generate a leaf that's going to come off the other side. So to do that, pop my pliers in next to where the tip of the first leaf would be, pop a bend in, and then repeat the first step, which I'll do quite quickly because we've okay. just seen how to do the leaf. I'm going to draw the wire around it's going to come underneath. That's not a very good bend on the end, so I'll just adapt that slightly. That's right. better. Put the curve in with your thumb or your finger. Yeah. Grip that into position. Wrap around the vine once and a half. And now you can see that the continuation of the vine is going to come up the other side. So ah, you alternate. Nice. So Could you push that flat a second? Because you do find that. in nature, don't you, that when kind of leaves tend to go left and right, left and right, don't they? Generally, Generally speaking, yeah. yeah. I mean, unless you've got um, very, very dark on one side and light on the other side, mm. then the leaves will tend to grow towards the light. But this is just one variation. It depends where you start. When you come up to the tip of the next leaf, if I wanted to make this the same side, mm. I'm going to put the bend so it goes over. Mm. That first bend and that first curve is where your leaf will sit. So you can see now, if I pop the next one in, nice oh, wow. tip on the leaf, bring yep. that into position. Make sure you're happy with the dimension before you wrap, because once you've wrapped, you can't change it. So I'm going to support the leaf and just wrap that once and a half times. Bring that around. So you can see how you can either alternate, or if you wanted to have this, like on the headpiece that's nearest to us, yeah. um, if you wanted that them on the same side so they stand up as they are in this design, that's the way you would achieve it. Absolutely. What I love so much about the, the gauge of wire that you're using as well is the fact that you can see the wire 
wrapping over the design and it's and you haven't tried to hide it at all it's it's it, it really adds it, it it adds a beautiful kind of bit of movement to the design and it's amazing how many variations there are for this particular design isn't it definitely i mean you can it's have lovely. very rounded leaves as well if i just make one that's that's quite rounded mm. um let's have that going the same way again support this design you can have quite nice little bubbles as well oh, so gorgeous. with this one i wouldn't put my pliers in at the tip i would just draw that around draw that oh. underneath and it's kind of cute this also gives you a different opportunity for setting I, I for instance would quite like to put a pearl in there i think a pearl would look beautiful on the vine absolutely especially if you are thinking of a, a slightly more classical bridal mm. uh, events then pearls do tend to work quite well and they're they're one of the things that I'm most often asked to bring in. Even on my alternative bridal designs, people still quite often want a pearl. Interesting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think as well, um, this, kind of, this kind of design which Gemma's making here and these pieces are really bringing to mind, for me, kind of that woodland wedding, that kind of free spirit kind of um, element uh, to jewellery making. And I think we can all take so much from these designs. Um, the perfect gemstone to go and to incorporate into this kit i think would be smoky quartz now in all honesty we very 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 rarely get smoky quartz anymore on jewelry maker i don't know why um we we are just finding it very 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 difficult to get hold of this incredible genuine gemstone this strand of smoky quartz here uh is Hands down, it's one of the best strands of smoky quartz I think I've ever seen. Smoky quartz is the most amazing uh, gemstone in, in the fact that it is, it's a bit like a chocolate souffle. It's rich, but it's light, it's heavy, but it's, it's, it's fluffy, it's dark, but it's got moments of incredible clarity. Um, it's, it's got, the gorge, the most wonderful luster, but it's got the most insatiable inner brilliance as well. It's a gemstone which, for me, it covers all. It covers all aspects of jewelry making, and I think it is probably the most versatile gemstone in the world. It will go with literally any gemstone. If you're looking at maybe a black and white combination, and you're thinking, "Oh, black's just a bit too black. It's a bit too harsh." Smoky quartz is the ultimate one to go for. Either that or something navy blue, like a lapis lazuli. Now. This smoky quartz gem, incorporating this into a vine design, I, I, I just think it's absolutely perfect. You've got those earthy, earthy tones, but without it being too muddy because it's got that gorgeous clarity. It's just a perfect gem to put with a kit like this, don't you think? It really is. And with this wire, absolutely exquisite. Mm. You've got so much going on in there because you've got the warmth of the browns but you've also got the coolness of the dark mm. you've got the sparkle but you've got the softness it yeah. really is absolutely superb and it's six pounds 95 now that is a real <laughs> real rarity to see smoky quartz on jewelry maker at 6.95 because it's a genuine gemstone that we don't really get very often at all on jam i can probably count on one hand the amount of times i bought this um i bought smoky quartz to you in the last 12 months really and um, 6.95 makes it even more fantastic well done and Gem is totally right you've got the you've got the lightness and you've got the darkness there it, it gives you absolutely everything and um, I just love it with the wire as well as Gem says it's going to be the perfect addition look at this look at this you know what even if you don't use it with this kit it's a great gemstone to have in your look at that it's the most fantastic genuine gemstone to have in your stash it suits every single um skin tone and it's a lot less harsh on the skin than than a black gemstone i don't tend to wear a lot of a lot of black because it is because i do have quite fair skin i'd only consider wearing maybe micro faceted black spinel um but this incredible strand here i'd feel confident enough to wear you know big chunky carrot weights of smoky quartz but particularly with this fluorite is beautiful with the fluorite i like it with pearls but i also like it with uh tiger's eye because oh. you get two very very different textures oh, two very lovely. different tones uh, it's very elegant, very mm. grown up, but also quite fun because it is that sort of dark. Absolutely. Gem. Anywhere you'd use a black gemstone, you could 
use uh, a smoky quartz yeah. instead. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's, all, it's, it's quite grown up, you know. And don't you think with the greens and the blues and the floral, that those are really kind of interior design kind of tones as well. You see these kind of, this kind of palette used a lot in interior design, the kind of minty, minty greens and, and, and chocolate browns together. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Wonderful. Well done. As I'm sure you can imagine, this strand of 635 smoky quartz is absolutely flying out the door. I've got loads of people coming through to get this. It's absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. Lovely that it's ever so slightly graduated as well, so you get that wonderful um, uh, variety in size uh, going through this strand. Gorgeous. Anything else you want to show us, Gem? I can show you the world's easiest flower, if you like. <laughs> I'm going to quote you on that, yeah? Okay. 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 Again, we're working with the 0.8. Mm. Um, you wouldn't want to try this with the 1.5 mug because you might throw a wrist which, out. Which design <laughs> are we looking at here? The one nearest to us, yes. in the headpiece, in the centre, just in front of where we've got This is the world's easiest flower? Yes. I don't know. Do you trust this lady? I've got about three feet of wire, 36 inches. Right. Much, much more than I need. But I want to make quite a big flower, so it's okay. easy to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think that my ring mandrel is going to be large enough for a form uh, to use, so I'm just going to grab something off the shelf. Would just you excuse pick some, me? Yeah, just nick something. Take it. Take it. Oh, that's like a lip balm. A lip balm pot. Little pot of glitter. Oh. So what I want to do is generate six coils. You can use really any sensible right. even number because you need an even number for this to work. Oh. So I'm just going to run this around here six times. One. Obviously this is not what it's designed for, Two. so forgive me if it slips off. Three. Four. Five. Six. So there we go. Uh -huh. Just going to allow that to spring off a second and pop that back over in a moment. So I'm just going to check. No, it's sprung so much that I've only got five coils. Did you see how it did that? Goodness me. No, Carol counted right. It was the fact that Thank it's you, very, Jem. very Cheers, springy. Thank you, Jem. <laughs> Director Ollie, just keep your thoughts to yourself. Counting All with right. Carol. <laughs> so once we have got those six coils under control, I'm going to do is take one of the tails and pass it over the top because the coil is coming off this side, so it's gone over the top, pushing through all the way around. I think I'm going to do that twice and then have the wire coming off to the other side. This piece of wire, which is on this side of the coils, I'm just going to push in the opposite direction. There we go. So what we have got are six coils, I hope, of wire. Right. And this still doesn't look like a flower, Gem. I hate to point like this out. It doesn't yet. look like a flower yet. It's going to kind of resemble a flower. And if you make them really tiny, they look like amazing little flowers. And then you can add them onto your vine work. Looks like a coil of <laughs> wire at the minute, Gem. All right. Calm yourself. You said it's the world's <laughs> easiest flower. So <laughs> I am now using, from the Deluxe Toolkit, my flat pliers. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go opposite where I've wound this together and I'm going to push my thumb against and we're generating the petals at this stage so you can have a one-sided petal or go back in with the pliers and sharpen that up you can elongate the petals however you wish to do that pop these tails out of the way always work with enough wire so that you've got a bit spare mm. to wire it onto the remainder of your design oh, of course i've made these as rings as well oh right, that sounds magic. nice okay here we go so here we go here we go here we go, here we go, here we go. <gasps> so i've got the tips of the petals up i'm going to go three one side three the other side and just separate them out and then pick and choose so we've got Three petals up that side, Look. turn it around, open them out. Ladies and gentlemen. Out. And it's a bit like a oh, passion flower, maybe passiflora. Maybe a bonsetta. And you can add a little bit of texture <gasps> just by curving the tips of the flowers up, the tips of the petals, sorry. Add some gemstones into the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's easiest <laughs> flower. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever whooped me before. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> woo, woo. 
You're right. It's it's easy peasy. She's good, isn't she? <laughs> mm. Right, um, we've got a star by now. Ooh. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I'm going to move over there because Gem Hawks is in danger of nicking this strand. It is. It's this one. Oh, I love it. I know. It's oh. amazing. Please, don't go anywhere. This is the best strand of natural lapis lazuli I've ever seen in my life. Boom! Right, um, oh, sip of tea. That's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Very nice tea. Oh my word. <gasps> there are certain gemstones which people feel, oh, I've got to pick it up, which certain people feel an affinity with. I've got a couple of, and they tend to be blue gemstones that I feel a real kind of oof with. Um, those two gemstones are kyanite and lapis lazuli. Do you have gemstones that you feel a with? I, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And uh, lapis is one of them. Ooh. Russian diopside. Oh. I know, moonstone. Oh. oh. Labradorite. <laughs> I can honestly, I. I've never seen, ne look, oh, I've never <laughs> seen lapis lazuli, natural lapis lazuli, this good. But, I mean, this isn't good. This is award winning. This is Oscar winning. Oh my goodness gracious me. That is the best. That is the, oh no, look at that gem. Look at the recording. Oh, it's like velvet, but it's it like is. Velvet it with is sky and stuff. <laughs> oh! When are they going to install the red "I want to buy this" button in the studio for me? <laughs> Seriously, it's a thing. It needs to happen. <laughs> I, I have never seen lapis lazuli like this before. <gasps> oh my word! How many have we got? Oh, 180. Okay, well, that's not enough. 50 have already gone. Okay. I feel like if we bring the price point on for this strand, I'm literally going to have Gem Hawks throwing things at me. It is going to sell out. It is amazing. Believe it or not, we've double, ah, oh, num, num, num. We've triple, quadruple, we've <laughs> checked <laughs> our details and the, lab, the independent lab reports for this 89,000 times. And I can absolutely clarify, this is 100, come here, come here. Um, I, 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 it's all right, it's all, ah, um, num, 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 num. Ah, ah, it's natural. It's seven pounds ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> you look like nineteen eighties graffiti. <laughs> I honestly, oh my knees, I, I, I can't, I can't, I, there are not enough words. I love it. It's just the best strand of lapis lazuli in the world ever. You're looking at one of the most ancient gemstones on planet Earth. You're looking at a genuine gemstone that was used as a currency for hundreds of years. You're looking at a genuine gemstone embedded in the excuse me, in the tombs of Tutankhamun and, 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 and Egyptian pharaohs. It's the most amazing. It's helped art historians date oil paintings because it's been used as a pigment in, in paint. It was used as a blue pigment to paint the, sister, the, the, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Uh, it's absolutely, it is the best of the best of the best. Dare I say it, 
We have bought you a strand of black spinel faceted three mil rounds, which has been reordered about 30 times since October by our buying team. We then bought you a strand of another micro faceted rounds, and I've forgotten what they are. That isn't very good, is it? <laughs> White topaz, thank you. White topaz micro faceted rounds. This is the same kind of quality. These are micro faceted three millimeter rounds of genuine natural lapis lazuli. It's, it's a collector in Kent's bought 12. <gasps> Ooh, two, three, sixes. Well done. That is ridiculous. 27 people currently speaking to the call center team about this incredible strand. It's 7.95. Hold the lines. Get it now. Just check out. Do it. Now, you are kidding me. That is never. That is not. Oh, do you know what this is? I, I y yeah. Wow. I've never, oh, that's huge. <laughs> this is Mookite. These are enormous! Oh, that there, that is a planet. Planet Mookite. Have you seen the movie The Martian? I haven't seen it yet, is it? Oh, Gem, Seeable? it is amazing. It is incredible. Matt Damon is absolutely amazing. And he is astonishing. And um, you must see it. It is a wonderful movie. It's brilliant. It's quite a long move, and you think, well, how how can there be how can be how can there be enough content to kind of uh, to kind of um, uh, fill this movie? But it is absolutely phenomenal. I just love it. Um, this is like a Martian landscape. This one for me. I mean, wow. <gasps> Which one's the red planet? Is it is it Saturn? Is Saturn Mars the red is planet? Red. Mars is red, isn't yeah. it? There are other red tones in. It's just, and then this one here, it's completely different. See, that's the beauty of Mookite Isn't for it? me personally. Yes, that's one of the reasons I absolutely adore it. All of these colours are natural. All of oh wow, this is totally natural. Every piece is artwork, isn't it? Isn't it just? It looks like where it's from. It's from it's from Australia, and it looks like the Australian outback, doesn't it? Those kind of scorched umber tones. Look at that beautiful sunset. I don't know if you've um, been seeing. I mean, um, and actually, Chris Evans was talking about it on his breakfast show this morning. But nature photographers over the last kind of week or so have been having the best sunsets, the best sunrises, the most beautiful frosty weather. The, the, I, I, I don't know if you've seen the bird um, um, has been beautiful um, I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to describe it bird formations uh, starling formations of them swooping what are they called the murmuration I, I, I had to stop the car yesterday on the way back from the supermarket and look at them and I was showing Hattie and Pippa the birds and they and they and they were looking at a dog I think but but I was looking in the sky and they are just it's mesmerizing yeah Stunning, absolutely stunning. It's it's just it's just superb. Sunrises, sunsets. I mean, if you've been up early enough, or you've been or you've been lucky enough to see some of the absolutely beautiful sunsets over the last week or so, it's just been it's been breathtaking. Winter and kind of autumn, my absolute favourite time of year. Um, I just love it. This strand is 14.95 and if you can imagine as scott quite rightly said uh, producer scott said do you know what imagine each one of these as a cabochon <laughs> you you know that is amazing that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that makes each one of these less than one pound fifty a pop which is absolutely amazing a murmuration I think, I don't know if that's all birds or if that's just starlings, but it's, yeah, it's one of my favourite words. I it, love it is, <laughs> it is breathtaking. It what is. are they doing when they're doing it? Do you know what? People have tried to work out if it's like a hive mind thing or if it's just an instantaneous response. Um, one bird turns and then a split second later the next bird turns. But there can be 50,000 birds in yeah. the sky. It's and the kind of the vortexes stunning. and mm. the balls that they create. It's just... 
and there were people standing in the street watching it yesterday it kind of tends to well, it tends to happen kind of kind of well I suppose this time of year about half past four maybe ish kind of sort between of four and five o'clock it's it's a daytime thing isn't it? yeah, yeah it's but it's amazing if you get the chance to look at your window wherever you are I mean this happened over a housing estate in in, in Stratford it was absolutely beautiful but you know as, as, uh, we're talking about that, sorry, because we're talking about the um, uh, the sunrise and sunset tones in here. It's absolutely beautiful. This is going to sell out in the next couple of seconds. Well done. Loads of people coming through to get this. Absolutely beautiful. It's going to go all over the country, which I'm really, really, really happy to see. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Amazing quality there. Um, we're going to move on now. We've got lots of, lots and lots and lots of things to get through. No, really? Brand new? What? If it's brand new, we need to do the brand new song, don't we? You know? So we give a uh, swigger team. Brand new strand. Oh, it's, it's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. Oh, it's a brand new strand. Brand new strand. Oh, it's a brand new strand. Woo, woo, woo. 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 Shimmy there as well. <laughs> I like the added shimmy. <laughs> that one was for free. Um, oh, my word. Goodness me. Oh, yeah. This is a humdinger. Whoa! Gee whiz! I can see that performing from here. Oh! Yeah, I know. Do you know something? Um, sometimes when you look at opals and maybe strands of opal, you see areas on a strand which are really beautiful. With this strand, every single pear drop. <gasps> I want to show you. Hang on. Me and Michael on the same one. No, this one here. Look at the opalescence here. These are like shards. <gasps> Woo! Sorry, that was a really loud noise. Oh my. I. <gasps> it's like a nebula. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Look at that! Whoa. That is unbelievable. <laughs> wow! I have never seen a full. <gasps> no! Look at that! Look at this one! I know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the reds! Oh, whoa! How many? Fourteen! I don't care how much this is. It's every single one, isn't it, Gem? They're all doing something different. Gee whiz! Oh, did you see the purple flashes? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Do you know... Whoa! I have seen a bit of Ethiopian opal. I have never seen this level of performance ever, you ever, just ever. naturally assume this is Kubipedi opal, don't you? Which I, I yeah. think we've had once on Jewelry Maker. That's astonishing. Is that the... Pr that eighty nine ninety five? Yeah. What? That is mind-bogglingly ridiculous. Uh, no wonder there's only nine chances left. Well done. I've got, whoa, I've got loads of people coming through. Goodness me. Um, South Yorkshire, Warwickshire, got loads of collectors coming through. Loads of collectors. Collectors in Somerset, collectors in Buckinghamshire, Veronica, collector in Merseyside. I've got like 
Wow, at least half a dozen of the people who've come through to get this are collectors. They're just literally, I mean, that, that is utterly brilliant. Um, use your 30-day money-back guarantee. You're not going to need it. <gasps> that clarity is amazing. But I have to say, that is some of the best Ethiopian opal I've ever seen in my life. That is amazing. Wow. Wow. Please check your baskets out. I've got six chances left. I've got about 10 of you with this in your baskets. Please check out. I've only got six left. Do it now. Do it now. <gasps> OMG, they look that good in the studio. Exactly. Imagine what this is going to look like in daylight. Uh, kind of, oh, that opal, opal, sumptuous, glorious and exquisite, isn't it? Just. And this isn't, the, I tell you what this, I tell you what this has got which is really quite unusual. The Ethiop e Ethiopian opal tends to have a creamy coloured background or a yellowy coloured background. This has got like a white colourless, not even a neon blue background. It's just like a white background. The clarity is amazing. It's as close to water as you're ever going to get. Those are drop dead gorgeous. It's really coming across on the screen as well. I know, Joanne. And you know what? It's going to look even better in real life. I mean, there's four chances left. It's all going to go. That three chances left. Wow. It's all going to go. Well done. That is absolutely amazing. Lorraine, you've just literally got yours. Well done. I've got collectors in Gloucestershire, in uh, Cheryl. Where you need to get yours. I've, oh my word. You've got to check your basket. I've got two chances left. I've got 10 of you with this in baskets. Please check your baskets out. Do it now. Do it now. That is utterly just mesmerizing, isn't it? I can't take my eyes off it. Genuinely, that is incredible. Never seen in any, I mean, I've, I've been to jewelers and I've been to jewelers and I've been to jewelers. Never seen an opal that good in any jewelers anywhere ever. That is outstanding. And, and I'm very jealous. <laughs> and it's every single one. It's every single example. It's every single gemstone. It's giving you something. I've got loads of collectors with this in their baskets. You've got to check out. I've got two chances left. You've got to do it because if you don't, somebody else will. And I've got people speaking to the call centre team as well, uh, which arguably means the last two chances might go to telephone. But if not, check your baskets out. Do it now. You can have this. There's still time, but you've got to do it now. That is utterly, utterly brilliant i mean just incredible wow amazing star by star by coming up now i've got the two-tone popcorn bracelet check your baskets out for this one left it could go to anyone do not go anywhere wow <laughs> Now, uh, we bought this to you the other day. This is so... Um, <sighs> to say on trend, it is on trend, absolutely. But I don't want to make it sound like it's a flash in the pan, kind of like a, a here today, gone tomorrow kind of um, fashion, a phase, a trend. This is what I describe as a modern day classic. Um, I bought actually the other day the sterling silver uh, ball uh, bracelet um, the other day, just, just purely because I, it is a modern day classic. The kind of design that you got was very, very simple. It's the kind of design actually that lots of designer houses are doing right now. So whether it's Tiffany's or whether it's Thomas Sabo or whether it's, or whether it's um, Lynx of London, they all tend to have very, very simple designs. And it's for a really good reason. Um, a, they're modern day classics, but B, the jewellery isn't too specific. It's not specifically for somebody who loves flowers or specifically for somebody who loves um, um, kind of um, antique looking jewellery. It's for absolutely everyone. And that's what I love so much about this. Jewellery makers, guest designers, members of jewellery maker staff alike love this product. It is one of the fastest selling products we've ever commissioned here on Jewelry Maker and with regards to um, um, how many people have made it theirs it's it's in the thousand I mean it's I mean, it's really quite amazing this is rose gold plated sterling silver and sterling silver it's absolutely beautiful isn't it your stunning 
two-tone popcorn chain bracelet. Now, this is what this is one of the things which makes it really awesome, the sliding clasp on this popcorn chain. The first time I ever tried one of these popcorn chains out it was live on a show, and I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm a, I'm, I, I, I like to, with, with jewellery making, with, with everything from kind of the way um, a lipstick open and closes, or I've got a mascara at home, and it's not an expensive make, I can't remember what make it is, but it, it literally, the way it opens and closes, I love opening and closing that mascara lid, because it makes a lovely click when it closes, it's a really satisfying kind of feeling, and I think that kind of thing is kind of overlooked by so many manufacturers, but we've absolutely embraced it because the way this feels when this sliding clasp moves up and down, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's smooth. The action, you, you can tell that the sliding clasp is fitted really beautifully and tightly onto that um, uh, gorgeous uh, chain. It's a lovely movement. It's a lovely motion, isn't it, Gem? It, it works very in a very pleasing way, doesn't it? It really, really does. And I'm totally with you on product design and attention to detail. Mm. I used to have a, a Japanese sports car and the closing of the doors on that was yes. so pleasing on every level. Yes. And this is the same. I'm just picking mine up today. Yes. I already have several of the Sterling Silver version. Oh, and you've got this one. And I've got that one in oh, my bag to, to take home with me today to play with. And they are beautiful. It moves, but it stays. It's exactly what you want it to do. Now There's the, no other way of putting it. The popcorn element to this, so the popcorn chain, it's a really unusual chain. I'd love to get a jeweler's loop and have a look at the chain kind of link by link because it is the most unusual link you're ever gonna get. And what that gives you is a rope, like a thread-like quality. Um, see, look at that, isn't that beautiful? which gives you movement, a snake-like appearance, um, a huge amount of weight, but because it's effectively a hollow chain, um, it's, not going to, it's not going to be really overly heavy. Having said that, the balls on the bottom of these gorgeous chains move beautifully, they've got a lovely pendulum quality to them, and they will have a certain amount of substantial weight to them. Now, um, you've got your jump rings on the top of the chain now this is the best bit because these two little well they're not jump rings these two loops at the top allow you to put whatever you like in the center of this design so whether it's going to be black diamonds which i know some of our um, uh, guest designers have done whether it's going to be Swarovski, whether it's going to be tanzanite whether it's going to be smoky quartz lovely idea whether it's going to be one of your moo kites you know you could you could go absolutely all out and have and have an enormous gemstone in the center whether it's going to be something delicate like seed beads it's entirely up to you i've heard of people putting uh pearls uh to Swarovski in their in their sliding class bracelet designs you can do whatever you like and i think the uh, the best thing about this incredible thing yeah, it's the price, but also the fact that whether you are brand new to jewellery making or you're a guest designer, you can use this. It is a very usable, very workable piece. £17.95. Absolutely amazing, incredible, wonderful. Get it now. Every, almost every single guest designer I've spoken to has got not just one of these, but like half a dozen of these. What are you going to be doing with yours, Jen? Because you've got this exact one, haven't you? I have got that exact one in my bag. Mm. I've got some faceted tanzanite at home, which has got some delicious purpley pink hues coming oh. through. And I'm just going to put three in between because the pink that comes through will match up with the rose quartz. I think it'll be really nice. But any gemstone is going to work with the mixed metal colours. I, I think tanzanite's exquisite with it, though. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Let's have a look at the... Uh, this is today's deal of the day, by the way. Tanzanite going under £20, going under 15 actually. <gasps> Woo! This. Sneaky. Yeah. See that? That... Oh, yeah. That's going to look amazing, isn't it? What about the lapis that we've just done? <gasps> Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely with your gorgeous two-tone slider clasp. Isn't that beautiful? Do you know what? I'd be tempted to have one of the tanzanites in the centre and then three of the lapis either side. Oh, and lovely. And then into the, the slider chain. Oh, gorgeous. What a lovely idea. 
It is absolutely wonderful. And it's one of those items which, like I say, people very rarely just get one of. They tend to get twos, threes, fours, fives. And most of our guest designers have got at least half a dozen of these. They are absolutely gorgeous. A wonderful, wonderful quality for you. Well done. Absolutely superb. Um, I know that uh, um, we've got we've got um, um, uh, Director Ollie who bought... Um, how many of these did you get? Did you get three of these? Three of these. Producer Kim bought seven of these. She gave one as a gift. They were meant to be all, all for gifts, but she gave one as a gift. And she's kept the others for herself. Mm. Yeah, but you do have to gift yourself sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. Look after yourself. <laughs> absolutely. Why not? Um, absolutely incredible. Well done. 17 95 Absolutely fantastic price point. Uh, what a wonderful deal. Get them now. Add them to your order. And, 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 you can, and, and, and you'll know what I mean when you get these home and you start to use that sliding cast and you go, I know what Carol was talking about. It's a pleasing movement. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> right. On that bombshell, uh, it's time to go to a break. Please don't go anywhere. So much more still to come. It's going to be brilliant. easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker by liking our Facebook page and join over 55,000 like-minded people. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website, where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. You can now book jewelry maker workshops online. Just head over to our jewelry maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you have found a workshop you'd like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator, Wendy, at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. 
For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Hi, how you doing? Deal of the day. 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 Of the day. Deal of the day. <laughs> and that's why I don't dance. Oh, come on! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's amazing. Tanzanite coming up in less than an hour. Under fifteen pounds. Shh, don't tell anyone. Tell everyone. Tell everyone. Tell her about it. Tell her that Billy Joel. That's Billy Joel. Right, okay. Oh, 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 with the smoky quartz we did in the last hour. <gasps> Gorgeous. Thanks, Jem, my glamorous assistant. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Gold electroplated black onyx smooth oval cabochon pendant look isn't that beautiful <gasps> oh goodness gracious me isn't that beautiful that is so smooth isn't it Ooh, oh yeah 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 absolutely beautiful don't you love that electroplating i think that looks so um gloriously i don't know it just looks sumptuous you know when you see photos of kind of those really, really swanky kind of boutique hotels and the interior is all black and gold and, and it's all, yeah, and coppers and kind of, oh, it's all absolutely good. And they've got a bath at the bottom of the, bath at the bottom of the bed and things like that. I mean, it's just utterly divine, you know, really luxurious and decadent. Um, this is what this incredible pendant reminds me of. Absolute decadence just gorgeous isn't it what would you be tempted to do with something like this gem to kind of keep that decadence i would probably do very little to the actual piece itself mm. but i would want to combine it i mean you've already put it with my first choice yeah which would be a gemstone that isn't the same but complements it yeah because you've got black and gold together if you were to mix black and gold in a paint pot, you'd end up with smoky quartz virtually. Yeah, and I that's think a that's good call. Absolutely perfect. Possibly with some gold plated silver spacer beads. Yeah. Look at how smooth it is on that recording. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And that's one of the beauties for me personally of the electroplating of gemstones mm. is that it chases the form and the shape. Yes. Because it's because it's it it, it, it it hugs the natural form, doesn't it, of the genuine gemstone. It doesn't kind of force the gemstone. It's not the gemstone doesn't look constricted. It it it's just it it, it it's almost like the um, the gemstone's been gilded. Do you know what I mean? It's got that gorgeous kind of. Um, just the hint of precious metal going across it rather than it being encased in a in a really thick bezel setting absolutely beautiful um it's one of those pieces isn't it i mean this could be 40 or 50 pounds it could be slightly lower and um, the quality you're going to be getting here though it, with your gorgeous um um uh, smooth onyx is absolutely gorgeous sorry about the csi fingerprint on it it is six pounds 95 that is absolutely brilliant that is amazing isn't it just gorgeous. 
You can just imagine, can't you, this being worn maybe on a lovely long chain, maybe a Larret style neckline piece, right down kind of um, at, at, at kind of belly button height over a lovely kind of big chunky uh, knitted jumper, something like that. Absolutely gorgeous, a really beautiful onyx pendulum with that stunning um, electroplated uh, quality going around the gemstone. Are you right there, Jim? Yes, I accidentally lent on the ruler and made it go boing. I'm very sorry. I know, it's not on there straight, <laughs> is it? Yeah. Sorry, it was me. Sorry. Well done, everyone. 695. You're lucky you didn't pinch yourself. And I've pinched myself on oh, there a couple of times. Good. It's horrible. Oh, poor honey. Would you say pinching yourself on something like that or standing on an upturned plug? What oh, is oh. the most painful oh, thing? plugs every time. Ow, upturned ow, plugs. Ow. Or random bits of... An upturned or a piece <laughs> of Lego. Yes. Piece of Lego. Yes, something on the floor in the night that you're not expecting. Piece of Lego. Oh, no, i tell you what I did. Oh, ah! Oh. One of the children was crying the other night and oh. there was a plastic uh, laundry basket that I'd left on the floor with the holes in and I managed to get my toe in the hole and kind of mm. like that ah, and then trip over it, took the basket with me, said some expletive and, and that was it. The whole house was awake. But yeah, you kind of get your toe wedged. And, ah. Yeah. Anyway. 6 95 well done everyone. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful, well done. Oh, yes, please. Now, these pearls aren't just any pearls. These are chilly, chilly, amazing pearls. Really, really. We got it, it's all good. We're with you. Teal pearls. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Bluey greens, mermaidial. <gasps> it would go really beautifully with the purple, with the beautiful purple that you're wearing, don't mm, you think? Definitely, I do love, I mean, this is one of the reasons that I love the floor, right, is because you have the green going into the purple. Oh, yes. And I think if you were to pop it with some, even a lavender amethyst would give you a different look oh, yeah. to a really beautiful deep Zambian. I love that colour of pearls. After the peacock and the black pearls, got to be one of my favourites. Yes, definitely, definitely. These are enormous 10 by 11 mil teal freshwater culture pearls. I'm just going to put something out there. I'm just going to go like that. <gasps> now that's the peacock. Oh, isn't it just? Love it. Absolutely what love about it. With the yeah. Today's deal of the day. Oh Is my it? word. With. <laughs> 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 Did we speak the same language? Chuckbait. <laughs> <laughs> yes! With the gorgeous <laughs> Russian dioxide. Absolute. Oh, yeah. That is just amazing. I want all of these. Well, the lapis lazuli can be yours. That was just. $7.95. Uh, the Tanzanite can be yours. That's going to go under £15. The Russian Diopside can be yours. I don't know how much that's going to go to yet. And the Pearls can be yours because they are just $17.95. Boom. No. 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 Yes, £12.95. Oh my word, £12.95. Sorry, the way I said yes then was a bit weird, wasn't it? It was a bit of a good luck. £12.95, well done. Absolutely gorgeous, amazing. 10 by 11 mil, 12 pearls. If you try to get pearls like this anywhere else for £12.95, good luck. Absolutely gorgeous, well done. With your 30 day money back guarantee as well, which is absolutely brilliant, well done. I can't quite, I mean these, they, can I, can I, can I pop this into my neckline clothes? Although I am wearing a very high neckline today. 
Ooh. Ooh. I should have woken up this morning and thought maybe I'm going to have teal pearls to drape around my decolletes. Then I want to have worn a different neckline. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hey, they do look good, don't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful quality. I'm going to show it again with the tanzanite, with the lapis, and with the Russian dopside because they that is a match. That is a match made in heaven. <gasps> Just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? You're so right, Gem, about introducing that Russian dioxide as well. Yeah. I absolutely love that combination. That's immense. Isn't I'm so it? I'm so pleased, so, so pleased that you knew what I was monkeying around. Yes. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Yes, absolutely. Gorgeous. Well done. Beauty. Right. Oh, heaven's alive. Fifty of these. By the beard of Zeus. Look at this. Mind blown. <gasps> That's fabulous. You've got a mid line, like a, a through line of beautiful sterling silver. And then either side of that, a border. So you've got your sterling silver there and bordering the sterling silver is rose gold plated sterling silver. Isn't this a beautiful bracelet? Isn't it gorgeous? It's a twisted chain bracelet, seven and a half inches in length. Easy, easy peasy to, um, to pop a, an extended chain on there should you want to make it a little bit longer. This is absolutely glow. Oh, look at it against the skin. That looks amazing. Gem, I've never seen anything like this on JM. This is amazing, isn't it? It's gorgeous. You know the um, exterior design wind chimes and wind catchers that spin? Yeah. That's where it takes me. But uh, you can certainly add to that if you wanted to. But I like it just as it is, if I'm honest. And I'd probably get three or four and stack them up because I'm a bit greedy like that. <laughs> I think that's a lovely idea, having three or four of them and then all be doing different things and all be working at different kind of speeds, if you know what I mean. That's absolutely beautiful. And dare I say it, you know, yes, it does have the look of those wind chimes. It has the look of running water when you see it coming out of a tap and it gently kind of twists and it looks really, really beautiful. But surely there is something in this design similar to that kind of infinity symbol, this kind of forever and ever. And um, I've seen some beautiful um, uh, wedding ring designs where around the band it's just engraved forever and ever and ever and ever. And, you know, and it's, just, and it, and it's a lovely kind of, it's a lovely sentiment, isn't it? With something like this, surely it's that kind of everlasting infinity symbol going around your wrist and um, I absolutely love the idea of stacking these up like Gem suggested and do you know what for the price point we're going to be doing this for today you can stack this up are you being serious never Said, Scott Stone find him on Facebook said of all the price points he's seen today this has got to be the most ridiculous I didn't I didn't think that the um, the mirrored stardust beads could be could be beaten that, that I am genuinely looking at that thinking if that was a bracelet in a boutique for 80 pounds I'd buy that definitely definitely and do you know what's interesting? I've got Scott and Ollie both sitting in the gallery saying, do you know what? I think I'd wear that, actually. Do you know what? I think you absolutely could do. Why not? Valentine's Day gift to yourself. Oh, absolutely. You need to be kind to yourself any day of the year. But absolutely. Love yourself that little bit more. <laughs> I'm genuinely amazed at that price point of 6 95 That is amazing. That's going to sell in the next couple of seconds. Well done. Caroline in Greater London's got five of these. Well done, darling. Absolutely amazing. That is beautiful. Woo! Gorgeous. Are you a fan of Valentine's Day? No, I call it overpriced flowers day. I'd much rather have a random act of kindness or love any other day. Me too. Just out of the blue. Me too. Just a bunch of 3 99 flowers from 
Probably not the garage, but, you know, somewhere a bit more at market than the garage. And, of course, we're getting to that time <laughs> of year where you can get daffodils for, like, a pound a bunch, can't you? Which is yeah. so lovely. And I don't know. I do like Valentine's Day. I like the idea of it. I don't know. I, I'm with you, though. I think we need to be kinder all year round, don't we? And why, why leave it for just one day? Do you know, I'm like that with birthdays, though. I've got some really wonderful friends that spread all the way around the world in Sweden and in Yorkshire and oh. all over the place. And I'm really hopeless at birthdays. I don't do birthday presents, but just once in a while, they'll randomly get something in the post just to <gasps> say, I do love you and I do appreciate you in my life. Oh. And I don't need a special day to tell you that. It's just a day that I choose. So How lovely. Watch your letterboxes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, gorgeous. <laughs> Right, OK. <laughs> Jem's going to be waiting for you. <laughs> star by, star by, star by. Chain like this is just, it's just gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. Oh, wow. I love that lobster claw clasp. I think that's a really beautifully made, lovely feature. Eighteen inch um, belt to chain. One of the simplest chain configurations that there is. Literally circular links linked together, done. Um, what makes this chain so versatile is the fact that those links are beautifully round and you'll notice a little bit of a gap in between the links, which means that maybe with a 0.25 millimeter gauge wire, if you wanted to weave onto it, then you absolutely could. If you wanted to attach a jump ring onto it, then you absolutely can do. It's an 18 inch chain. Uh, we tend to bring you a lot of 16 inch chains, um, occasionally 18 inch chains, occasionally like the one we did earlier, the 30 inch chain. If you want to get that one, by the way, it's, um, there may still be some available on our website. Um, it's a really simple link and the ideal chain to add a pendant onto. I think if everybody, um, I think of all the kind of chains out there, if you were to go to a craft fair and you were to take a chain with you for people to buy or for people to kind of have free, maybe if they spend over a certain amount on a pendant or on whatever it is they're, they're, they're buying, um, and you were to give them a chain, this is the kind of chain they would expect to get, i.e. a very simple, very elegant chain. Nothing too specific about this. Arguably with something like a Figaro chain, you've got to love a detailed chain to love the Figaro chain. You know, there are some design decisions which have been made for you with a um, with a Figaro chain. Um, that twisted uh, bracelet that we did just then, really, really beautiful. It is quite specifically for people who love that kind of highly detailed, highly lustreful kind of chain. Whereas this, there is nothing about this chain that I look at and think, oh no, you're not going to like that if you like this. You know, you're only going to like this chain if you're into this, that and the other. It is a blank canvas. It is absolutely the most blank canvas um, um, style of chain that I think there is available. This and maybe the Rolo chain um, are probably your simplest, easiest to use uh, chains. What are your thoughts on the, on the belt to chain? Um, uh, uh, gem. It's nice and strong. It's a classic. It will take, uh, it will bear weight of a, a reasonably sized pendant as ah, well. Ah, right. Yes, of course. And because you've got round links, mm. a chain will slide over quite nicely. Whereas with some chains, uh, because yeah. they're sort of oval or twisted, a pendant will stick. And then as the chain moves around your neck, the pendant climbs up the side of your neck. But with a belcher chain, it's the perfect necklace pendant carrier for me. Yeah, that's a really good point, actually, isn't it? Yes, because the links are all evenly spaced, evenly sized. Um, yeah, it is the absolute perfect chain in that respect as well to, um, to put a pendant on. Now, um, this is brand new. Uh, I always think of Jen whenever we bring chains to air. Because I remember you telling the story once on air, you bought a pendant from a jeweller's and they gave you a chain, and you, which you were very pleased about. 
However, you took the chain home and and how much sterling silver did it have in it? 0 0.8 grams. It was basically air. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the massive show here have this chain with our with our gratitude and and thanks and it's like well do you know what i, I actually spent quite a lot that day <laughs> yeah yeah exactly there's two and a half grams of sterling silver in this chain that's a really bang on kind of gram weight for a belcher chain of this kind of length it's exactly the kind of um gram weight you would you would want to have now let's just go back to something that Jen was saying because of course um it is a belt chain you're going to be able to carry quite substantial pendants on it because it is inherently quite a strong chain you're not going to be able to do that if it's got a substandard amount of um, sterling silver and this has got two and a half grams of sterling silver in this chain which is a really which is ample um uh, for this to be a really really fantastic um uh, chain to put a pendant on now price points on this Well, that's lower than where you said we were going to go already. You're taking this lower? Scott Top, right. <laughs> right, can I, can I let you into a bit of information there? Scott Stone found him on Facebook, said to me this morning, we've got this gorgeous belt chain coming up, it's brand new, we've got a nice big quantity. I said to him, how much is it going to be? He said, 12 95 You've just taken that to £6.95. That is utterly ridiculous. Wow, there's loads of you there. I'm not surprised. That's absolutely amazing. Wow, wow, wow. This and I think the Rollo chain are probably the most universally used, universally loved chains out there. Absolutely fantastic. It's 18 inches in length, so you've got that extra couple of inches of comfort there as well. And definitely a unisex chain as well. Almost every single person, no, all of you, you've all multi bought. Well done. Amazing. Twos, threes of these, loads of these going out um, uh, to you today. Well done. 6 95 absolutely amazing. What a tremendous deal for you today. <gasps> This is absolutely the kind of thing that you need to multi-buy. Now, let's think of it in another way. What about not wearing it as a, as, as a necklace? What about wearing it as a bracelet? What about making it into a charm bracelet? Could you do that? Of course you can. No problems at all. And you've got those gorgeous open uh, rounded links to be able to hang charms from. Think about some of those smaller um, lobster, uh, sorry, not lobster claw, uh, bolt ring class that we do that are great. Oh, and the lobster claw class, which are great charm carriers. You can absolutely make your own charm bracelet using this and then clip the lobster claw clasp charms onto it. Because those links are lovely and round, you absolutely can do something like that, whether it's through the link or whether it's over the top of the entire chain. Loads and loads and loads of multi bidders. You're absolutely loving this. I'm amazed at 6 95 because I was told by Scott Stone, find him on Facebook, that it was going to be 12 95 Go to Scott's Facebook page, by the way. Uh, his Facebook page is Scott Stone. Find him on FB. Yeah, amazing. How many? 450 likes. There you go, Scott Stone. It's a lovely photo of him as well, behind a piece of Labradorite. You were in New York, weren't you? <gasps> Amazing. Where is that piece of Labradorite, by the way, in New York? In the Natural History Museum. Oh, wow, that sounds awesome. Just gorgeous. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done. Loads of people coming through to get this. Absolutely superb. Well done. Loads of sterling silver in this. Two and a half grams of 925 sterling silver in this. Yours today, 690. I'm trying to think about what you can buy for 695. Well, if you were to get two cups of coffee for 695, that would probably be the limit, wouldn't it? Coffee for you, coffee for a friend, which is always very nice. But how about you just buy them a silver chain instead and give it to them randomly? Do you know what? You're absolutely right, aren't you? Or stick it in the present drawer. Oh, in the present drawer. Do you have a present drawer? I have a, <laughs> a present bag hidden at the back of a cupboard. So it's the same kind of concept, but so I couldn't lie. I like the idea of present drawers, but I would just end up keeping everything from me, wouldn't you? <laughs> Yeah. Well done, everyone. Uh, just six ninety-five. Loads of people still coming through. Loads of people multi-buying. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. And if you are going to be making pendants, if you are going to be making uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful pieces either to sell or to give as gifts, give people a chain as well. It's six ninety-five. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. Well done. A gorgeous. 
Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Loads of people still coming through for this. Loads and loads and loads of uh, multi bidders as well. Lots of new names as well, which I'm really happy to see. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. <sighs> right. Now, I've got some Russian dye upside coming up right now. Oh, yeah. Payday treats. Apparently, a lot of people get paid today. We don't. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm feeling it this month. Is anyone else feeling it this month? Yep. <laughs> Literally starting to eat tins, tins of food at the back of the cupboard. <laughs> Is it out of date? Ah, just, uh, just uh, chance it. I like living life on the edge. Is it the one with the label missing and it's like mystery dinner? Exactly. What's it going to be? <laughs> Tinned peaches. Or is it going to be chickpeas? <laughs> I like chickpeas. Chickpeas are great. <laughs> not an entire tin for dinner. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Have a look at these. Oh. Now you... You feel an affinity, don't you, with this gem? I didn't actually want to take my eyes away from the big screen because I was drooling over it. What does this gemstone do to you, gem? Well, I feel Keep a little bit weak. A <gasps> little bit weak, and I always think in the stark whiteness of the landscape where this is mined, yeah. can you imagine being the first person to ever see <sighs> this? To ever find that yeah. amongst all that just crystalline whiteness. Yeah. yeah. Just incredible gemstone. It's magical. And it is a little bit otherworldly. Isn't it just? Isn't it just? This amazing genuine gemstone is sourced um, pretty much in Siberia. Um, which one are we doing first, darling? The bottom ones. got two strands first one coming up is this one um there we go pete just uh taking michael off cameras there there we go this is live television Li it's live tv oh, oh la that's nice a ceremon yeah. ceremonial <laughs> embrace there we go there's bruce and ollie there we go ceremonial hug there we go oh scott's getting involved hey. ah. <laughs> oh i love hugs don't you i love hugs Mm. Sometimes I sometimes worry I'm going to break my children by hugging them. Really, they're quite hardy. Them. Hey, they're quite hardy. They are, they're aren't all right. they? They'll be fine. Yeah. So, Russian dioxide. This amazing genuine gemstone is 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 totally natural. It's um, it's only mined for a few uh, weeks a year, which I think really adds to the mystique and adds to the beauty and the and the and the kind of the enigma of this incredible genuine gemstone. Um, the reason why it's only mined for a few weeks of the year is because the conditions to and from the mine, uh, the road to and from the mine is almost impassable. It becomes so cold that the permafrost uh, becomes almost kind of, um, you just can't dig through it, you can't, you can't break through it, um, you can't penetrate to the gemstone which lays beneath. It's known as the million dollar emerald and you can totally see why, can't you? The clarity, the colour, the vibrancy is absolutely electrifying. Now, it's only really in the last six months that we've been able to source quality Russian dioxide like this. Up until then, it was all about nuggets and chips and that really was all we could source to you uh, with Russian dioxide and the clarity was nowhere near this great. That is because up until recently, this gemstone was only really ever fasted in China. It was mined and then fasted in China and even before it left the cutting houses, it was just snapped up by, um, uh, by big jewellery manufacturers over in the Far East. Now though, um, this incredible gemstone is fasted in Jaipur, which is a huge uh, jewellery making um, um, a gemstone um, uh, lapidary hub um, uh, and, and, and one of our biggest uh, jewelry maker teams is over in India uh, so that is why we can now source the best of the best of the best now 90 carats in total absolutely beautiful these range in size from 5 by 4 to 9 by 5 mil in size it's totally 100% natural glorious beautiful and have a look at your amazing price points I have 18 chances, two have already gone. We're not staying at 99.95, we are going lower.
absolutely amazing. We are in danger of making Gem Hawks weep live on air with the price point we're about to do because she does quite seriously love this gemstone. Oh, oh no, I don't like that face. I don't think anybody likes that face. Oh sad no, face. that's a kind of like a disappointed, sad, I'm... Seventeen nine nine. Just take it away. Take it away before before we uh, before we uh, yeah before we're in real trouble. Uh, well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Seventy nine ninety five. Absolutely amazing. Isn't that a brilliant price? It's absolutely incredible. It's brilliant, isn't it, Pete? Yes, it's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Well done. Less than eighty pounds. You still got that thirty day money back guarantee. Don't forget. You're still only paying two ninety five p and p per order. And how long does that thirty day money back guarantee last for, Pete? Thirty days. Well done. <laughs> I'd have been very worried if you'd have got that wrong. <laughs> Gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Ten chances of reading in the building. Isn't that beautiful? Now, to go with oh, the next strand, which again, Russian diopside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I love doing sound effects. There we go. So that's your deal today. Absolutely amazing. Six last chances. Well done. There's 79.95. Amazing. Should we move on to the next one? Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. True, true, true. <laughs> Who is it actually payday for today? Can we just get the payday in Bratislava? I've got no idea. Because it's certainly not anyone who... Everyone who... When's payday? Oh. It, it's normally the last working day of the month, isn't it? Or the last Friday, perhaps. When do, what's the date today? The 20... 25th. So when do we get paid? The 30th? Ask. <laughs> Was that a bit of a gulp? I feel ill. <laughs> so when is the 31st? Next Tuesday. Less than a week. I'm not sure if I've got enough tins and beans to go that long. <laughs> You'll be eating chicken. I have to love. use the Boots Advantage card and start to uh, start to <laughs> start to shop the points in and buy sandwiches. Sandwiches again! <laughs> oh dear me! Right here we go. <sighs> Followed them round with the reduction stickers. I'm going to have to start doing that. Here we go. So Russian diopside graduated faceted uh, drops. A couple of people have said they're getting paid today. Really? Woohoo! I'm jealous. I am jealous. Well, well done. Well, gel of that. Uh, well done. So uh, Russian diopside. These are slightly different in the fact that they're flatter pairs. So you get much more of a, a window to look into the gemstone, don't you? Much more of that surface area on show. They, they appear to be a bit lighter in colour, these ones. They appear to be a bit more of a bottle green. I don't know. What do you think? They, next to the other ones, they look a little bit lighter. It's possibly because of the depth, I suppose. Yeah. They definitely look lighter, though, don't they? I, I love and worship and adore all of them. <laughs> yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous, mm. aren't they? Really, really pretty. Um, love this graduated um, um, uh, look as well. Um, there are just so many ways in which you can use these. I love the idea of using these with jet black gemstones or incorporating them maybe with the beautiful peridot that we had earlier on. Again, exceptionally rare. This gemstone probably won't start to be mined until, what, May time? Uh, so we've got a long, 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 long road ahead of us until we get any kind of, kind of new qualities in. Um, so make the most of it now. It's an absolutely beautiful, genuine gemstone. Glorious in its appearance. Amazing in its clarity. You can see why it's called the Million Dollar Emeralds. Um, brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant price point for us today. Can we do a similar kind of deal to the last one that we did? It should be at $59.95. Ooh! Oh yeah. Gemma Hawks is 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 mouthing something to Scott Stone. Something along the lines of, 
I need this. And then you were doing kind of like a stabbing motion. <laughs> I don't know what that actually meant. I thought I'd got away with that one. <laughs> <laughs> 34, 30. Spill the beans. What do you... Uh... No, actually, it should have been a round of applause. That is an outstanding price to bring. Isn't and it? On behalf of everybody who's getting that, thank you. It's just astonishing. Isn't it just? I mean, wow, wow, wow. To be able to bring you gem quality Russian dioxide for kind of 60, 70, 80 pounds is amazing. But for 34, 95 is amazing utterly utterly tremendous well done absolutely beautiful well done. look at the look at the green color it's casting on my hand as well it's amazing it, it gives you such a wonderful sense of the vitreous luster this has and the really kind of beautiful glass like appearance that this has absolutely incredible um, when you're considering kind of the deeper, darker greens to go for, you know, this is completely natural. So if you are going to be making that gorgeous kind of ivy or foliage kind of jewellery, uh, nature inspired pieces, this is a wonderful uh, genuine gemstone to go for. Great alongside other darker green gemstones like your Moldavites. Um, amazing. Beautiful with gemstones like Malachite with any of those greens. It's going to look absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. $34.95. Really, really, really low price there. Somewhat, sorry, key charms. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, wow, this is, oh, these are gorgeous. Oh. Oh, these are really sweet. I love, I love, it's gonna sound like such a weird thing to say, I love a good key. Anyone else? Actually, do you know what? If you go into antique shops yeah. and you, you often get like a little pot of random iron keys, yeah. they are really attractive and interesting. They are lovely. A friend of mine actually has got a, um, a huge kind of board which she, um, which she has. Where was it last time I saw? I think it was above her sofa. And on this board are just loads of antique keys all lined up. And it's a really lovely sight. They're really beautiful, aren't they? The, the symbology behind them, unlocking something, unlocking your potential. Uh, you've got... Uh, uh, the age of 21 key to the door isn't it uh, you've got so much potential with these maybe keeping something secret or keep something close to your heart you know keeping it uh, mum's the word you know it, it, it's a really lovely symbol isn't it um, these are 925 sterling silver they've got a lovely shape to them haven't they they've got that lovely kind of antique quality I love the fact that the top of these is ever so slightly heart shaped as well to give that kind of romantic feel as well now in this pack you're going to be getting three identical uh, keys lovely maybe if you're going to be making a wire work a wire work, um, what should we call it, padlock or something like that, or a locket. Lovely to have alongside that locket. In fact, I filmed a DVD with Claire McDonald the other day, one of our amazing wire workers, and it's a, a heart-shaped locket DVD. Um, she actually makes a, a key out of wire, but if you didn't want to do that, this would be a, a lovely alternative, wouldn't it, hanging that uh, from your, uh, your heart-shaped locket. Absolutely beautiful. Um, they're all 925 sterling silver, like I've just said. Lovely charm to have on a charm bracelet as well. Really pretty. And because there's three, you could easily make a pendant and uh, a pair of earrings out of these. Why not? Really, really sweet. Only 54 of these available. Well done. Here's your amazing price point for all three of these gorgeous key charms uh, today. Well done. Just £7.95. Absolutely gorgeous price point there today. Well done. Less than 50 available. Would you, what kind of designs would you set these into, um, Gem? You know, just seeing them clustered there together, mm. I think if there were three special people in your life and you wanted, um, to think of them with yeah. a specific piece of jewellery for yourself. You know, when I think of keys in jewellery, I think this is the key to my heart. Yes. You're sort of inviting somebody into your life, into your love. And I think if you perhaps had three children or three sisters or three special friends, yeah. you could have that on your charm bracelet and just think of them with it. Very, very simple, but very symbolic. And also I'm thinking about maybe um, weddings as well. A lot of people, you know, we are kind of heading towards the wedding season and, and, and maybe if you're going to be making beautiful little charms, maybe for bridesmaids, who are maybe going to be your best friends or your siblings or your soon-to-be sister-in-law um, you know you've got a lovely option there to be able to incorporate this into a gorgeous design um, really really lovely these are going to sell out lots of multi bidders coming through to get these well done they're going to go all over the country which I'm really really glad to see they are so pretty and also you know there are lots and lots of um, uh, companies out there which use this kind of uh, key design I'm thinking of Tiffany's who do it um, and I'm pretty sure all the big charm companies you know your Pandora your Tomasabo uh, even um, um, 
and companies like Trollbeads will will use uh, these kind of key charms or, or this kind of um, um, uh, design in their pieces. Really, really lovely to see it though. It's such a fantastic price. $7.95 for all three. That is wonderful. And I can't see how for a sterling silver uh, key charm, how that can be beaten. You know, I just, I just can't, I fail to see how deals like this can actually be beaten. It's really quite amazing, isn't it, that we can do this. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Uh, Fiona and Bristol, you've got four loads of these. Collector in Somerset's got two loads. Uh, Angela, you've now got two loads. That's brilliant to see. Well done. Um, and, and do bear in mind as well, um, items like this, they're very, very, very low in stock. So if you come through and get one load of these, you'll get them home and you'll probably think, do you know what? I wish I bought two loads. Why not get three or four loads, get them home, and if you want to send them back, then you absolutely can do. It's a no quibble money back guarantee that you get from Joy Maker, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But so many uses for these really beautiful design work and and something which is clean crisp and easily identifiable sometimes you see charms in the marketplace which are meant to be um I don't know, a dolphin charm, and you look at it and think, really, is that meant to be some kind of, what does it actually look like? These actually look like keys, which I know sounds like a really kind of strange thing to say, but they actually look like what they're meant to be, it's which I think is uh, a that's bonus. That's absolutely true, absolutely <laughs> true. I, I once sent off for a dolphin charm many, many years ago oh, when I first started my business, and it looked like the saddest carp in the world. <laughs> it really was no. tragic. And it was over £10 for just the one. So if you wanted a sad carp, brilliant. But, I mean, that, that is exceptional value. And they are, as you say, they're crystal clear <laughs> as to what they are. I don't think it was advertised as a sad carp, but, you know. <laughs> it wasn't even a nice koi carp. No, it was a sad one. A river carp. <laughs> That's not happy. <laughs> yeah. How awesome is that? <laughs> Some of those charms look a bit demonic as well, don't they? <laughs> they can be kind of the mad staring eyes. It's a bear! No, it's not! It's a zombie! It's a yeah. bear that comes to life in the middle of the night and, yeah, oh, scary beans. <laughs> have you seen the movie Ted? I have, yes. It's so rude! <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's very rude. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, I don't know what he was thinking when he took the role in that. I, I, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the old uh, Ted. Anyway, right, moving on. Moving on up. I'm moving on out. Who's your favourite band or musician of all time, Gem Hawks? Do you have a favourite? I do, yes. It's a band called Europe, who most people know from the 1980s yes. for a particular song. But uh, they've done five albums in since 2003, 2004 time. And a really, 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 very important part of my life, music. So, and have yeah. you and have you seen them before? <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> have you hung around outside afterwards to see if you can meet them? <laughs> I have had a beer with them once or twice. No, yes. have you? Yeah. Are they Good awesome? Times. No, no, absolutely brilliant people. Brilliant people. Where are they from? Um, three of them are from Sweden. Two of them are from Norway, but they <gasps> live in Sweden. How fantastic! Have you seen them all over the place? Yes, yeah, I've, I've been to Germany, to Holland, to Sweden, to Norway, all over the UK. Great! That's Definitely. just rude. That's just rude. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome, though. No, it's absolutely fantastic. Love it. I'd love to do that. Oh, awesome. Brilliant. I don't know why I was like, oh, yeah, it's 12 singing in people. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> st obviously. <laughs> Sterling Silver Shepherd, a, a great song. Uh, Sterling Silver Shepherd Hooks with, uh, with Loop. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Now, these are so beautifully made. Um, and I don't think we can, we can bring you this collection of Shepherd Hook earring findings without kind of going through the design. There are earring findings that you can get which are essentially made out of head pins, which is just, you know, one continuous piece of wire. Um, these are so beautiful in the fact that they have that gorgeous design feature. So you've got a lovely little kink there. The loop thing goes round the top and then it arrives at this flat part here. That is a great design feature that makes the earring look really fantastic from the middle. It also stops the earring wire from going too far through your ear. And also it's a point from which uh, we can put our 925 stamp. Then at the bottom, you've got this lovely little coil here, which you can see is, is, it can be moved up and down. Um, it can be moved up and down to, um, uh, to kind of uh, protect the open loop at the bottom of the finding. Um, and it's a lovely design feature that not all shepherd's hook earring findings will have. These are beautifully made. There's a load of sterling silver in these. You're going to be getting 10 pairs in total now because these are really quite substantial because they're so beautifully made 
you could, if you wanted to, not use these as earring findings at all, but to use them maybe as a pendant bale. So you could literally use the hook part as the part which goes through the gemstone, and then you could hang this part here from a chain maybe, and then maybe have your gemstone or pendant hanging down. Absolutely no, no problems in doing that at all because there's so much stunning silver in these because they've been so beautifully made. These have not been in stock seen uh, uh, um, since December. They've been out of stock since December. They are just back in stock. 8.95, that's for 10 pairs in total. That is 89, well, 90 pence a pair, which is absolutely fantastic. And everyone's multi-buying again. It's the kind of thing, isn't it, Gem, that until you've run out of findings and experienced the rage of running out of findings, <laughs> and also, the best one in the world if you're going to be making a pair of earrings and maybe you've got one earring finding and you haven't got the next one you think oh i'll get some more earring findings from jewelry maker and then i'll finish that pair of earrings you never do you never finish off that piece it's kind of like you've almost lost your mojo you need them there and then items like this are essential as stash uh, um, um, to have in your stash aren't they definitely and one thing that i always say about jewelry maker earring findings of, of this nature is that they're all pairable each ah. one of those is made, it's the same shape, the bit that hangs down is the same length, yes. the, the coils of wire are the same number of coils, so you don't have to hunt around through 20 individual items to find a pair, each two that you pick up will be a pair, and that isn't the case with everybody's earring findings. That's interesting. So if you came to get these earring findings in September, this exact product, as it were, they're going to be matchable with the ones that you get today. That's great, isn't it? That's something I never thought about. It's fantastic to know that you don't have to waste your time <laughs> hunting. Absolutely, yeah, brilliant. Well done. Loads of people coming back through for these. I'm really, really happy to see that. Lots of people are clearly building their stash up as well. And I know you might be thinking, well, why would I want to multi-buy? 10 pairs is enough for me. Well, 10 pairs might be enough for you at this moment in time, but in six weeks' time or in three months' time or in, or, in, or in however many days or weeks or months' time when you've run out of them, you're going to wish you bought more. And let's face it, they're not going to take up a huge amount of room. They're going to take up that much room, which isn't kind of, you know, it's not the same as kind of getting... 18 of our beading uh, 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 trays or anything, which are going to take up, you know, quite a bit of room. These aren't going to take up a huge amount of room. So literally by buying six or, or nine packs of these, which is what Fiona and Bristol's just done, or four packs, which is what Janet in Essex has just done, or 10 packs, which is now Fiona's just bought um, um, in Bristol. She's up to, up to her order to 10 packs now. You know, it's not going to take up a huge amount of room. Get Buy these for the upcoming wedding season. Buy these for your upcoming spring craft fairs as well. And it's round about kind of March, April time, especially kind of over the Easter holidays, that a lot of people start to do teas, you know, whether it's at village halls to raise money for local charities or whether it's local churches who start to do teas. And um, it's always lovely to have a stall, especially in places where people don't expect them, like somewhere where's, somewhere that's going to be doing, um, uh, doing teas. Um, absolutely fantastic. Well done. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well done. So what is it, Sorry. Uh, yeah, we've had loads of people texting in saying it's my, it, it, it's my payday today. Well done, everyone. Is it me or has January lasted about 18 years? <laughs> it's utterly it's ridiculous, really isn't it? Has. January has lasted like the length of time a winter lasts for in Game of Thrones. I mean, literally, we're talking five years. You know, oh, the last winter is coming. I'm still waiting for winter to arrive. I'm on season, I'm on season five, you know. <laughs> What actually happens? Does anything happen? When winter arrives, it just gets colder. It's not gonna get cold in King's Landing though, is it? Let's face it. No. Does it really? I, I, I imagine so. We haven't watched it yet. Has winter not arrived in season seven? It's just started to kind of present itself. <laughs> <laughs> so I've watched up to season five of Game of Thrones, 10 episodes per season. And by the time I finish season five and finish season six, it's still not winter. It's still getting, it's, winter is coming. Winter is coming. Yeah. I am so bored of, you know, oh, do you know what? No, I'm not. I love, I love Game of Thrones. Don't, I almost felt like I, Michael was about to, he was about to punch me in the face then. <laughs> Have you watched Game of Thrones? Do you know what? I've never seen it yet. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Right? It is pretty amazing. Oh my god! 
I borrowed I borrowed the ser- all the seasons off um, Claire uh, Claire Perry director here on on on, on Jewelry Maker. She literally handed me Game of Thrones. It was it was actually in a bag. It was actually in a in a, in a plastic <laughs> bag. But like she was handing over, I don't know, a holy relic or something. <laughs> Be careful with this, Carol. Watch and enjoy. It is amazing. <laughs> I'm waiting right. for a show that's coming back on Sunday night. Oh, which one? Am I allowed to say? Yeah. It's not that. It's Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider. Oh. I know. Exciting times. That is exciting. Thursday, guess what starts again? Fortitude. <gasps> Did anyone watch it? Oh, it's all about kind of very, it, 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 it's kind of that, what are, what, what are they described as? Is it Nordic, Nordic noir? You know, when, oh, like the girl with the dragon tattoo. Is it called Nordic Noir or, or, or whatever it's called? So very kind of dark about countries which don't have much light in the winter time. And, uh, and uh, Fortitude is amazing. Anyway, deal of the day. Deal of the day. Deal of the day. Boom, boom. So deal of the day coming up in literally five minutes. Ah. <laughs> oh. Just love it. What would we do without Blankety Blank and <laughs> Phil Collins to base all of our amazing Jewelry Maker songs on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, an amazing trend of Tantalite coming up in just over five minutes' time. Also, coming up at half past 11. I haven't shown this to Gemma Hawks yet. Look away. Look away. Okay, go on. You can have a look. Ooh. Pretty. Isn't it? Isn't it? Classic. Black Onyx chain. <gasps> num, 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 num. Black Onyx chain coming up at half past 11. That is beautiful. Look at that checkerboard faceted. <gasps> Let's do some connectors. Gonna get myself connected. Right, so. Show my age there. Okay. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Amethyst connectors. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Beautiful. Now, it was on a show with uh, Claire Mc. Donald the other day and she made a ring using not point no it was uh, one millimeter gauge uh, wire literally just popping it through there hooking it over making it round a, uh, forming it round a ring mandrel and then popping the other end through there and she made a ring in in less than a minute and it looked absolutely gorgeous um, I think when you've got a selection of I mean look at that beautiful recording when you've got a selection of individually uh, beautiful amethyst cabochons which have all been bezel set by hand into sterling silver you can use them all together and it's going to look amazing but one at a time I mean wowza that it, it, oh yeah beauteous absolutely gorgeous doesn't that look beautiful isn't that gorgeous using these one at a time absolutely gorgeous now you can connect these together with jump rings, um, using them individually in rings, wonderful. Using them um, to make an entire piece, wonderful. Using them with the shepherd's hook findings that I literally just bought to you a couple of seconds ago. In fact, you know what I'm going to do, and I'm actually going to do this with my hands, which is which is not which is not very which is not very good. Joey Mayer, it's not very good. Joey Mayer, I know. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be doing this, but because it's stunning silver, you can do it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> she says, talk amongst yourselves, what would you do with these, Jim? Uh, I would be inclined to put them with the slider bracelets. Yeah. I think they would be really beautiful in there in ones, twos, threes, connect them together with some jump rings, go with the sterling silver. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the parts of the Labradorite earring components that we had earlier on? I'd oh. actually quite like to put one of those in between the upper and lower Labradorites, the faceted 
pieces that were in silver as well. Oh, how lovely. Be a different dimension as well. Labradorite and amethyst, that's a lovely combination. I've literally just got one of the connectors and popped it with my hands, so that's why it looks a little bit out of shape there, um, um, on the earring finding. And then you could literally put a pearl on a head pin at the bottom there. How beautiful would that look? And I literally did that, just with very little skill set. Um, in a couple of seconds, £14.95 for 10 of your gorgeous connectors. Absolutely beautiful. Um, actually, do you know what? Director Ollie just said, what about using um, your chrome diopside uh, with... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. I do love that combination. That's a really lovely combo. It's like if Sakura Blossom could be gemstones. If what, it was, sorry? Sakura Blossom. What's that? Uh, Japanese cherry trees in the springtime, I'm thinking. If you um, look at sort of cherry blossom artwork, they purple? they're sort of pinky and purpley in different wow. places. But if, if those could be a gemstone, it would be amethyst and diopside together. Oh, how wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous. Fourteen ninety five. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. That, that is actually on my bucket list to go to um, Kyoto for the, um, for the cherry blossom oh, festival. The yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Can we? Hey? Can we? Yeah. Can do you know what? Let's do it. To look for, for pearls live, or something. Live link up to Kyoto. Yeah? yeah. Should we do it? Let's go. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Absolutely, why not? 1495, absolutely beautiful quality. Uh, no, set in handset into 95 sterling silver. And that's all natural Zambian amethyst. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Well done, everyone. Right. Please don't go anywhere. Dinner of the day, dinner of the day, dinner of the day. Boom, boom. Coming up. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. It's tanzanite. It's amazing. It's going under 15 pounds. Maybe even lower. <gasps> There are two easy ways you can purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview and Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click to register. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking on the Watch Live Show button on the home page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Add to Basket button and you can continue shopping or check out right away. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one p and Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques.
Right. I am not going to lie to you. I've spent the last break bullying Scott Stone fan on Facebook. Haven't I? This is today's deal of the day. Genuine Tanzanite graduated rondelles. I mean, wow. Absolutely beautiful. You are looking at a genuine gemstone which is unbelievably rare. Um, for qualities like this where there are moments of beautiful clarity and let's face it not just your blues but your lilac tones your kind of Liz Taylor lilacs absolutely glorious quality it is it is it is you know the the kind of the more lilacs you can see here the oh look at that glossiness there beautiful quality my um my biggest um uh love for this incredible genuine gemstone and particularly this strand as well comes from the variety of color you get here so there are blues, there are linseed blues, but then there are purples. And the clarity just makes it even more electric. There are some of these, gem, which have got like a silvery shiller going through them as well, which is so unusual, isn't it? It is very rare to see and really lovely. Really yeah. lovely. How would you use these? Because these are unfaceted. So you get to see right into the gemstone you get to see right into the very essence of the gem how would you use a gemstone like this in your designs i would want to pick out the ones with anything really really spectacular so mm. if something has quite a strong purpley pink tint coming through yeah or if it does have the silver lineation going through it yeah i would want those as solitaires in rings and <gasps> i'd wrap around and with that colorway I think it would look really exciting with an antique bronze wire. Yes. Um, and then probably to make the difference, because they're smooth, they're unfaceted, mm. I'd want to put them with a stardust bead yeah. to sort of draw comparison and opposite detail to. Yeah. Does that absolutely. make sense? Um, it absolutely does make sense. I, I'd never thought of Tanzanite with antique bronze wire, but do you know what? I think that would work beautifully. Now, we're going to bring the graphics live, okay? Um, I've basically been bullying Scott into doing this particular price point. Um, we spoke this morning about this incredible strand of Tanzanite, and I said, do you know what? With the best will in the world, I want all of these to sell out live on the show today. I want them all to go. I don't want any of these left. I want every single one of these to go. Now, I'm just looking on our website at the minute at quantities that we've got left at this moment in time, and there are items at which we've got kind of twos and threes left of. I've got a few with slightly more quantities, but you are on it today. You are absolutely on it today. Um, I mean that lapis lazuli just sold out in seconds, as did the you know the twisted, uh, the twisted bracelet as well. This Tanzanite for me is no different because what all of our incredible deals which have sold out have had in common today is they've been at price points which nobody was expecting. Now look at this quality of Tanzanite. What makes this fantastic quality Tanzanite? Well, the um, strength of colour, the amount of clarity, the really unusual appearance of some of these as well, that gorgeous silvery shiller going through these as well makes these really, really attractive to look at. Um, and as Gemcore already says, pick, to, uh, sorry, pick those out, section those out, use them um, um, on their own, use them as centrepieces, really make the most of those characteristic qualities. Um, under 20 was going to be as low as we were going to go. I said to Scott, look, 
let's promise that we can go under 15. And in fact, I just said it live on air. I'd said under 15 and Scott's reaction was, well, we weren't, you know what I meant to say that. Well, stuff it. It's going under 15, okay? At the minute, we're at 24.95, which is absolutely brilliant, yeah? And I've got a load of people who trust us, a load of people who want to come through and get this. I'm asking you now to trust me. I'm asking you now to check your baskets out. I'm asking you now to get involved as quickly as you can because 24.95 is nowhere near where we're going to be going. So, under 15, that's 10 pounds off, yeah? That's £14.95. Now, that is absolutely amazing, isn't it? That's incredible. For genuine Tanzanite, the gemstone, which is currently being mined 900 metres below the Earth's surface, can we get any lower? Well, arguably, yes, but only if we kind of start to reassess the entire mining operation and the way the gemstone is mined. And that, is, that could cost millions. £11.95. Absolutely incredible. Well done. A tremendous deal. Well done. 25 carats of genuine tanzanite. Yours today. Eleven ninety-five. Loads of multi bidders. Loads of people coming through. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well done. Lots of web bidders. Lots of telephone bidders. Loads of people speaking to the call centre team now. Well done to Shirley and Devon. You've got two. Sharon and Lincoln. She's got two. Brenda, you've got two. My Mine, 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 says Sandy and Dorset. Good for you. Absolutely mine, 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 mine. Well done. Loads of people coming through. I uh, have four of these stashed away in a special box for my seven-year-old daughter for when she's older. Gorgeous colour. The TV does not do it justice. Buy it, says Donna in Bristol. Do you know what? That's a lovely, um, that's a lovely sentiment, um, uh, Donna. When you look at a genuine gemstone like this and consider that maybe... When, when my kids get to my age, this genuine gemstone might not be around. There might not be any more of this gemstone about. It was heralded as the one generational gemstone, you know, a genuine gemstone, which is only going to be around for maybe 15, 20, maybe 25 years. Um, new veins of it are discovered uh, occasionally, but I'll tell you something, for a genuine gemstone, which is in as, 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 as high demand as this is, I think that's a great thing that Donna's doing, i.e. kind of stashing some away for her seven-year-old daughter for when she's older because this could be a genuine gemstone which in a generation's time might not even be on planet earth anymore absolutely incredible well done it's 11.95 the gemstone of new beginnings the one generational gemstone one of the three birthstones of december as well an absolutely glorious quality as well and yes you're getting all of those gorgeous blues you're starting to get those purples you're starting to get those pinks especially around the bottom of the strands and um, plus you're getting moments of of absolutely glorious clarity as well, which is just stunning. Well done. Now, what could you make out of, what could you make out of a strand like this? Is it going to be a bracelet and earring set? Is it going to be, oh, I don't know, a dozen pairs of earrings? You know, when you start to break that price point down, is there a single item of jewellery you would even entertain pricing at eleven ninety five? I mean, wow. Wow, even in a pair of earrings, if you, if you had six of these in a pair of earrings, Gem, there was no way I'd sell those earrings for eleven ninety five, would you? Definitely not, even in a plated metal. No. When you start elevating it and popping it in solid precious metal. Definitely. Much, much more than that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well done, you're doing so well today. There's loads of you coming through. Mixing it with other genuine gemstones. Pearls is a classic combination, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, most definitely. With smoky quartz as well, it's quite dynamic. It, it sort of takes on a different flavour when you put it with uh, the warmth of that rather than the, the starkness of a spinel. Yeah. That's a lovely idea, isn't it? I really like them together. And it makes the tanzanite look even more blue, doesn't it? It really makes that blue pop, doesn't it? It is, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, fantastic. Well done. Loads of people still coming through to get this. An absolutely amazing deal. And the great thing about tanzanite, it will go with everything from your yellow golds to your um, uh, um, sterling silvers to your rose golds. Lots and lots and lots of multi bidders. Fiona and Bristol's got 15 strands of these. Well done, darling. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. An amazing treat for you today. Well done. Lots and lots and lots of people still coming through. Lots and lots and lots of you still saying, yeah, Yorkshire, Kings Lynn, um, Greater Manchester, Middlesex, uh, Bristol, Leicestershire, Wiltshire, uh, South Yorkshire, Glamorgan, Surrey, Swansea, East Sussex, Greater London, Yorkshire, uh, Devon, Buckinghamshire, 
Lancashire, Berkshire, well done. Um, great for your something blue um, um, if you're going to be getting married. I mean, what a lovely blue to go with as well. You know, if you are going to be getting married, you're absolute something blue. Also, the gemstone of new beginnings. You know, if somebody's going to be starting a new job or for the uh, herald the arrival of a newborn baby, someone who's going to start a new chapter in life. It, it's such a symbolic gemstone for so many people, isn't it, Jen? It, it absolutely, yeah. And it, it's, it feels like a lucky gemstone too if somebody was starting Ooh. their own business. Yeah. Um, because it is associated with new and new passages mm. in people's lives. I think that would be lovely for a new business as well. What a lovely idea. That's a really lovely idea. Maybe someone who's just bought a new house, maybe making a little key charm for them. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Well done. Uh, more of you still coming through to get these. And when you consider as well, this incredible genuine gemstone was only, was only discovered in 1967, launched in 1969 by Tiffany's. Um, it's a relatively new gemstone. It's a baby, you know. It's not like one of these um, gemstones like Garnet, which is mentioned in the Bible. It's absolutely genuine, and, 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 it is, and it is such a new genuine gemstone as well. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Well done, everyone. Beautiful, stunning, amazing. Well done. For just eleven ninety five. a glorious price point today for your stunning Tanzanite. Well done. Beautifully graduated as well. Look at that, two by one to four by two mil in size. Isn't that gorgeous? So arguably you could take a small one, a medium one and a larger one. Um, uh, well, two small ones, two medium ones, two large ones, make them into the simplest pair of variants and sell them for at least double or triple that price point there. Christine in Carmarthenshire. Uh, summer fair last year, 10 tanzanite head pins. Sorry, I beg your pardon. 10 tanzanites, 10 head pins in each earring, 75 pounds. Oh, let's have a count, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty. Wow, that is just over an inch width of that strand. And here's the rest of the strand, and that's seventy-five pounds in a pair of earrings. That, yeah. That's, that's fantastic. That really is genuinely amazing. And I do love it when people share their experiences. Me too. Because it's not as speculating then. It's not as saying, oh, wouldn't these, you know, these could sell for this price. And can you imagine them selling for this price? Um, Christine in Carmarthenshire, summer fair last year, 10 Tanzanites, um, um, 10 head pins in each earring, um, 75 pounds. Boom. Boom. And it's 11.95 for the entire strand. Oh, lovely necklace here. <gasps> Ooh. Made by Beading Buddy. Isn't that beautiful? I love the way that they kind of meander down there, don't you? It's like a little, little, uh, little snake design, isn't it? Aren't they gorgeous? That's really effective, a really beautiful use of, of the gem and the, the chain to go with. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Really like that. Oh, some wire guardians being used there as well. That's really lovely. I love the little spacer beads as well. Hey, those little, um, the spacer beads we did earlier on. Oh, the mirror sparkle. The mirror sparkle stardust mm. beads. Oh, perfect. Oh, Absolutely perfect. They would be amazing, wouldn't they? And Tanzanite is deserving of your solid precious metals, in my oh, opinion, as well. Yeah. Definitely. Sorry, I hide my, uh, my, my brownie. I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. I oh, know, I'll talk about those in a minute. Well done, everyone. Uh, lots of people still coming through to get these loads of multi bidders. Carolyn Langshire's just got two. Collector in Yorkshire, you've just got two. Well done. Uh, Sharon, you've got two. Brenda's got two. Uh, Fiona's, yes, you've still got a 15. Debbie's got two. Well done. Rosina's got two. Jenny's got three. Alison in Cleveland, you've just bought two. Lee, well done. Linda, well done. Rosaline, well done. Nikki, Janine, Brian, Jacqueline, Beryl, Joyce, Patricia, Margaret, Stewart. Loads, of, just millions of you. Philip, well done. Loads and loads and loads of people still coming through that is quite amazing isn't it 11.95 for a strand of stunning tanzanite graduated plain rondelles absolutely beautiful well done everyone yeah that is amazing isn't it look at that and looking at it against the skin as well it's amazing isn't it this is the kind of genuine gemstone which just oh just cries out to be worn against the skin doesn't it beautiful quality an amazing gem such a special quality and you could actually do just an entire you could even do a, stre a, a stretchy bracelet you could do couldn't you yeah, if you can find a nice fine elastic to work with, that would be really, really beautiful. Um, you could even space that out slightly using some jump rings of different colours as well. Oh. We sometimes have the three millimetre jump rings and they yeah. look gorgeous in, in between. 
That's lovely. What was the strap we had earlier on? The lapis. Gee whiz. <gasps> Wherever it's gone. The lapis, yeah. Just stackable bracelets. They don't have to, it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very intricate, it can be very involved, it can be really, um, really, not, not complicated, but you know what I mean, quite, yes, it, intricate. But, but something simple as a, as a, as a single-stranded bracelet like that is just a joy, isn't it? An absolute joy. Marilyn, well done. Lynn, well done. Joan, well done. Rosemary, well done. Loads of people still coming through to get these. Well done. Beautiful quality. Well done. Love it. Love it. Sunny Silver chain coming up right now. It's a star buy. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It's got black onyx in it. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at that. Sterling silver gem set chain don't you love it oh look at it <sighs> now the reason why I'm just kind of sitting here looking at this um, right now um, right remind me again Scott of the price point What? How can we, have you felt the weight of this? I want to know how we can physically make this. Because when I saw this chain, <clears throat> when Scott bought this in, and I asked him what the price point was going to be, do you know what I just assumed? I just assumed, yeah, well, that's going to be uh, checkerboard fasted black onyx and it's going to be set into silver plated copper or silver plated brass. Most of our chains that are like this, which are gem set, you know, with this kind of, with this kind of carrot weight, you know, the, the, if it's a big substantial chain like this is, it's a half a metre chain. It's going to be silver plated copper or silver plated brass, isn't it? Let's face it, 100%. Yeah? Yeah. No. This is... 925 sterling silver. This is made from 92.5% pure silver. This is what I love about our buying team. This is what I love about our merchandiser, Paul. This is what I love about that team who commission these pieces. Because when the decision came, to commission this and to design this and to make this, surely the obvious option would be, well, look, we can make twice as many of these chains and make it from silver plated brass or silver plated copper. Keep that cost down, still maintain that incredible quality and, 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 bring, and, and bring these to air for an amazing price for everyone at home to enjoy. Well, we've done all of that. And this is made out of 925 sterling silver. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is all 925 sterling silver with bezel set black onyx. Now let's talk about that black onyx. Um, for me, the fact that these are rounds and they're checkerboard faceted means um, it, 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 look, it, it takes it to the next level. Ollie was, um, director Ollie was saying, is it nice to see round connectors? Because most of our connectors are ovals, aren't they? Yeah, you get a mixture of the ovals and you'll get the teardrops as well. Yeah. But this is, it's beautiful to have. Yeah. 
It's lovely to see them in checkerboard faceted rounds. This reminds me of a lot of the jewellery that you'll find um, the big fashion houses make, like Christian Dior, like Gucci, or even Cartier, who make kind of jewellery. They're not necessarily known for their jewellery. They're known for their clothes. They're known for their watches, you know, whatever they're known for. But when they do designs like this, they tend to use rounds. There's something very pleasing about the round shape. It, it, it works, especially on neckline pieces, especially on long chains like this. Now, this is a 50 centimeter length chain you're going to be getting with your bezel set sterling silver faceted checkerboard faceted um, uh, black onyx um, uh, cabochons all of this is sterling silver it, it, it's amazing and when you see the price point for this you will honestly not be able to believe your eyes this is set into over five grams of sterling silver and it's $29.95. Wow. There's six round faceted black onyx connectors, all bezel set into sterling silver, all fed onto a 95 sterling silver chain. Now, isn't that amazing? Yeah. We're not staying there. We're going lower. We're going lower. This is absolutely amazing. Such a beautiful quality piece. Absolutely amazing. £21.95. They are all going to go on today's show. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. Well done. All 95 sterling silver. Loads of black onyx. Absolutely amazing. Well done. All checkerboard faceted. All double sided. And it's all precious metal as well. That is utterly brilliant, isn't it? That is really amazing. And I've just been thinking while you've been talking about it. If you were to have a, a wedding day or a special occasion, perhaps, mm. wouldn't it be absolutely fabulous to have a tiny little clutch bag for the rings or something that's special to you oh. and have that as the chain? Oh, wow! So, I mean, seriously, how sumptuous can you possibly get gemstone and silver as the chain on a bag? Goodness me, that would be amazing! And I'm not talking about like going into town and carrying your shopping home with it, but <laughs> yeah. in, in a delicate nature with a little satinised bag or something, that'd be really pretty. What a gorgeous idea! I love that idea! Yeah, beautiful. Potentially, you've got enough for, well, because, because of the quality of these, you've potentially got enough for, uh, see, look, individual bracelets. By adding a bit of extender chain on there, you've got enough to make loads and loads of bracelets there. Isn't that gorgeous? Maybe stack them up. Maybe kind of um, have them kind of a little bit staggered. Weave them together so they're a little bit stacked. Oh, I like that. Get another one and maybe put it there. Yeah, you could definitely kind of stagger them up, couldn't you? That looks amazing. If you have wow. a single clasp at the back yeah. and stagger where you start the chain from, then they will do that naturally. You won't have to keep readjusting them. Oh, fantastic. Love that idea. Why not? Why not have a go? But, but as a little handle on a little bag. Oh, yeah, gorgeous idea there. Well done. Lots of people coming through to get these. Lots of people checking their baskets out. That's absolutely gorgeous. Um, for £21.95, that's an absolute beauty, isn't it? Well done. Fiona in Bristol's just bought three. Absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if Fiona in Bristol is trade. I wonder, because she keeps multi-buying. I wonder if she's trade. I think she might be. Well done. A glorious deal for you today. Well done. All of that gorgeous black onyx, all of that stunning, stunning silver. Well done. Linda, Elizabeth, Anthea, well done. Leslie's now there. So Shelley and Vanya, absolutely wonderful. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality there. And you're still going to get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you get this home. Maybe you're not 100% satisfied. Send it back. We will give you your money back. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous deals for you today. Well done. Absolutely wonderful. Gorgeous. Look at that. I love the fact they're checkerboard faceted on both sides as well, so it doesn't matter, matter which way round you wear it, you're always going to have that gorgeous quality. EJ, one of these uh, was on another jewellery shopping channel yesterday. A single stone bracelet in solid, sorry, in silver sold for over £30. Wonder who that was. Decent price. But you can get the entire strand here for twenty-one ninety-five. Absolutely gorgeous, and it's fifty centimeters in length as well, which makes it how many inches? Let's have a quick look. Twenty inches in in, in length as well. So you literally just pop a clasp on the back of it, and there's a gorgeous necklace to wear and enjoy. Oh, 
they oh. sit really beautifully on the neckline as beautiful, well. Beautiful, isn't it? It's got a lovely bit of weight because mm. of the um, because of the cabochony thingies. You know, you can see the weight in it just from looking. You don't need to see the details to appreciate Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Gorgeous. You're dead right. You're dead right. Teddy bear charms. No. Tell us where they are, Scott. We'll get them. Oh, no. Look what you've done. Ah! Jem, can I pass this to you, please? Yes, my darling. Manager Scott Stone, find him on Facebook, has... I will do my best. ...created something quite amazing there. <laughs> We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What did we do today? Man, that's good. Did anyone watch that on telly? Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't like the fact. I didn't like the end. The bear. Oh. I felt so sorry for the bear. He had a cold. Poor bear. Why did he have a cold? And no, it's definitely not that way in the book. The bear, you know, it's a big scary bear. Anyway to one side oh hello oh my word this is just adorable gorgeous oh look beautiful teddy bear charms all 925 sterling silver you can see that beautiful detail. Isn't he gorgeous? <gasps> Even got a little smile as well. That's really adorable. Absolutely gorgeous. How many charm companies are there out there? A lot. A lot. How many of them make teddy bear charms? Uh, pretty much all of them. Why? Well, for, to herald us. Uh, the, the arrival of a newborn baby to give to somebody who is your teddy bear to give to somebody on Valentine's Day to give to uh, maybe your uh, niece maybe to give to your granddaughter maybe to your daughter maybe to your mum they're absolutely beautiful aren't they gorgeous and I'd much rather have one of these than a cuddly toy do you know what I mean another cuddly toy you know, gee whiz. Um, give me one of these. It's going to last a lot longer and it's sterling silver. Beautiful quality, hey? Uh, there are five of these in total. What a lovely little prezi to give maybe to a teacher at the end of term or to your best mate who's maybe just going to, um, who, who's, who's expecting um, a baby. Or, you know, the, the, it's a lovely little gift, isn't it? It is, and um, it's not gender specific either. No. It's quite, quite cute. Yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can look at you can look at kind of all over the place. I mean, Tiffany's do them for kind of uh, you know three figure sums, or you can go to Pandora, you can go to uh, Thomas Sabo, and you can get them for kind of under a hundred pounds, or you can get five from Jewelry Maker for eight pounds ninety five. Oh my words! Gee whiz! Now because these are flat on the back. I suppose you could sandwich them together, but then it would look like you've got a bear with two faces. So I'm not entirely sure if that would necessarily work, but you could have a go. They're really, really sweet though, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? They're so sweet. What's happened to the top bear there? <laughs> Looks like half his head's missing. What's happened to that bear? Have you seen this bear? Just so you're aware, your five bears are going to have all of their limbs. They're going to have all of their ears and, 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 and uh, you know, bits. Uh, so, <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> to call ears and I thought is it an appendage I thought what what are what are ears and I just said bits and I thought that sounds much worse no but what makes it even even worse is that it's bear bits <laughs> oh <laughs> ooh la la oh dear me bear bits gee whiz blimey Goodness gracious me well done but you know what I mean they're gonna have all their ears they're gonna have all the all the 
Fair bit. Bits. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing today. Well done, everyone. I think it must be the uh, the beetroot protein powder almond brownies that I've been eating. You're so horrible. <laughs> I made those and I bought those in because I thought everybody would enjoy them. Actually, I just palmed them off because I thought they were disgusting. So. <laughs> I mean, look at look, look at that for a texture of. Uh, there's no sugar in them. There's honey in them. There's eggs. Mm. A lot of protein powder. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whole box of them here, Scott. I wouldn't eat too many of them though. They're very high in protein. Might uh, bind us together, Lord. Right. Um, <laughs> where are we going? Who are we doing? What are we doing? Oh. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Never been on the morning show. Why? Natural Indian garnet. I tell you something, I love the recording for this. <laughs> it looks like Sephira tourmaline. It looks like Crisera rubellite. It looks like sheer perfection I tell you what it looks it, it looks like Naxumunda road like garnet like the absolute rarest of rare like a damson purple because these garnets are just the size of houses um the the color is just it's it's as subtle as a sledgehammer it's there it's it's there Morello cherry. Oh, I do love a Morello. Me too. Mm. It's the best kind of cherry. Oh, totally, totally. That is, is there incredible. any other type of cherry? No. No. Oh, well, apart from picottas, they're quite nice, but that's nicer. Quite <laughs> simply, though, um, Gem, I think because of the enormity of this strand and the, let's face it, the big flat pairs, so the enormous window which you can just gaze into that is the best garnet I've ever seen on jewelry maker and I love my garnet I love my garnet my um my uh my, my grandpa who he passed away years ago like 12 years ago um his middle name was Garnet. His first name is Hathi. He was named after the type of yoga, and his middle name is Garnet. His parents were kind of hippies back in the day, which is just crazy, considering he was born in, like, 1910 or something. Anyway, anyway. And, um, and after he passed away, um, I, remember, I remember thinking and, and knowing what Garnet was and knowing it as quite an inky, dark, black gemstone. And I thought, well, why would, why would Grandpa have a middle name like Garnet? Because my grandpa was larger than life, literally literally the biggest character in the room not the life and soul of every party my my um i went to the bowls club where he was captain for 18 years like literally h roach h roach h roach h roach he was literally he just he just he, he was an amazing character it looked like um eric morkham and it was only when i started to work with proper garnet that i realized ah this is what garnet's meant to look like but no this is what garnet should look like. These are enormous, bright, vivid cherry reds you are getting here, like the best. That is some of the, that is the best garnet I think I've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. That is absolutely mind-boggling. What, what are your thoughts on this, Gem? Have you ever seen garnet like this before? 
I haven't. Um, if you think about pomegranates, yeah, but then you multiply that by a thousand. Yes, that's what I'm seeing. But when you have that lustre and that particular tone, they're stunning. Really, really stunning. You have that sort of clarity and that sparkle and that colour. It's everything that you could really wish for, isn't it? And of course, the perfect vehicle for all of that is when you've got the size, which will showcase all of that. Honestly, I can hand on heart say this has got to be the finest strand of garnet I've ever seen in my life. It is absolutely amazing. $27.95 should. No. You're going under 20. Seriously. Best garnet ever. Best garnet ever. There you go. That is quite an accolade. Best garnet ever. £19.95. That is amazing. That is amazing. Pearl, Christina, Sue, Collector in Greater London, Davinia, Miriam, Christine. I've got Scott saying it's like a Merlot. I think it's more like a Pinot Noir. I've got a port at home that's this sort of colour. Oh, colour. port. Yes. Yeah, kind of sweet dessert wine. Yes. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Rioca, Director Ollie's saying. I think Rioca's darker than this. Pinot Noir, like the lightest, the lightest possible red wine. That's what I like. Anyway, Anthea, what well unto you? Carol, what well unto you? Kia, what well unto you? Viv, what well unto you? Suzanne, what well unto you? I've got people from all over the country. Pearl, what well unto you? Jenny, well done. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Anthea, you've just got yours. Well done. Gillian, fantastic in County London. There are loads of people coming through. This is amazing. Is this the best strand of garnet you've ever seen? It is for me. And I've been bringing you garnet for, well, well for almost a decade. Gee whiz. That makes me sound quite old, doesn't it? I've been working with Gemma, I don't know. Talking to my inner self. Wouldn't they look lovely with the soft champagne gold? Can I pass you some wire just for an example to see what they yes, look please, like with that Gem colour? Yes, please, Gemma Orbs. I think that's a magical combination. Ah. Oh. <gasps> beautiful. Yes. It's like a crushed velvet burgundy, isn't it? <gasps> and it's that, and it's that kind of colour which is everywhere at the minute. Um, a lot of um, I've got a pair of Chelsea boots which are this kind of colour. It's kind of that kind of. Um, there are lots of um, designers out there using this colour in leather or in handbags. This kind of burgundy colour is just wonderful. Or kind of a lot of people are dyeing their denims this kind of colour. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's just, oh, it's amazing. This with soft smoky greys, I think, would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? It would look amazing. What about with the tanzanite? What about with the deal of the day? Oh. That's oh. Pretty. That's a really pretty combination. Yeah. Do you know what I'm thinking of most of all is the velvet cushions and drapes that you would have in a Turkish bazaar or if you were to go to Egypt yes. or maybe Morocco. Yes. If I think of a jewel tone, sorry to do air quotes, I apologise, I know that's bad, but that is what I think of. That is a jewel tone. It's just beautiful. Do you know what? She's absolutely right. I'd love... You want to go to Morocco, do you? Oh, Scott's so fun on my Facebook. Definitely go to. Oh, I'd love to go to Morocco. Mm. I, I've, n I've never been. I'm desperate to go. And you can stay in the. Um, oh, now what are they called? They call them. Um, they've got a name. There's a name for them. My sister and brother-in-law stayed there when they went to. Um, when they went because they, they went to Marrakesh and did the Atlas Mountains for their honeymoon. And they stayed in Marrakesh and they stayed in something. I want to call it a Riyadh. Uh, it's basically a family, a family home, which is opened up to um, uh, to you, and it's uh, but it's like so it's like a really lovely B and B, but you get proper Moroccan food, and you get really, really, really beautifully looked after. Not that you wouldn't in a B and B, but but it's meant to be just kind of a, a cut above. Oh, I'd love to. Oh. So much sugary mint tea that you won't be able to move. Oh my word! An apple tea. Oh, is that Turkish? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, mint tea definitely though. Oh, that would be amazing. Lots of lamb and oh. Blah, 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 blah. Yum yum. Right. Sorry, I know you're a vegan. Sorry, that's a terrible thing to say. It does not oh yes. And, Don't be oh, silly. Blimey. Now, what is the oh I thought it was a piece of wire. It's a piece of fluff. Okay. Ooh. I know what you're thinking. I know. I know. Is it? This this is a strand of Peridot rounds. It's only when you see something that you might have never seen before or something that you seldom see that you actually think, actually, when was the last time I saw rounds of Peridot? Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just... 
That's incredible. Glorious. I love those natural fibers inside the gem, don't you? They are like marbles, aren't they? Sorry, Derek Tolly, she said they're like marbles, aren't they? Just. That's the first thing that came to my mind, actually. What's it? <laughs> Six mil rounds. of USA Peridot. My favorite location for Peridot um, mining. Gorgeous. Isn't it just beautiful? <gasps> Look at those gorgeous green tones. Much darker than the Peridot that I bought you from China in the last hour. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Can you imagine that with your chrome diopside? I'm imagining it as well with the gorgeous um, sterling silver mirrored stardust beads that we bought you earlier on. And maybe punctuating the peridot with the deal of the day. $39.95? Are you going to take this lower? Well, I never. That, that is amazing. That is, this is amazing at $39.95. We're going to take it even lower for you today. £29.95p. That is amazing. Uh, for a strand of Peridot uh, in, in a size that you very, very, very rarely see. That is wonderful. Well done. Less, excuse me. Less than 20 chances available now. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. 90 carats of natural Peridot all the way from the USA. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Well done. Isn't that just beautiful? It's idyllic, isn't it? Well done, 90 carats in total. I am in love with this quality. <gasps> beautiful, 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 well done. Tell me what it's the colour of. And I've, I've recently started drinking this. Uh, matcha tea, has anyone ever had matcha tea? I've heard of it, but I've not had it's any delicious. yet. Delicious. Nice. Well, it kind of, it takes a bit of getting used to. Mm. Nothing like a tea and coffee. I mean, tea and coffee is like the absolute bomb, isn't it? But matcha tea, it's amazing. It's got 174 times the antioxidants of green tea. Really? <laughs> it's literally like you're drinking life it's amazing it's, it's quite amazing uh, it's really really good for you but yeah it's the color of matcha tea absolutely beautiful 11 chances remaining there well done 90 carats in total absolutely amazing to get it in rounds is so unusual absolutely gorgeous i tell you what because my um beetroot brownies went down so well next shift i'm going to bring in some matcha tea for everyone to try okay and you can try it okay and you can all hate me for that as well <laughs> i was actually going to bring in pigs in blankets this shift I might do it next shift. Maybe I'll do it next week for you guys. I'll do it next week for you guys. Okay, I'll do it next Monday. All right, okay. P pigs in blankets. Well done. Eight chances remaining there. Well done. Really popular strand. I mean, there's no... Now, um, Scott, I know maybe you weren't thinking of doing this, but um, I've got the best Labradorite I've ever seen in my life sitting here. Okay. I have got... I have got, oh, okay. I'm going to go against the grain a bit here. I'm not, I'm not going to conform. And I'm going to say, for me, let me, let me just double check. Oh, no. Oh. For me, okay, you've got four cabochons of Labradorite here, okay? Beautiful. I'm going to do as much as I can not to show you the labradorescence, okay? There you are. So, four cabochons, okay? I've got these two kind of round side up. I've got these two flat side up. Look. I would never tell you what to do with a gemstone. But when... A labradorite looks like that from the back. You have to, I mean, the front, and, and this is why I was saying I'm going to go against the grain, and then I kind of instantly regretted it because that's the back. The front. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? I'd set it like that. Can I show you? 
Can I show you the next one? Now the front, beautiful, gorgeous. Look at that, Gem Hawks. Look at that. Oh, look at the back. Oh, gee, wait, ah! It's just the absolute best. Look at this one. Oh, mama, 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 mia. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jim Hawks, look at that. I am looking. <laughs> I'm looking at nothing else. That's like a cobalt blue. <sighs> <sighs> and I've got the final one. The final commission. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Ooh. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, 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 I adore this. Now, this is one of the only Cabochon collections that. This is one of the only Cabochon collections where I can honestly say you are going to get two ovals and two pairs. Most of our Cabochon collections, you get a carat weight, and whatever is in that carat weight collection will vary. They could be rounds, they could be teardrops, they could be trillions, they could be whatever, ovals, they could be shaped like Christmas trees, I don't know, whatever. But with this, you've got two ovals, two pairs. What's that going to allow you to do? It's going to allow you to plan ahead and you know exactly what you're going to be getting. I personally would love these cabochons so much, I would actually feel confident enough to use these back to front and, and use, oh my word, and, and show off the glory of the back of these absolutely mesmerising cabochons. They are just so beautiful. They are amazing. They are incredible. They're all completely natural. It's all the way from South Africa. The most wonderful quality. Um, we've got to bring the price point on screen. I've got a load of you there. $24.95. Looking amazing. Looking brilliant. Are we going to stay there? Are we buffalo? We're going to go lower. Absolutely amazing. Oh, gee. I, I just... I, the purples, the golds, the blues. Oh, my word. Look at the fibres. <gasps> Ooh, 17.95 now, Gem. Would you pay 17.95 for that? I do. I'm very, very choosy and picky with my Labradorite, and I would have no hesitation in spending that on a single stone of this yeah. quality. And I, I tend to make when I'm working with pendants, I tend to make them reversible, um, because oh. this gemstone deserves to be seen from every angle. Right, okay, so with your, oh my word, I, I, I absolutely agree with you, these could, these should be on a reversible piece because the back and the front are just equally, equally as beautiful. How do you make a reversible piece then? Um, it's really a case of thinking in equal properties, what you're doing on the front is what you're doing on the back. So making your workings nice and neat and... Keeping everything neat. I mean, in a lot of my larger pieces, I tend to have a design in the back, so there'll be a bird of prey <gasps> made out of wire on the back. Oh, wow. But with something like this, I would really like to keep it as simple as possible. So when you look at the beginner's cabochon wrapping and you're looking to create a cage, so you take three strands of wire, wrap it at the bottom, one strand, the central strand will go all the way around what's effectively the girdle of the gem yeah. and then as little as possible coming across the front of the gem and then very neatly across the back the exact same design. Yeah. Again, um, if you're using a point eight or a one mil, you can use the curvature of your thumb or finger to create a beautiful swirl oh, and it will just wow. sit over the front and the back beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. And those. isn't it lovely and so rare that we can actually say you're going to get two ovals and two and two teardrops so you know what you're going to get, you know what you're going to be working with. It's fantastic and I, I would be tempted to multi-buy and Definitely. then you have the opportunity to make sweets of earrings, oh. multi-gemstone pieces, absolutely stunning. You could use them with the, uh, with, the with, with the bezel set labradorite that we bought you a little bit earlier on, couldn't you? Absolutely gorgeous. They're going to Essex, Sussex, Aberdeenshire, Florida, Bristol, Kent, um, another set 
uh, to Bristol, uh, to Linda, to uh, the West Midlands, to Cumbria, to Essex, to Greater Manchester, to Derbyshire, to Brenda. Loads of bit London dairy now. Absolutely wonderful. Well done. Isn't that just gorgeous? Even if you just have these on your stall, not even set into pieces of jewellery, but just a little bowl of them. It's going to catch people's uh, eye. It's going to catch people's imagination. It's going to draw people towards your store. And it's going to make people ask questions. And you can tell them it's a natural, genuine gemstone. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Jackie Northamptonshire as well. Uh, loads of people still coming through for these. They are just beautiful, aren't they? And isn't it lovely to know exactly what you're going to be getting? You know, but, but, in, but in the same way, you're going to be getting four very individual cabochons. But you know that two of them are going to be teardrops. Two of them are going to be um, ovals. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really really fantastic well done beautiful now uh, the stardust mirrored beads yeah let's do them so earlier on in the show we bought you these we had a lot of people coming through for these uh, and the price point shocked and amazed everyone everyone 10 of these gorgeous beads which the photo is a bit rubbish it doesn't really show these beads off beautifully at all doesn't do anything for them however when you see these in real life it becomes clear what these are they look they have the look oh perfect there you go they have the look of a gem set bead you know the kind of the beads that are used in Shambhala pieces which which are gem set or, or set with crystal Swarovski crystal whatever it's going to be they have the look of that, the same kind of sparkle as that. Um, I've just fed them onto a piece of one millimeter gauge wire here, which the fact that they go into one millimeter gauge wire is pretty amazing. Um, it's all sterling silver. Um, you're going to be getting a pack of 10 of these. I've just left um, uh, four of them there, just kind of um, um, just lying there. Uh, but you get a great idea, don't you, of the uh, luster on these, the sparkle. Um, and using these on their own, wonderful. Using them with genuine gemstones, absolutely fantastic. They are £4.95. So, so wonderful. And such an inexpensive buy. They look like they're kind of three, four, five times uh, the price point where we're at now. And they do look like they're set with Swarovski crystal or with diamonds or with rhinestones. They really, really do. But they're not. It's all 925 sterling silver. That quality, that absolutely beautiful quality is all the way through these. Well done. I've got a load more of these uh, already being allocated. That's great to see. Well done. Uh, we have, um, we had over 400 to start with. I've got less than 100 left now. Well done. Loads of people coming through. Uh, Mary from King Lynn, well done, Kathleen in Tyne and Weir, Patricia in West Yorkshire, just loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of you coming through, well done, gorgeous. Now, coming up after the break, oh my word, the most amazing kit. In this kit, you have got Tanzanite, you've got Topaz, you've got Wire, it's absolutely amazing. It's going to be just fantastic. Uh, we're going to bring you a star buy as well, uh, which is a stunning diamond cut chain in 95 sterling silver. That is going to be coming up after the break. That's going to be absolutely wonderful. So keep checking your baskets out for this. It's a wonderful deal, 495 And I think we kind of established uh, that it is absolutely the kind of thing that you would multi-buy, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Most definitely, yeah. You, you can't have too many things like this. No. Because they are so useful and they will complement and enhance everything in your collection. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Coming up in the next hour, so we've got our gorgeous kit out. Plus, we've also got the drawer of the wall. Of Is it Wednesday? I thought it was Monday. Did I think it was Monday? Anyway. It doesn't matter what I thought. It is actually Wednesday, yes. So we're going to be drawing the Wall of Fame uh, during the next hour as well. Well done. Just seeing loads of, loads and loads and loads of multi bidders coming through for this. They are absolutely beautiful. Well done. At 4 95 the most fantastic deal. Well done. Uh, please do not go anywhere. Um, loads and loads and loads coming up. Um, it, it, it's wonderful to have you with us today as well. Um, Texas as well. What are you going to be doing with these? Um, are you excited about the brand new kit with Tanzanite coming up in just a couple of seconds? Don't go anywhere. More coming up in just a couple of moments. It's going to be absolutely superb last hour of the show. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. When you place your first order with Jewelry Maker, we'll send you a free DVD and booklet to help you get started. 
The booklet is jam-packed full of information on gemstones, tools, threading, materials and findings. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make bracelets, earrings and necklaces. And the DVD includes easy-to-follow video tutorials. So what are you waiting for? Start your jewellery making journey today. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Star by, 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 star by. Does that sound like stab eye? Stab eye, stab eye, stab eye. Sorry. <gasps> yes, Director Ollie. Star by, star by, star by in heaven. <laughs> bit That's of MP. A pretty good Heather. MP for like yeah. Heather Small. <laughs> Heather Smalls. Uh, right. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh.
925 sterling silver diamond cut twisted curb chain and it's 20 inches in length Perfect. boom just gorgeous isn't it it's a perfect look at that doesn't that look beautiful and it shows you the individual links in there as well yeah. how stunning are they looks like a strand of dna don't you think oh yes just love it. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Oh. Hello and thank you. It's the only long word I can say. Is that one word? I have no clue. Well, I imagine it's deoxyribonucleic is one part. <laughs> is that what DNA stands for? Yeah. Say again. Deoxyribonucleic. I've probably said it wrong now because I've forgotten what I was saying. Just say it quickly. Deoxy deoxyribonucleic acid. Whatever she says. <laughs> I'll have it with an egg on top. Uh, so yeah, you've got your sterling silver diamond cut chain. That recording is beautiful. As, as Gem says, you can see each and every individual linkage. And that is... I'm just going to kind of... I'm just going to kind of untwist it. Isn't that beautiful? That's it untwisted. And oh then, of course, it naturally, it kind of, it just, it just twists. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? All 925 sterling silver. I just love it. 20 inches, oh, 20 inches in length. Absolutely gorgeous. Are we going to do, what are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> Eight pounds ninety five. Have you seen the silver weight? Four point two grams of silver in this. For goodness sake, that is amazing. Well done. A four point two grams of um, sterling silver. I've got loads of you coming through, loads and loads and loads of people coming through, loads of multi bidders. I'm not surprised. Um, what's the great thing about having a 20 inch chain? Well, as, as Jem said earlier on in the show, everybody is different shapes and sizes. We all come in different shapes and sizes. Not to mention which, if you're going to be wearing a slightly larger pendant or a slightly smaller pendant, or you're going to be wearing a slightly more, uh, um, um, a slightly lower neckline or a higher neckline, you may need different length chains. Um, um, uh, to, to facilitate those kind of looks. So to have a chain like this, even if you normally wear 16 inch or 18 inch neckline pieces, um, that having something like this as an option is always great. But not only that, come on, on its own, that looks, oh, look at the luster from that. You can tell it's diamond cut, can't you? So the actual physical links on this chain are cut um, to give you that beautiful luster. Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, well done. 8.95, all, all precious metal, all the way through this, well done. Over four grams of 95 sterling silver, well done. Loads of multi bidders, loads of people coming through, that's absolutely fantastic, well done. Gorgeous, well done, you have a 30 day money back guarantee uh, and you're also only paying 2.95 PNP per order, which is absolutely wonderful, well done everyone, gorgeous. That's amazing for 8.95, that is absolutely brilliant. Gem Hawks limbering up over there. Second kit. It's a beauty, isn't it? I, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's head over to Gem. And whilst, and whilst we do this, I'm going to try and surreptitiously. Oh, look at that over there. Look at that over there. Take my flies up. Hi. Yeah. I'll just, you know. On the break, had to had to go for a comfort break and um, forgot to do my flies up. There we go. <laughs> National television. That's nice, isn't it? Hello. Hello, darling. Well, 
This is lovely. <laughs> Look at what you've done. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. With yes, this one. you can tell. <laughs> I love these designs. All of them. Uh, they're all so. They're all so different. Yeah, I do try to bring at least a couple of pieces that are totally new. And then we of <gasps> variation. So I mean, there's a skeleton tree for it being winter as well, and the triquetra in the middle of the spider web, which is the one that I'm hoping to show you a little bit about today. Oh yes, please. Look at this ring. That's the Look first piece I made. I love it. That strand of gemstones is crazy. Well, the white topaz. Uh, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes. It's amazing. The bracelet next to it, which is really tightly woven, absolutely gorgeous. And then, look at this piece on the end. <laughs> that came from the name. <laughs> it's a guitar! Gorgeous. Also, you know, the kit's called Singing uh, the Blues, and it's absolutely fantastic. Is this a lyre? I that couldn't what it's decide called? whether it was a lute or a lyre. I didn't actually look at pictures. I just went from memory, so... It's gorgeous! <laughs> I did have a lot of fun. Yeah, you Probably can tell. The, the, the lyre or the lute or whatever we decided it is, I, I would put that on the wall rather than wear it. Um, but the guitar, which is based on a, a Fender design at yeah. loosely, um, I would wear that as a brooch. It's, it's got a brooch pin on the back. It's oh, pretty cool. <laughs> how fantastic. The strand of gemstones that Jem's referring to is, um, is the, um, oh, <laughs> this. I know. Now, this is a strand of micro-faceted white topaz, which is very, very similar to the strand of lapis lazuli that we had today. And it's also very similar to the strand of black spinel that our buying team has reordered, I would have thought, 20 to 30 times in the last few months alone. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, I remember launching the strand and it sold out in seconds. It was such a popular piece. I to have three of them. Did you? Did you? <laughs> What did you do with them? Uh, I looked at them a lot <laughs> and then I just made simple sterling silver bracelets. To be honest with you, yeah. they're so stunning. Well, the way that you've set them in this ring, it looks like the ring is encrusted with diamonds. It really genuinely does. Look at it. They do look like diamonds, don't they, these white topaz? I'm amazed you could set them the way that you have. How have you set them? With what have you set them? Uh, I have used, I think it was even the 0.4 wire rather than the 0.25. Oh, uh, wow. Very, very fine, very usable gemstone. I'm sure it's, if I'm looking at that, have a quick squeeze. Yeah, that's 0.4 gauge wow. that's gone through. And I've just used a wire crinkler tool to generate a length of crinkled wire and then woven them into the spaces that that gives you and just twisted it around a bit. Beautiful. Honestly, very, very simple to do. Gosh. You, you'd be able to back engineer that from photographs, I'm sure, if you, if you so desire. Wow, beautiful <laughs> quality, absolutely gorgeous. With your white topaz micro-faceted strand, you're also going to get a strand of blue sapphire faceted rondelles. I love this. It's like a silvery blue strand you're going to be getting. There's some beautiful greens coming through here as well, which are just beautiful, delicately kind of dusky, this strand of beautiful blue sapphire. To go with all of that, you're also going to be getting this. Yep, it is. It's stunning tanzanite. Your beautiful tanzanite faceted rondelles. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, Obviously, you can see from looking at all these pieces that Gem has made, they're very gem heavy, but they're also very, very wire heavy as well. There's a lot of wire in this kit. Um, it's absolutely stunning. You st let's start off by showing you 100 metres of 0.25 millimetre gauge uh, silver plated copper wire. Brilliant, brilliant starting point. You're then going to be getting... 10 metres of 0.4 millimetre gauge silver plate copper wire, 10 metres of 0.6 millimetre gauge silver plate copper wire, and 10 metres of 0.8 millimetre gauge silver plated copper wire as well. It's wonderful to be able to bring you 130 metres of wire. It is wonderful, even more wonderful, to be able to bring you the blue sapphire, the blue tanzanite, and then, of course, that amazing diamond-like strand of micro-faceted white topaz. Absolutely wonderful components. This kit, all together, 
I think for £48.65, that is an absolute giveaway. I do. You've got two of the big five in this incredible kit, haven't you? You've got your sapphire, your tanzanite, and this kit should be £48.65. Not today. £27.95. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. I was expecting it to be a little bit north of there, if I'm honest. Definitely. Kind of maybe, maybe kind of 32, maybe 34. 27.95 today. Get it added to your order. Amazing. I love that design. Isn't it beautiful? If you if you just looked at the kind of the sapphire and the tanzanite and kind of imagine those at 15 pounds a strand, yeah, that's kind of yeah, yeah brilliant. Easily. But then you've got the white topaz, then you've got the 130 meters of silver plated wire included for a 27.95 now this is the design that we're going to be seeing in a couple of seconds absolutely gorgeous gorgeous design where you're using 0 0.25 0 point yep the framework is done with the 0 0.8 mm. and the loops around the outside into which the gemstones sit are the 0 0.8 as well um yeah. in this design i did use the 0 0.25 to create the spider webbing brilliant absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful i've got lots of people coming through to get these lots of people adding this to their order and um, it is just fantastic a lot of people want to see this guitar the brooch as well isn't it gorgeous <laughs> did you did you start by making the frame for this um jam with the guitar mm. i did a lot of wire scrunching first and then sort of formed the shape and then created a frame around it which is probably right. backwards to how most people would do it but that's no, how that's my brain fine. works that's absolutely beautiful. I love the neck of the guitar as well. It's beautiful. You've really used the, the kind of the weaving elements really beautifully absolutely in there. Absolutely superb fun to do it. Yes. With the neck on both of the instrument pieces, it's a case of using the 0.25, you go behind one, mm. come back over the front of, uh, no, sorry, the other way, behind two, come back over the front of one, move on so you go behind two, over the front of one, oh. and it sort of skips. Yes. And it gives you the most wonderful weave. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's a lovely little zigzag. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But I mean, with wire stunning. weaving, the amount of wire that you've got in the mm. kit, you can afford to take a couple of lengths of the 0.8, mm. give it a little bit of hardness uh, just by running it through your fingers or through the wire lovely. Yep. crinkle remover. Mm. Um, and then just have a play around with different weaves that you can achieve. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, I had so much fun with it. Good. So what are you going to demo for us? You're going to demo this, this end piece yeah. here? The outside section of that. And Beautiful. then obviously you can pop any of the, we sometimes have connectors or charms so that you can dangle between. I mean, I, I've created a, a little triquetra from the 0.8 millimetre And what's a triquetra? It's kind of a, a Celtic shape. It's an Ooh. eternal shape. Oh, fantastic. It's gorgeous. But you've right. got lots of different ways to, to sort of put things in there. Beautiful. Let's get going. Let's do it. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to generate to begin with. Um, and the first is to create a section of looping. And if I show you what we're looking to generate, it looks like an upside down wig or something really quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, That's I what love we're it. looking to generate. So I've used about 24, 22 inches of 0 0.8 to create this amount. This is quite a large size. I mean, you can see in, in the context of my hands mm. just how big that is. Yeah. Um, so obviously the more wire, the, the larger the piece you want to create, the more wire it will eat up. Okay. But I've, the only tool I've used for this really, other than to cut it, is to uh, use midpoint on a pair of round nose pliers. Okay. So pop that to one side, bring in some round nose pliers, leave yourself a nice tail. Always good to have a length of wire on the end because it enables you to create bales or to tie it to mm. things or... Mm to open an opportunity from which you can dangle a charm or a, a, a wire piece as such as the triquetra here. But to create the uh, swirling design, and, and this is not just to hold the gemstones into position, but it is also uh, to enable you to get the wire in there to create the spider webbing. Mm -hmm. uh, in one of the other designs, I used some crinkled wire instead. When you use the crinkled wire uh, to do the spider webbing, you have to push the wire through an aperture. The reason I want okay. to show you the looping design is because mm. it doesn't go through the design at all. You can work off the reel and you're just wrapping around the outside of the whole ah, thing. Ah, yeah, okay. So let's just have a quick look at how to uh, generate the loops to begin with. So I'm going to pop in my pliers and it's about a third of the way up from the base, I would say. I'm just going to push around now I tend to use my dominant hand to just create that loop. 
get that nice and flat. What we're looking for here is to have a straight line across the back so it's in, indiscernible where it starts and where it, which piece is which yes, piece, if you follow me. Mm -hmm. Now, I like to have all of my loops going in the same direction, but it's quite interesting sometimes if you do one one way, one the other way. And then I'll, I'll show you what I mean as well. So if I pop the pliers in, again, if you wanted to um, either scratch a mark or use a marker pen, mm. then you will get even loops. I'm just sort of going to guess for now. But looking at what I'm doing here, I want the long piece of wire to pass underneath and then I'm going to push the form around and you can see here that my wire comes from the bottom, goes over the top, underneath, over the top, underneath mm -hmm. and you'll see as you start to form your loops whether you're doing it right or not. So you can start a little bit further away, mm -hmm. twist that into position. Now you can look quite closely here and you'll see the wire coming from my right is the bit that goes over the top, which means that the tail needs to come underneath if we're going to keep that pattern going. Mm -hmm. So Gorgeous. if I just flip that um, for the moment, you can okay. see that they're reasonably even and you've got that continuation of the direction of the wire there. Yeah, lovely. So that's reasonably simple to do. So if I put that to one side yeah, and show you uh, the bit that I completed earlier on. Fantastic. This is also another way which you can wrap around cabochons if you're not overly familiar with cab ah, wrapping. Right. Make that the dimension of your teardrop. Uh, you could even go for an oval if you sort of bent that over a bit at the top. And then you can wind backwards and forwards between the spaces of the yeah. little loops. And it just gives you an anchoring point that then is unable to move. Yeah. Now to add some strength, I'm also going to pop in a little section of wire that I've just put a gentle curve, a little teardrop shape into. Uh -huh. And what this means is when we're tying this together, it's got double the strength. Uh, you can do this with a one mil wire as well, um, but you probably wouldn't need to bother with the second piece inside because it will hold its sort of rigidity. Yeah. So what we would do is we're going to tie that together at the top after we've just tied the two sections together. I'm going to use a short length of um, 0.25 just to demonstrate how you would tie that together. So if you were doing the whole lot, you wanted to tie the outer loopy frame to the inner strengthening frame, you'd need a reasonable amount of wire, probably sort of 36 inches or so. Mm -hmm. Starting halfway along your 0.25 wire, I'm just going to lay that across approximately halfway along the design. So if you're thinking about it in terms of a clock, we're at six o'clock. And I'm just going to pull that so that my wire passes over the top of between the loops and the inner wire. And then very simply, where it comes underneath, I'm just going to pass it between the next two loops. Push through and pull back. Exactly the same all the way along. And as you go, yeah. that rigidity will start to build and it's a very, very quick process. So if I just pull that through all the way, sorry if my hand's getting in the way a bit there, over the top, so I'm coming up around both the frame wire and the loopy wire, push that down, pull, and I'm coming up between the next two loops. Pull that down, and you can hide all manner of sins in a design yeah, like this. Yeah, absolutely. Especially with the luxury of having so much 0.25, it just disappears. Now, so when we come to the end, yeah. I'm just going to loop that around five or six times. Generally speaking, when you're, I, I like to call this tying off. Mm. So when you're tying off your design, the finer the gauge of wire, the more turns you will need to make it secure. Yeah, of course, okay. So with the 0.25, I would probably go about six, six turns or so just to mm. ensure that that's secure. And then just clip off the end and give that a smooth round in the direction of the wire to ensure that there's no sticky outy bits. Mm. So what I would do um, to complete that segment is to go all the way around the other side, but I'm just going to trim that off because you don't need to see me do the same thing over and over again. So the next thing that I would do is to create a firm shape and size. Now, yeah. if you were looking to put a cabochon in the middle, mm -hmm. you would obviously need to pop the cab in and make sure that you're making a large enough aperture to fit your gemstone into position. Okay. It's not what we're doing today, so I'm just going to generate a shape. Mm. Now, I'm going to use the frame wires and just draw them down slightly so they come across. Yeah. 
and I'm going to push the loopy wires out of the way. Now I won't cut these off because they're handy for creating decorative swirls just to cover up any gubbins at the top. Yes. And it's also a really nice way if you're going to generate a little loop later from which you want to hang a charm. Of course, It's yeah. nice to have a little bit of excess wire so that you can do a rose or a swirl or anything of your choosing Lovely. just to cover up anything that you don't particularly want to be seen. Yes. So the next section is to create the spider... Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't actually tied this in a knot yet. I do apologise. Again, if you're putting a cab in, make sure it fits. When you've decided where you want your centre point to be, you want mm. one of your framed wires to go upwards towards okay. 12 o'clock. Yeah. And then the other side, symmetrical, we want to draw around that upright. Okay. That's a joy to work with the wire. It's Isn't beautiful it to use. So I'm just holding both sides of the frame wire into position with my thumb on my non-dominant hand mm -hmm. and then spinning around a couple of times with that frame wire so we now have a tied firm shape and we need it to be firm because we're going to be putting some tension on it mm. so i'm just going to draw this out of the way okay and show you what you would do if you wanted to add a charm dangling down okay yeah very very easily you've got some of this curly wire that has gone around the outside and yeah. i would pop some round nose pliers in right to the center up here and just draw that around until we have a little loop. Ah, oh, I see, okay. And that just gives you lots of options. You don't have to think about what you want to do with it yet. If mm. you decide that you don't want to hang anything from it, that's fine. You've got plenty of other wire, yes. which you can later on, you can just hide that. So if we hold that into position and then wrap around the neck of the design again, a couple of times, twice, and then just to keep things tidy, we're going to tie in the other end of this loopy charm. Mm just going to literally draw that across so it sits neatly around the outside of the frame wire and once again. Now these four wires that are currently sticking up would be really nice to weave into a bale. I'm just yeah. smoothing them through, giving them a little bit of warmth and energy just so that they stick up out of the way but they're ready for me to work with later. We've seen bales done a number of times mm. uh, um, with jewellery maker demonstrators, which is absolutely wonderful. So you can choose exactly how you want that to be, even if it's just curling that around yes. a pencil yeah. um, in their unbound form, as I it were. I think in a kit like this, where you've got the quality of the gemstones that you've got, so you've got the tanzanites, you've got the sapphires, you've got that pristine white topaz as well. And also with the design that you're creating there, which is... Yes, it incorporates the gemstones and the wire, but the wire is a real is a real feature, and you're making this beautiful basis for it. I've got this white rhodium plated <gasps> nine two five sterling silver Ooh. square wire. Now, square wire is unusual in the fact that it has a square cross section, so you've got four very definite, very angular sides to the wire. So rather than having a round element, it's a it's very much a square element. Square wire um, works beautifully when you start to wrap things with it. It gives you a very kind of um, very very pleasing kind of machine finish kind of element. Not only that, but I think um, um, square wire looks fantastic um, uh, in, in makes for men as well. And this pendant that you've made here, um, Gem, I think could quite easily be translated into a make um, for a guy as well as obviously a lady um, I think square wire would work particularly well with this kind of design don't you it would look absolutely beautiful yeah and, and something to remember when you're looking at the square wire mm. uh, is gauge for gauge compared to round wire it is stronger because of its relative shape ah interesting so what gauge are we looking at here is it 1.2 1.2 millimeter gauge yeah okay so comparatively i would use that anywhere i'd use a 1.4 or 1.5 round wire wow because the strength is greater but you do still have the malleability so if you want to do the simpler things warm it use it Fantastic. so that beautiful ring that you made from the first kit with the one and a half mil gauge mm. wire you could do the same design with this and get just that same you, you should have look. a nice level of rigidity yeah. oh wow fantastic such exciting times having this uh today we're taking the price point down 12 pounds 95 and please don't forget this isn't silver plated wire this is all 925 sterling silver wire so this is sterling silver right the way through to the core um the wire that we've been bringing you in this kit is absolutely beautiful it's silver plated copper wire um 
And this is a 925, this is rhodium plate, a white rhodium plated sterling silver wire you're going to be getting here. It's an entire meter's worth. I would say with any kind of design you're going to be um, um, making, um, uh, using this wire, I would say possibly to test it out with the silver plated copper wire and then make it using this. Obviously it's going to look slightly different because it is square wire. And what's so lovely about this is when you do start to wrap with a half round wire, you're going to get that kind of, that kind of like a bit like a bouncy castle kind of section. But with your square wire, it just butts up against the other it um, does. The other um, um, strand, uh, 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 the other surfaces, so beautifully. It it it's, it gives you a wonderfully professional finish. Your square wire. Most people who come through to get this do end up multi buying it because oh, we don't get uh, square wire very often on J and particularly um, your um, um, sterling silver. I've got exactly the same in 1.1 mil. It feels wonderful, doesn't it, oh, the square it, it wire? It is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And you can use it um, on the surface as well as around the outside in the frame. Mm. It just does have that different look to it. And again, when you see wires of special profiles like this or the half round, stash them. Well, this is it. A lot of people tend to use this, the half round wire to wrap around mm. the square wire. Obviously, for obvious reasons, because with the half round wire, you get a flat surface and a rounded surface. So it works because it's a flat surface against a flat surface. But I have to say, when I see square wire just used on its own, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. £12.95. Again, it's white rhodium plated. Again, it's a metre. And again, it's that lovely, lovely thick gauge. So it's a 1.1 millimetre gauge here, um, Gem. What would you say this is the equivalent to in, in your round wire? In a round wire, probably a 1.25. Oh, how fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's great to have the different gauges because you'll find even the slight difference in mm. the gauges will open up different designs to you. Definitely. So, you know, uh, uh, these sorts of prices it's well worth grabbing them and seeing which your favourite is. I think it's important to note as well that particularly with the sterling silver wire because it is sterling silver rather than being silver plated copper or silver plated brass and um, it's going to be so workable and so pliable and actually very very forgiving isn't it because it is precious metal. It is beautiful to work with genuinely and also because um, you don't have a plating on top of a copper you can hammer it and texture it in a slightly different way than you would mm. uh, for instance a silver plated copper wire mm. and I think I think with a with a quality like this you are making fine jewelry aren't you you become a fine you know a, a maker of fine jewelry don't you oh definitely definitely I mean I would be tempted to cut that whole strand into graduating lengths so one long piece in the middle and then right. graduating up half an inch wrapped loop at the top don't hammer the wrapped loop Put it flat down and then hammer it gently and then harder towards the base so it, that it splays oh. out and then just strand it on some beading thread or and some fire And that would be a line. sterling silver necklace. Yeah, but how gorgeous would it look wow. with you hammering it Yes. and just making it something completely unique or putting a gentle wave in it and then mm. hammering it or hammering it all along one side so that what it curves. What a lovely idea. You do have lots of choices when you've got the solid mm. sterling silver wires. Gorgeous. And there is uh, 10.6 grams of sterling silver across this metre of uh, sterling silver wire, which is absolutely wonderful. Well done. Gorgeous quality. Well done. Beautiful. Um, I've got the twisted wire, which we're going to do quickly, and then we'll get back to your oh, demo. That's gorgeous. Now... I'm wondering, is this the, I was going to say, is this sterling silver? Gee whiz, Gem. That's absolutely glorious. This is something that sells out every single time <laughs> it comes to air. We very, very rarely have this in stock. Do you want to hold it? Can I have a quick mm. squeeze at it, please? Thank you. That's really, really beautiful. It's absolutely pristine. Isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And you know, sometimes we have the black rhodium plated mm. twisted wire. Mm. That's a perfect accompaniment because it's quite a stark contrast. Yes, isn't it? Just it's absolutely gorgeous. You can get your own sterling silver wire and twist it. Yes, you absolutely can. Um, with the best one in the world, and I think I think Joe would agree with me, even if you're a guest designer, even if you're a silversmith or a silver worker, you're not going to end up with a consistency like this, are you? This is properly, this is consistently perfect, isn't it? It's it just is. absolutely gorgeous. You go along the strand and you look at the, the peaks and the troughs, as it were, which appear when yeah. you twist wire, mm. and they are perfectly evenly spaced. Yeah. When I twist wire at home, I can become quite frustrated by my own lack of skill at yes. wire twisting. So, And that's yeah. all to do with tension, isn't it? And the length of wire you're working with. Um, I can imagine you using this twisted wire in in this design, actually. I mean, you can feel free to kind of cut the, um, the plastic bit off the 
No, it would be absolutely perfect. It would Wouldn't work it? beautifully in the framework. Yeah. Um, and it would actually enhance not only the look of the design, but the mechanics of the design. Mm. Because with this, we're looking to adhere more than two pieces together with a fine wire. So oh. when you've got ridges, it's absolutely perfect because it means that when you put that fine wire into a ridge, it's going nowhere. It's going to be like teeth, isn't it? it? Is. It's going to hold yes. it beautifully. That, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. It's, it's ideal for this design. It well is. done. Just £14.95. <laughs> I've got loads of people coming through. Well done. A really, really, really fantastic uh, quality of wire here. Uh, it's 1.4 millimetres engaged. Because it's twisted as well, does that, again, alter the rigidity of the wire, do you think? Does it kind of alter? It pre-work hardens it. Right, OK. So you have a strength um, in that that wouldn't be quite the same but because it's sterling silver it's that little bit softer it's difficult to say really Perfect. but it is absolutely gorgeous yeah I mean, just a, a ring a very very simple wire ring mm. made out of this <gasps> is going to be really striking definitely i'm thinking of the ring that you made actually from the kit this one here oh yeah that you put through the wire crinkler well this wire's already crinkled for you if you like and the white topaz would just nestle beautifully do you know if you had two lengths of the twisted wire mm. and then some 0.4 sterling plain round wire and channel set between them the twisted oh. wire really does keep everything so beautifully spaced it will look machined and that would be like that would be like an engagement it's band a, a wedding it? band mm. that, that would be like the beautiful uh, a diamond band that you're wearing yeah wouldn't that just be beautiful it would be stunning oh. yeah can you imagine channel setting white topaz between two lots of your, mm. oh, that is going to look, yeah, that is going to look professionally look, made, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely glorious. Oh, wow. You're quite right. The, 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 the twisted element to this is not only a beautiful feature and, you know, great f f for the way it looks, but it really serves a very mechanical purpose, a very practical purpose as well, doesn't it? It does. And it's so beautiful, I think, because you have the high points and the low points, so you get different light reactions. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it looks sort of multi-toned, but it is really, really shiny. I mean, it's coming over amazingly on the camera there. Mm. It shows you how beautiful it is. Yeah, wonderful. Well done. Right. OK, so we're where are we at the minute? Okay, we're just going to show you how to do a little bit of spider webbing. Oh, yes, lovely. Um, if you can work off the reel all well and good, because then you'll never run out. If you're uncomfortable doing so, then make sure that you get a good metre or so of wire to work with. Although, if worst comes to the worst, you can add in in this instance, because we've got those tiny little gaps between the coils doesn't really matter if there's two, three extra turns of a 0.25 gauge wire like mm, this. Mm. It's just going to disappear anyway. Perfect. So let me just pop that out of the way so I don't knock it over, please. What we would do is start off, let's go to the right shoulder. And I've got at least a good metre. <laughs> if you're wearing a shoulderless top, you can absolutely get away with doing that. <laughs> We're going to go to the right shoulder of the design and spin around a good five or six or seven times. So one, two, pulling that through. Oh, that was almost poetic, wasn't it? Mm. Three, four, don't open the door. <laughs> Five, six, Pick it's getting sticks. boring now. <laughs> one, two, buckle on my shoe. Three, four, knock on the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. 11, 12, dig and delve. I think that's it, isn't it? Do you know, I never knew all of that, genuinely, and I've always wondered. I've got up to about six and then thought, uh, no. <laughs> there you are. So we're just going to smooth off the end of, of that little fine piece of wire that we wrapped around the shoulder. And you don't have to be too scientific about where you're going to start your design. But if you draw the wire across to over here, mm. you're not going to get a very nice effect. So you want to start closer to the 3.30, 4 o'clock area, mm -hmm. because this dimension will be the dimension that you're using all the way around. So we've got our framework, that's nice and strong. So now we're going to use some tension to draw that 0.25 down. Let's say we're going in here. We want to put a nice bend in that wire and bring it up one to the right of where we started. I see. Pop the wire so it pulls through, and then we go one to the left of the first. Nice and tight, pull that up, one to the right. I'm being poetic again, sorry. You are, aren't you? <laughs> Draw that down over the front. We're going one to the left. 
pull that up, one to the right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, look at that building. One to the right, one to the left, one to the right. Hope I've got enough wire, one to the left, <laughs> one to the right, one to the left. Whoops. And as long as It's quite as you, logical, isn't it? It absolutely is, which means that if you put oh, it down, it you're there. not that going to really struggle. So once you get to the end of the design, make sure that you wrap off plenty of times. So I would recommend with a 0.25 that you wrap at least six or seven times. I'm just going to go three or four times and cut the tail off. Do make sure that you do enough to keep that nice and safe. Now you can play with the design in how big the loops are. If you come further up your round nose pliers, you will get smaller loops. You can space them out. I like to see them all close together. What you can then do to add on and enhance the design is you can lay some gemstones into these apertures. Gorgeous. I happen to think it looks beautiful without. Yes, but yes, just like, yes. When you've got a lovely strand of, of tanzanite or a lovely mm. strand of sapphire, mm. kind of be rude not to. Wouldn't it just? Now, with this design, you can again work off the spool of the wire. We're going to wrap, and if you imagine this is another metre or so of wire, mm. We're going to wrap again around that right shoulder in exactly the same form. I'm just going to go a couple of times because obviously you don't need to see the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. So pull that through and round. When you're working with fine wire like this, you will find that it will disappear between the previous wraps. Oh, so you okay. don't have to get it super neat as long as it's in the area. <laughs> you, when you start applying some tension, it will disappear into that wrapping quite happily. So once we have got another length of wire sat on, you can see here I've got my 0.25 coming out of the centre of the design and up. So I'm just going to slide on one of our beautiful Singing the Blues gemstones. I'll let that slide into Ooh. position. And I'm coming out towards the centre. Oh look. Across the middle. And then I'm going to draw that. The wire comes underneath. Gently hold the blue gemstone in position and then draw the wire back and around. And what we're doing here is we're not going through anything, we're making our life super easy. We're not having to post an end of wire through and endlessly feed a thousand yards into this intricate design. Ah. We're making our lives that little bit yes, easier. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to add on another gemstone and you can graduate these size wise. What I did on the design mm. here in the studio is I took 13 gemstones from one end and 12 gemstones from the other end so that I would have a, like a book matching uh, or a, an exact symmetry as yeah, it were yeah. because when we have these beautiful tassel ended gemstone strands nine times out of ten they are beautifully matched that's a good way of doing it work from the outside in yeah. to make sure that you get that symmetry yes I like working that way I mean obviously mm. you, you could do that but you could skip and then you would get a much larger variation yes finishing with a bigger one mm. but if you use the smaller gemstones you don't have to worry too much about where your loops are and having to vary the size of the loops mm -hmm. so around about two two thirds of the way down or one third of the way up the tines mm. of the round nose pliers was enough for the smaller gemstones on the strand Perfect. so very very quickly just to show you we lay the gemstone over the top of the loop draw the strand of wire underneath let it sit in the aperture between and then pull the wire up and back into position for mm -hmm. the next one. Mm. And that will keep the, the gemstones into position without having to feed through or disrupt the spider webbing. And, and that's basically it. Oh. And you've got that little loop. If you wanted to hang something, you can. Gorgeous. What a stunning design. I absolutely love it. I didn't realise, actually, that your um, the, the, the little motif here is, um, is, is dangly as well. I didn't realise that. That's really, really sweet. You do get to have that sense of movement mm. rather than having it wired into position. Yes. A and um, it really is up to you what you do. You don't even have to have anything in there. They're exquisite no, without. No, it's wonderful. It's wonderful just on its own. It's wonderful even without the gemstones, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, with the gems, it just adds that beautiful border. Gorgeous. Um, wonderful. Don't go anywhere. Wall of Fame coming up next.
Right, here we go. Number seven. This is from Gary, who's from Sussex. Hi, all. This just proves nothing need go to waste when you are creative. Uh, all components from jewelry make a good look to everyone. That's from Gary in Sussex. Isn't that amazing? Gary's made that awesome necklace with the tassels from the strands. We like thrifty people. Fri oh, thrifty. yes. Thrifty. 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 Struggle with that word. That's all right. I have got number two, and this is absolutely glorious. This is from Kay. This week's Wall of Fame entry is an abalone pendant and earring set with fluorite, which came in one of your luxury bead scoops. Looking forward to getting these again, hoping for a win. Kay from Hertfordshire. Congratulations, that's lovely, and good luck. Gorgeous, well done. Um, I've got number eight here. Look at the colour here. It's, it's like a blue. I don't know if it's the camera, but anyway, this is from um, Anne, who's from South Shields. Hi, all at Jane. Please finally touch my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a rosary link necklace made with blue mystic coated quartz, lapis lazuli, silver plated wine, silver plated findings, all from JM. Had a tassel style pendant made with the same gemstone and charms from JM as my stash. Um, I adored making it and I'm delighted with how evenly it turned out. This piece is destined to be a raffle prize for a local charity. Keep up the wonderful offers and fun shows. And that's from Anne. And that's a lovely, lovely piece. And I tell you something, you are so generous giving that away as a raffle prize. That's really awesome. It's beautiful. Somebody's going to be very glad they entered. Definitely. <laughs> that's number eight. I have got number three Goodness here. Goodness gracious This me. is from Gail. Hi guys and gals, here is my entry for this week's WAF. It's a wire weaved bangle constructed from all JM materials, except the blue Swarovski crystals from my stash. I love making these style bracelets and I hope you like this design. Good luck to Beautiful. everyone. Love, Gail. It's gorgeous. It's like aztec isn't it? So neatly done as well. Mm. Really gorgeous. Beautiful. I've got uh, number nine here from Susan. Hi all at JM, here's my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet and earring set I made for my sister's birthday. Uh, coated crackled quartz with a diamond nugget in the centre. Wow, with Swarovski crystals and sterling silver. Thank you, Susan. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Best of luck. Really lovely. Number four. This is from Debbie. Good morning all. I've not entered for a while, so I thought I'd share my make after watching Gemma Crow. All JM goodies as per usual, and even if I do say so myself, I'm very pleased with the results, as you should be. Good luck all for the draw, Debbie. Lovely. Really gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Colour lily. Isn't that beautiful? It's lovely. Number 10. Uh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. From Denise, uh, from Shaw, uh, who says, Hi all at JM Towers. It's been a while since I sent something into the Wall of Fame. This necklace I made for my sister's 60th birthday on the 27th of December. At the front of the necklace and bracelets, uh, sorry, and bracelets are black diamonds. The white stones are rainbow moonstone. And the rest of the stones are black spinel. All findings are uh, sterling silver and they're from JM. Good luck to all the entrants. But my bank manager is desperate for me to win something. Take care. <laughs> and that's uh, Denise. Isn't that just gorgeous? Ooh, you put everything into that really beautiful. Diamonds. Wowza. Absolutely like. gorgeous. This is number five. And this is from Claire. Hi all at JM. Here is a pendant I made recently as a gift. I used silver plated wire and aquamarine chips on a sterling silver chain. All components from JM. I've named it Under the Sea. And think you can see why. I haven't sent anything in for a while. I really hope uh, for a showing on a program, which would be thrilling and a win would be fantastic. Good luck to all entrants this week. Thanks for the brilliant inspiration and keep the wonderful quality components coming. Kind regards, Claire from Wiltshire. That's really beautiful and Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Gorgeous. Uh, and number 11, loads of bracelets here from Anne, who's from Oldham. Hello, here's my interview for the Wall of Fame. Uh, stretchy bracelets all made from shell pearl with a few charms from my stash hoping for a win uh, but good luck to all the offers thanks to all the presenters and crew and the guest designers for their inspiration kind regards Anne in Oldham thank you Anne gorgeous you're number 11 <laughs> I've got number six which is absolutely beautiful and this is from, I'm not sure if you're Bridget or Brigitta. Hi to all at Jewelry Maker. This set was made for a birthday gift. It's made from jade, quartz, pearl, jasper, agate, shell, hematite, fluorite, amethyst and labradorite. All wrapped looped with silver plated wire so it took a while to make, smiley face. All items from JM over the years. The earrings can be worn short or long as all the dangle gems are removable so you can wear many ways. Also, the necklace can be worn short or long and doubled over from Brigitte or Brigitte. Sorry if I've said your name wrong, but that's really gorgeous. I love that. I just had Scott Stone <laughs> singing the ABBA song, uh, well, to Brigitte to the, uh, to the ABBA song. But I th isn't it ch 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 chicky 
la 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 now let's not let let's not break it today like mark smith did the other week mark smith broke <laughs> broke the tombola the other week um I will pick the runner-up. You can pick the winner, Gem. Oh, bless your cotton socks. Thank you. Can you open it for me, though, please? Because I don't know how okay. to open it without Okay, here we it. go. So, Yay. the runner-up for this week's Wall of Fame, winning £50 spread to the Jewelry Maker Account, is... <laughs> 981. 981. Ay-ay-ay. is... Catherine Cooper. Woohoo, congratulations. Well done, darling. £50 credit to your jewelry maker account. Okay, go on then. Go on then, Jo. I have a delve and I'm not looking and I'm going to have a Digging a delve. Squash okay, I have squeeze. got number 21. Number 21. <gasps> Was that done today? Oh. Was it? Oh. Dun. Dun. Kelly. Kelly, well done, darling. Congratulations. <laughs> You've won £100 credited to your jewellery maker account. Well, oh no. I'm not touching it. I'm nowhere near it. It wasn't me. <gasps> Whatever, Gem. I saw you push <laughs> it. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic. Star by, star by, star by. Hello. There's Gem Hawks. Oh, hang on. Blimey, what's going on? Oh! Uh. How is it 10 to 1? How did that actually happen? Time flies when you're having fun, though, doesn't it? So, there you go. Do you know what Direct Ollie just said? Thanks, Gem, for making it fun. Thank you, Gem, for making it fun. Oh, I always have a great time. Always have a great time. Thank you so much for having me back again. I really appreciate the opportunity. Not at all. I was kind of getting at... What, do, did I not make it fun for you today, Ollie? Director Ollie? <laughs> Thanks, Jen, for making it fun. That's nice, isn't it? Cheers, guys. It's always fun with Carol. Oh, no. That's fine. <laughs> Cut to the quick. It's fine. I can do boring. No. Silver. Food. Heart. Yeah, amazing, brilliant, awesome, get them, pick up the phone, oh, I love these, these are lovely, what am I actually trying, I don't know what I'm trying to do, I've no <laughs> idea what I'm trying to do, just ignore me, look at the bead, look at the bead, don't look at me, look at the bead, look at the bead, three, two, one, pick up the phone, <laughs> company, is a, company is a word, company is a word, I love that sketch out of Little Britain, don't you? Oh, cupboardy, cupboardy. Right, here we go. So, sterling silver heart bead spacers. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, you will notice by the fact that I'm finding it very difficult to control these rather unruly beads that the aperture, lovely word used earlier on there by Gem Hawks, that the aperture in the centre of these beads is very, very generous. Um, I, I don't know why I've got this piece of wire. Just ignore the wire. I don't know why I've got the wire. Just ignore it. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm so going to get the sack. Have we got appraisals soon? Come on, Carol. Here we go. 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 Whoop. There you go. Look at the size of that. Very, very generous. Oh, Gem Hawks, you are amazing. Waving that, waving that suede deck cord at me. Yes, I, you absolutely could, couldn't you? I do believe so, and then you could <gasps> mix and match with uh, the sorts of things that go around. Should we have a go? Do you want to pass it over? Shall I bring it? Shimmy it over, pass it over, shimmy it over. There we go. Live jewelry making, guys, here we go. Watch, watch and learn, watch and learn. <laughs> Not with me, obviously, Gem, please watch and... Oh, see? Like a glove. Look at that. It's a bit of a relief, isn't it? <laughs> it yes. Oh, <laughs> sigh of relief. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? 
Well, Absolutely like beautiful. <laughs> now, Gemma, how could you set it t'other way around? T'other way? <laughs> how could you set it the other way around? How could you do it? Uh, let me have a look at it on the, on, on the strand that you've got it there. On the t'other side? On the t'other side. Like that? Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, you could have a little bit of wire with a coil on the end and then create a, like a wrapped loop to have it as a ah. dangling charm. I'm like, having like that. Have I tickled you by saying like a glove with my really rubbish Jim Carrey impression? <laughs> like a glove? <laughs> really? <laughs> Blimey. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well done. Seven ninety five. That's for all five of them. <laughs> My husband didn't say like a glove when he tried his driving gloves on, unfortunately. Hopefully I'll say that when I get the th third or fourth or eleventh pair sent back. <laughs> Gee whiz. Not like a glove. Yeah. These are fit on here like a glove. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Why not? So you could put these with your uh, macrame braid. You could put them with your kumihimo braids. You could just put it on a <laughs> hair. Put it on a, just put it on a, um, put it on a chain. I wouldn't put it on a hair though. Don't put it on a hair. I had a hair that went into my mouth. I hate, <laughs> hate that, don't you? Don't you? Gorgeous though. Well done. Absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah. What? Oh, <gasps> use them with the sliders. Oh yes. Use everything with the sliding. Sliders, sliding bracelet thingy. Yes. Oh yeah. Of course, it's stunning silver day tomorrow, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. All aboard. That, that is going to be ridiculous. Absolutely beautiful. So five... Oh, where's the other one gone? Oh, here it is. I've got it. Don't worry. Here we go. All five of these today for seven ninety five. pounds Aren't they just gorgeous? Well done. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Well done. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I have been sitting here with a secret... Oh. Now I've got director on saying, wow, that's awesome. Okay, you ready for this? I have to have this. They were so pretty. I thought you'd only really need five. Is that made using the 1.25? 1.5 and 0.4. That is one of the most beautiful settings possible for that opal. Ever so simple. Ever so simple. The sort of thing. I've got a, um, a workshop coming up with alternative bridal designs on the 10th of February, and that's the sort of thing that we'll have a quick oh, look at. Oh, how fabulous! Are there any spaces left? There should be a couple of spaces <sighs> left, as far as I know, yeah. I had no idea you were doing that workshop. That is going to be awesome. It's going to be lots of fun, I hope. <laughs> oh, how wonderful! 89. 95 was a price point for the incredible Opal. I'm going to mosey on over to the lovely Gem Hawks. It's been a pleasure. Hello. It's been a pleasure having you with us today. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have had an absolute riot. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for, thank you for, thank you for your amazing jewellery making, for your wonderful knowledge, for your incredible passion as well. And uh, she's so fun, isn't she? She's brilliant. Uh, when are you next with us? I'm back tomorrow night on Silver Day. Oh, oh, oh. I know. Oh. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. I'm next with you on Friday. Uh, I don't know who I'm with, actually. I think I might be with Fleur on Friday. I'm not too sure. But anyway, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. <gasps> Dion's here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Tell us what, tell us very quickly, what have you got coming up on the mid show today? Blues. Blues. Of course. Of course. Silver. Silver. Spinel. Spinel. Lots of newbies. Lots of newbies. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Your hair looks amazing. You look amazing. You do. You've just been away, haven't you? Yeah, I went to Malta. She went to Malta. <gasps> Jealousy much. Over the weekend. 
gym <laughs> for the weekend. Yeah. You jet setter. Oh Did you have fun? That's why I've lost my voice. She's lost her voice, yeah. <laughs> Enough said. Uh, fantastic. Um, it's going to be uh, an amazing mid show for you today. We've got uh, the lovely Dion. Uh, who's your guest designer? Hayley Kruger, of course. I saw her in the corridor. I was singing at her. I was singing ABBA to her. We've got Hayley with us as well. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Gem, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today, darling. It's been brilliant to have you with us. Take care, guys, and tune in for the mid show now. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Uh, don't go anywhere. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity.